Good morning and welcome to the Hope Stadium here in Dunedin. The Somerset uh, Somerset Champion and Champion uh, Finals Day here of the Peers. And we're right in, just got play underway. And there in front of her now you'll see the draw for the women's quarterfinals, which are just getting underway. The three matches which have been played right now. Joe Edwards again and up against uh, Glennis Paisley. Doc Collis playing uh, Deborah Lloyd. And Br Br Bridget Kitching are playing Diane Patterson. Those games are getting underway. And, of course, in conjunction with that is the uh, men's uh, quarterfinals as, as well, which... Uh, Amazingly, we had uh, the same number of qualifiers, I think it was, in, in both events. Seven qualifiers yeah, in, in each. So in but a moment, you'll see the men's draw will go up in front of you on that screen. And there it is there. Rob Ashton of Wellington, uh, he's got to buy this morning. We've got Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson playing Dennis Brewster and Phil uh, Austin. Dean Drummond and Murray Grassy up against Morris Symes and Kevin Greenwood. Lance Tusker and John O'Shea up against the defending champions of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland, Leif Selby and James Williams. And with me, I've got Stephen Beale, and we'll be bringing you the, the two matches we'll be bringing you on the on the screens here is the uh, Kapiti Coast side of Doc Collis and Jan Watt. Jen Watt up against the Central, Central Otago combination of Deborah Lloyd and Jan Anderson. And the men's game that we'll be bringing you, which I think will be an absolutely first-class game, the Bay of Plenty uh, match between John O'Shea and Lance Tusker up against the defending champions from the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland, Leif Selby and James Williams. So we're in for a I think, uh, Stephen, we're in for a great day. Uh, as we were last weekend, uh, finals day in Hawke's Bay, I think we'll have equal the occasion here uh, at, uh, down here in Dunedin. The weather's cleared, not the weather affects us, of course. Uh, we're indoors, but the weather's cleared up. Rain's gone away, a bit warmer. And that, l that little bit of warmth as well may help to hold that consistency of the speed here of the green, which does, as I said, lose a second in a bit. So the uh, looking at the, like the first end there... Um, as you said, I think this will be a ripper of a game, uh, Kev, uh, you know, Lance, and uh, that's very tactically astute, as is Leif. And, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm picking we'll see some great bowls here and uh, in this particular game. Now, just don't worry if you're looking online now at the names which are up there because ah, we, uh, ones. We've, got the, uh, we've got to change the names of uh, who's playing who there. Uh, on the, on the screen, which uh, which we'll do uh, in but a moment, and it was the I think it was the Carlton. So I think it's the White Airy Beach must have won that first end, going by the bowls. And I see in the very first end of the Leif Selby match, oh, the John O'Shea umpires been uh, called very early first first <laughs> they end. They had hardly anything to do first yesterday they were saying and bang first end. First end out well, there. I can't, um, and I can't use, uh, can't drop the now without the yes. So uh, I can hear Lance Tusk has got the, the uh, Lance is mic'd up. He's mic'd up which is great so he'll keep us posted of the end by end scores as they uh, as we go and we'll get those. And Deborah Lloyd's is mic'd up on the ladies Right, OK, so the, the, the girls here, we've got uh, Tamara and Erica, and joined today by Quinn. They'll make those changes of those names of, you'll see in a moment, who's up there. And it's the side of Dot Collis, skipping the Capity Coast side, and Deborah Lloyd uh, skipping the Queenstown side. And in the men, it is the Tauranga side being skipped by John O'Shea. And the Carlton Cornwall side been been uh, skipped by Leif Selby. <coughs> okay, the, the Selby uh, <coughs> bowls have got the uh, the blue stickers. That's be Tauranga. tight. Tauranga boys have got the red. Very really tight that first measure going round now to the James Williams bowl. I can see the. Is, well, it's, so come on, talk to us, Lance. Well, Lance Tasker has got the mat, so it is. I'm assuming that was the one to the O'Shea side. Oh, Umpire on the <laughs> first in. So 
So in the match, the ladies' match, let's say we've got Doc Collis skipping the Capital Coast side. The Queenstown side is skipped by Deborah Lloyd. And there's three blue bowls with the red disc. See Jack Level as we watch the bowl of that's the bowl of Doc Collis with the red stickers just going by, and Deborah Lloyd with the blue with the blue stickers, and it's going to pull up short, be the red. Jack Level Bolt, James Williams opens up his account on the second end with a, with, with a touch up. So the just to reconfirm to you that the in the women's match <coughs> it's the Cavity Coast side <coughs> who have got the uh, red stickers and the Central Otago side with the blue blue stickers and in the men it is the Tauranga side Tauranga the main side with the red stickers. No, 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 no. And the Carlton Cornwall side uh, from Auckland uh, with the blue stickers. And James Williams is open with a very two another, very good bowls here on the second on end. Going to sit right on that centre line. And it's a very good uh, two opening bowls here on this, the second end from Williams. Because Leif Selby, if, if Stephen, Steve's got his... Uh, his CV, and he's certainly uh, he's one of the best. Lance Tusker, though, not to be outdone here, just drawing down to the jack. Very good bowl, Lance. And sits on the jack and just t touches it. Uh, Lance Selby, of course, a former medalist at the Commonwealth Games World Champions. Oh, he's, he's got a pedigree as long as your arm, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, he won uh, gold medals uh, in the singles competition and silver in the pairs with Aaron Sheriff at the 2012 World Outdoor Championships. He's also won a sil silver medal in the singles in the 2010 Commonwealth Games. Uh, he's twice won gold medals in 2009-2010 at the World Cup singles. Uh, he's won three gold medals and one silver medal at Asia Pacifics. <laughs> um, and for good measure, he's won a Hong Kong International Pulse Classic in the singles. So. It's yeah. fair to say he goes fairly good. Oh, he is. He was. And actually, when he when he made the very sudden departure, the decision from the Rilla Club to retire from international play, uh, he was at that point, he was uh, he was ranked as the number one player uh, in, in Australia. So yep. uh, it's it's great for uh, bowls here in New Zealand that we that we have got uh, Leif involved and is now his full-time role uh, at Auckland Bowls, uh, you know, coaching and just just really working around the clubs uh, and, and I'm sure that uh, Leif's ability uh, will certainly will be utilised by the sport throughout the country because we don't very often have someone of that pedigree really Steve no, who's, no. who's there and available so to speak isn't it? It's a very impressive CV and uh, and with his experience with the big clubs and that in Australia and uh, start mirroring those sorts of things so yeah, uh, it's uh, quite a coup for Auckland Bowls to get hold of him <laughs> and put him to work. It's uh, uh, for the greater good of the game and the greater good of the clubs. And uh, I, I was delighted that it could all come together. It's uh, a few meetings, a bit of discussions, and it was able to uh, get it all together. And one of the things though, that did open his eyes fairly, fairly quickly, though, was uh, was. Um, some of the clubs compared to the Australian clubs like Marilla, where he came from. Oh, yeah, that's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds of poker machines, millions of dollars in the bank. <laughs> so here's Selby endeavouring to reach up to the task of shop bowl. bowl. He's, He's close to turn the bowl out of the head. What a oh, bowl that that's... is. Yeah. Just that control of weight to get to the bowl, get a turn oh, on the shop bowl. Just twice and made two of it. Brilliant. Not much more weight than your last one. So John O'Shea, of course, scoring a one on the first end, and, and uh, Dot Collis from the uh, Capity Coast Waitarere Beach side, they, they uh, opened up uh, with a four in their first end against uh, Deborah Lloyd. And of course, you've got the uh, opportunity sitting at home where you can watch both of these games, uh, all the live action. John O'Shea's not a million miles not, away. He's either. certainly not.
and oh, he's just sits on the outside of the bow. And <coughs> it's it's uh, fair to say, Steve, that, that John O'Shea's had a very good year this year in the Bay of Plenty, hasn't he? He at certainly has. Centre he, events. Um, he won the centre, oh, the champ champ singles and the pairs uh, within a week. Yeah, so, he's. Uh, Unfortunately, I didn't like him winning the pairs too much because uh, he took me out in the final. So um, it's a begrudgingly ad admiration there. But, uh, he's had a big year, hasn't he? He's, he uh, has. So here's Selby. And anyone is relatively new to the game or doesn't have a newer role to the game, if you want to watch one of the most perfect deliveries in the sport and consistency of delivery and drawing ability, watch, watch this fella because... Yep. He brings it, uh, and uh, he's just got a delivery, which as Mike Coonan said to me yesterday, uh, it doesn't matter what shot he's playing, that, that, that delivery yet remains constant. And Yeah, we just need uh, Lance to be talking to us um, on the thing there. He must have forgotten. Normally never short of I a word. Say, that's just, <laughs> I find that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I might be on. Well, it's, yeah. We'll, we'll test it out. Of course, Lance Tusk, a very, very well-performed player in, in both the Whanganui Centre, of course, and by a plenty. Yep. Uh, and, and, of course, played in New Zealand. Uh, just when we had the over 65 players uh, over on the Gold Coast a couple of years back. Uh, but Lance has been... Uh, well, he's won... He's got he's his gold. He's, he's got, got his, his five star, New Zealand five, titles. Five national he? titles. Yeah, he's got, he's got the gold Four star in his bag. And, uh, appears... So there's not many, uh, not many players around who hold that prestigious uh, that gold star of winning five of, uh, five uh, New Zealand events, as we see. Williams draw it right on the jack jack level. Yeah, James has started well. He has just recently moved to the Bay of Plenty. He has in the last few He's weeks. Gone into business with his father. Was the landscaping and all sorts of things. He said it started pretty well. The former greenkeeper, of course, uh, at Carlton, and now. Move back to, to, to the bay. It's, uh, and of course, they are the defending champions of this. Something must have. We got the message there. And uh, so, just walked off the mat momentarily. Did uh, James that backhand? And if he's over the head with this, that'll be fine. He's just not going to quite. Going to reach down. to the head, and with it, with, with the uh, quality of these two skips, John O'Shea and Leif Selby, um, Stephen bowls over the head are a pretty important part oh, of the, the, They'll the, be the, moving it around there. Yeah. You know, John's game typically <laughs> is draw. Yeah. If he's in trouble, he'll try to draw it out. Um, and we saw that in the singles. Yes, um, correct. Last, uh, last, last week, last, when yes. he was four down, and it looked like, please hit me. Um, he chose to draw it. Yeah, and a very proficient draw player. Uh, yep. uh, he's a very good draw player. And so these two guys, but skipping both Selby and uh, John O'Shea, are of the highest quality. And and Lance T Tasker, of course, needs is of equal needs no introduction at all. And and James, very James William, a very very steady yep. lead. Two good bowls there. And, I'm pretty yep. sure we'll see uh, Selby with his first bowl when they change over. He'll be getting in behind the head, getting in down to this uh, Lance Tusker blue bowl. Sure and in, in the women's uh, game in front of us, it looks as though the Capity girls uh, have uh, scored, again. scored again up against the Queenstown side, the Central Otago Queenstown side. Lance Tusker just finishes at uh, Jack level. He's yeah. sort of had the weight. He clunked his own bowl, so he's probably a bowl's width wide on that one. Uh, he's looking for anything in behind. Oh, it's a good start. Uh, yeah, seven, Area Beach, ladies. 7-0, seven, seven seven early four. doors in this 18 ends or two hours, uh, two hour time limit. Yeah, we'll be dropping the time limit for the uh, semis in the final. Well, could just to everyone's information, we had uh, seven qualifiers in both the men and ladies, and this we said, oh. Leif Selby just trying to get that metre straight uh, away over the if head. He could just have placed one with his hand, he yeah. would have put it there, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> yeah, well, that's the place good. to go Thanks with to that trail, certainly the option to look for for John O's. And it's just a draw trail, it's not, yeah. it's not rushing at the head. 
And here is O'Shea. Yeah, how fast is it going to come back? It's coming down towards the, the jack now. Needs to get under the James Williams bowl. And look at, this. look, look at this. Going to do so and draw right to the jack. A toucher. Great bowl. Well played. Just drifted underneath that James Williams bowl. But of course now... Selby on the backhand's got the advantage, or not advantage, because they've both got one there, but he can reach up on that backhand yep. through the bowls, trying to get to the Williams bowls and get into the jack. Is he going to hold How's that up? line? Is it going to hold up long enough? No, it's not just going to go by. Had that reaching oh, weight. Perfect weight for the shot. It was. He's just looking to get on to uh, James's shortest bowl there, as you can see it at yep, the head. And Lance Tusker straight away saying to uh, John O'Shea, if you get him behind past the red, the two red bowls with the blue discs on of uh, Williams, he'll be in a, a good spot. And I'm sure we'll see Selby playing the same sort of shot with his his uh, last, well, his third and last bowl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Leif Selby been up to have a look at the the head he'll be just playing that same shot I think absolutely just same a bowl way. just a bowl just wider bowl, bowl, bowl wider and that's all he needs and he'll he'll get contact and 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 some jack movement he's not a player that goes um rushing and whacking at the head <laughs> yeah but he's got <laughs> I've seen him drive I played him last year in this event and uh yep he can hit him when he needs oh, to. he can hit them he's on a he's Oh, it's sticking high. Yeah, he's on. Well, he he really was on. The, he had the, just another yard of weight, and that was reaching through. Looked to be on a good line, three quarters of the way down. John O'Shea though drew that be interesting, superb no. bowl, and, and he's yep. uh, he's uh, taking the one. Put it in your pocket. Yeah, two apiece now after three ends, and uh, um, I'm pretty sure you're going to see uh, some t top draw right exhibition from all of these uh, four players. Yep, and the. Central Otago, the, in the ladies, the Central Otago, the Queenstown side, with the lead, uh, Jan Anderson, will be holding two shots there. But if you look Possibly at the head three. there, as they change over uh, there, Stephen, there's a very nice little trail shot through that port <laughs> yeah, there, I'm isn't there? Pretty sure Dot will be uh, <laughs> giving that every chance to... Uh, Three red bowls here in that triangle and behind the jack, isn't yeah. there? And uh, any movement, yard on shot, isn't yeah, it? any movement there, the jack's just going to go in one direction, and that's certainly uh, what uh, the what Dot will be looking for. She'll come down, leading seven nil, very handy, uh, handy start. Yep. Good opening bowl, just coming up short though is Tasker, and you heard. The, well, I'm going to say the body language from was. I haven't quite got it, but by goodness, she's not far right. away here. Not far away. And a sitting side. <laughs> second prize. No, second the prize is draw the shot, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Draw a touch instead. <laughs> oh. She's still got a chance to turn it around the corner. Well, for, she uh, has handful. because really uh, the Central Otago skip, uh, Deborah Lloyd's really got nowhere to go, has she? Uh, she's playing with uh, reaching weight. Yeah, and she's under, under the head and that, moving that red, but now I'm sure... Doc Collis would be quite happy just to put a metre of weight onto her bowl and uh, trail to the jack and put the pressure really quickly on the uh, Central Otago side from the Capity Coast skip. I just don't know if she got she's the weight though to get all the way down. No, she's not. And James Williams is, is running into the Tusker Bowl. He's now got two jack level bowls though. You'll see one Lance Tusker bowl is short of the jack. There's another one deep down on the screen here, right at the back. You will see Tusker again yeah, he's now. Forced to change his hand. On the backhand. Here we go. That's you, isn't it? Or me? All over, mate. Well, what, <laughs> what a great... <laughs> How'd you go through that hole? <laughs> <laughs> what a great save that turned out to be because yeah. it sort of just Deborah, made that I'm shot sure more difficult. <laughs> So, Doc Collis, endeavour to try and get to the jack again. She's got to be careful she doesn't uh, go running too quick with it. So, James Williams just went by another jack level bowl. Not quite going to get that roll right to the jack was Doc Collis. Oh. So, the skips change over on this, the playing the fourth end of 18. 
I noticed, uh, Steve, the uh, skip here, Deborah Lloyd, very quick player. She's, yeah. she's, she's very, very quick. Another she's good ball. Go we'll oh, oh, touch the jack on the way. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You couldn't play to put. You, you couldn't have put. Can you come through this gap, please? You, and, can, uh, you couldn't play it deliberately. So, one to the Central Otago side. They open their account. A 7 1 now, 7 1. Doc Collis of the Capity Coast, and we're locked up at two apiece in the men's game with James William holding the shot. Watch the bowler Selby now just breaking towards the head. We'll be happy if he gets down for those bowls. He'll be happy with those two. Absolutely, uh, with that one, he's just negated those two bowls quite nicely. So that's the, the movement, any jack movement from John O'Shea on the backhand would certainly be. Every opportunity gets a movement to the jack. There's two bowls in behind the jack here. Here's a, a O'Shea bowl coming down towards it's the jack. He's going away. to get. He's going to sit on the bowl. He does for shot. Well played. I think we're going to see a lot of ones, Steve. I think it will be. Um, in a game like this, if you get a chance, you've got to play the shots. Absolutely. Because uh, you're not going to get too many of them picking. So here's Selby now again on the draw, just going to go by. Is he just will it or won't it? One down, well, that's a shot. <laughs> and you heard that great sportsmanship. Lance Tusker applauding and complimenting that bolt of uh, his, the skip. Well, his opposing skip, Leif Selby. His John O'Shea in the area is... Dipping now, how far is it going to dip or wait to hold it up? Is it going to get the jack on the way through oh, for? There it is, it's a shot again. <laughs> Very good. So uh, will not too many loose bowls in this. No, there's not. <laughs> so will Selby just play that down through there, try and reach the green bowl, get one turn out because the jack's okay for him. He's got his own bowl. Yeah, it's either hand really. He'd be looking for the split. Just uh, with the outside one, it's likely to lock in there. So if he wants to get rid of them all, he's got to play with bigger weight. And I don't think he would, he's not that sort of... No. But well, I mean by yellow, it's got to be a couple of yards. He's going on the changing the hand. hand, is he? He's on the forehand. On the forehand, playing down to get to the green bowl, he's to get to the away. bowl clean, or the away. jack, get in the jack. And, well, we'll see. Well, Lance was back there. We're not too sure. One, one, mate. one down. One down. It was one to the... the uh, same, same, Johnny. One yeah, to the Bay of Plenty side. But but Lance's bowl, uh, the one he put round the back. <laughs> but uh, we certainly will see a lot of jack movement and bowl movement. 3-2 to... John O'Shea and, La and uh, Lance Tasker leading up against... James Wilson, James, and uh, of course the former greenkeeper, and uh, and James Williams and Leif Selby have lengthened it up. But the mat's up as well here as Lance, as, as Stephen, isn't it? I'm sure, Lance, he has brought the mat up on yeah, the back end. I, I noticed he was uh, playing with the mat well up yesterday in uh, all the games. Yeah, um, and a good opening bowl here, coming down towards the jack, didn't finish in behind, metre behind, but that's. Yeah, uh, John O'Shea will be more than happy with that and behind the head. You take that any day of the week. Absolutely. And with the class of these guys really uh, being behind the head is, is, is a plus. Jack Level, just Jack Level is the James Williams bowl sitting along you know, out from the jack. Nipped the green slightly on the forehand, but still. It's a handy start. A handy start. His, uh, Lance Tasker quickly in his work. And he's out on that backhand line again. How far is it working back towards the James Williams bowl? Just going to go by. And again, John O'Shea won't be too concerned about that. It's imperative now, though, for Williams that he, on that side of the rink, gets down to the two uh, red disc bowls, oh, really. Get between the jack and yeah, uh, in Lance's between that, bowls. That it's metre uh, in between. Perfect. It's going, uh, going pretty quick right. by the look, and it's wider. Came as wider, actually. Yeah, it wasn't. It was. It was more a meter of weight to come back, really. Yeah. Uh, Stephen, seven-one. It is Doc Collis leading at Deborah Lloyd in that uh, women's match. 
And it is the, looking down at the head now, it's the Central Otago combination who are uh, holding the shot. Lance, all is, uh, the back now is imperative for uh, yeah. early on in this head, really, uh, Stephen, isn't it? Because that's a beautiful trail down through there, isn't it, to where... So, James Williams is chasing this one. He He's knows he, line. he knows he needs to have a metre of weight, and he has. And I'm sure uh, as well played. <laughs> great bowl, James. That's a great, great bowl. bowl, mate. Sits right inside that triangle, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's really, I'm not saying it's negated the trail, but it sort of just... Hasn't helped it for it, it uh, hasn't, hasn't helped it. It's taken away... F well, it's taken away from a three-shot chance to a one-shot chance, really, yep. hasn't it? Yeah, well, Johnny will be on. He'll be just looking to beat that uh, wing bowl that you can see on your right. You just make that the target area. And as we know, Kevin, you don't have to be on the jack to be scoring. You've no, you just don't. got to beat uh, their closest. No, you um, don't. And it's a, it's a lesson uh, these guys will be on display with. that uh, um, Coming to the jack. They don't have to hunt the jack. Just going to slip by. Good effort, Johnny. It was only a bowl away, really, on the yeah. draw. That's all he was. Only a bowl away from getting to t oh. that, that target. Wow. Four it was. Anyway, um, I thought there was only two there. That was to Deborah's. Four to, Queenstown. Four to, four to the Queenstown side. And that brings it back a bit, doesn't it? Leif won't be too impressed with this bowl, although he's, he's made one hand a bit harder now. Played two there, mate. Still two down. Yeah, two downs. The call there from on the forehand. John to change to his forehand. So seven five now. Seven five. I think it'll be between Doc Collis and Deborah Lloyd. After the indication was a four. Yeah, John O'Shea on a nice track here. You'd have heard uh, Lance Tusker saying, "Is it going to sit inside or just get a roll by and it'll be shot? Well played. Well played, Johnny O'Shea. Oh. Even the wee handshake up the back there. Lance was impressed. So here's Selby trying to get down as well to the jack. And just goes by. Only, well, that's a good bowl that amongst those. There's only a bowl wide of, the, the, yep. of getting to either the jack or under to the shot bowl. So it wasn't far away. So John O'Shea has drawn a couple of big shots in this he match has. already. 7-5 now, Doc Collis leading uh, Deborah Lloyd. 18 ends, of course. Yeah, well, Deborah will be pleased to sort of get with it back in with a well, couple of shots. 7-5, seven, seven, it's seven. nearly nil all, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas <laughs> 8 nil or something starting to look... Starting to hurt. Yeah. So, John O'Shea yeah, again coming down. Again. Is, it, balls, is it going to get all the way? That's no, it... Close to being in as well, what well up? Well, close to being in. I don't think it will be in, though. Uh, James with the magic fingers out there. Yeah, just the one was the call from from James. So Selby, no doubt. Well, he can't really play the, the, uh, the back end because of no, where they He's got to stick on that forehand. He's got to stick on the forehand. Make, make John's uh, shot bowl the jack. Having a, look at, having a look at where he's... Got to come or go to. Yeah, well done. But the one big thing, you're looking at that head, um, Steve, it's pretty much around the head, aren't they? There's oh. not looking for the bowl. On the backhand. Looking yes. for the bowl or jack. Lucky here. Oh, he did. <laughs> three uh, shots. Oh, two or three, at least two. Three it is. Whoa. Half a bowl off target. Half. But got but a good was result. in the zone. Was was if in the, the zone, zone all the way. Happen. It's uh, as I'd normally say, just get into the lucky bag. Yeah. We see uh, James bring the mat back. Five three. After that, three shots and yeah, change the length, everything here. Yeah, and I see. Um, Jane Anderson sort of coming into her game now. She's uh, tightening the bowls up around the head, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely. And they're just getting quicker all the time, don't they? And the big thing is, Steve, you, you know, when you're in these matches at this early stage, don't worry about the scoreboard in those first few ends. Just, just 
just just get into the game, isn't it? Yep. And you know, it, it will it will come. So yeah, you generally sort of try and find the line. I'm the pretty sure the weight will come if you can't get the line. Yeah, you you're just be scratching around all day. Lance Tusker, I'm sure. The change of length won't concern him. James Williams has gone through yeah. by a metre and a bit. And you're not happy with that with his uh, Lance. But, you know, the player that he is, he'll very quickly, or both of these players, I'm pretty sure they'll quickly adjust on this. On the back end is the Carlton Cornwall lead. And, yes, he's corrected, uh, Steve, with this second bowl as James Williams. And there's that. Not a bad uh, correction. <laughs> not a bad <laughs> correction. So uh, I trust my good friend uh, Paul Hunt uh, will be watching. Uh, Paul will be there. It's, uh, uh, it might be around at Steve Hughes' <laughs> place having a barbecue uh, breakfast uh, after watching the footy. So uh, uh, all the best, be a bit Dusty, though, I would think. <laughs> it's good Just to hear trying to Lance. get to the jack is uh, only, a, or only half a bowl away from getting that jack trail now. Williams will try and match that bowl, really. He needs to try and get to the matching bowl of Lance Tusker. How far is this going to come back? Certainly it looked to start out on the wider side, but it's moving back towards the centre line and won't it's, be far away from really is a pretty uh, handy spot. Uh, very good bowl, James. Very good. The pleasing thing there from people watching that, you'll see that front bowl there of Lance Tasker's with his first bowl. But you'll note with the second bowl, it didn't change his hand because, yes, I can draw around that, which he duly did with the second. Oops. Going to fall short with his, uh, this one. And, but does in Probably fact, missed his line more than the, yep. the weight. But, uh, and just opened that line up a wee bit for John O'Shea to play to the... To the uh, well, the, the, there's two shots there, I would say, that the Carlton Cardinal side are holding, but he can now play down... And if you're a natural draw player, which John O'Shea is, he'll play down to reach that bowl yep. on the draw. And John's bowls turn a bit. Uh, they're just uh, threes, uh, XGs. Threes? Yes, I three. Are they? Yeah. There's not many guys play with threes now, is there? Oh, actually, a lot of finding, a lot of the guys are, you know, going down that one size. Um, is that because they think that they can play more shots? or what? Oh, well, it used to be... Um, the macho thing of, uh, you know, the bigger the better sort of thing back in the day because the bigger bowl was heavier and all that yeah. sort of thing. So uh, those, um, those size sixes that used to there. roll on for oh. half an hour. <laughs> Didn't Ian, I think Ian Dickerson had a set oh, of sevens he, he or had something. A, he had a, they were cannonballs that he actually oh. had. And in the old days... But he had called, a hand like mower's oh, feet. You know, but were, but in the old days, they still been playing on those fast, crackly grass screens. They yeah. just keep molt they just keep... Yeah, they just keep rolling towards it. Yeah, I remember Dickie got into the selling Drake's Pride and he brought them back and he had these sevens and they were just bigger yeah. than dinner plates. John O'Shea, we've been surprising here of... He's just looking for second shot here, I think. Is he looking for second shot or trying to get some, something at the... Well, he's going to... Will he get second I shot? No. I don't think so. Yeah, you have to know. So... Lay for whoever. Change here, Change, he indicated... Yep. It change of hand, so is it for his bowls around or just under on the draw? On the backhand is the Carlton Cornwall skip. Looks as though he's looking at around, not under. Yeah. And he'll be happy if he gets down to this red disc bowl here of the Tauranga side, sits in around that bowl. He'll be happy with see, that. Yeah. Three. He'll be happy. Three shots. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yep. this, this yeah. And Lance has called for. A yeah, John doesn't go quick, but he'd be certainly fun <laughs> running weight on picking. Well, that shot certainly looks on the backhand, uh, Stephen, to reach up through that backhand line under the front bowl. He's got... There's more draw weight by the look of yeah, it. Yeah, well, he's won't get the Lance Tusker oh. front bowl. That's really what he'll get. He won't get enough... All over it, mate. Good effort. He won't get enough on it, and... I thought he'd come quicker. Oh, I thought honest. he'd be coming down under the blue bowl of Lance. Yep. Mainly because there's the you'll see the red disc there, distant behind, uh, and wait through to there under that bowl. Um, that's the it would seem from where we're sitting the logical place of where uh, the jack's most likely to move to. Look at that delivery. <laughs> Not bad, is it? Oh. Trying to get around. He gets is he around this, going to get uh, around? He's, is he going to get around? Is he going to get around beautiful. and fall in? 
That'll be four. That's four, Johnny. Yeah. Yep. He's got to play that under the now, Stephen. Yeah. Surely, does he not? There'll be a mid-court conference here. <laughs> He's got nothing to lose. No, he, no, there is nothing to lose. Yeah, the fun run. It's just, oh, it <laughs> yeah. is. It's got to be. Well, yeah, with weight on here with the, those runners, they're, they're only pulling a foot or two. Um, so, yeah, if he started at uh, Lance's bowl at the... Well, any one, he can play it on any hand, really. Uh, well, yeah, Lance Tusk is talking our shot. Yep. And John's still talking about endeavouring to get the second shot through the yep. blue, oh, under, <coughs> under the green, and in between the blue. Even, even if you land white, yeah. But, you know, the good there. thing about and having the mic on this as well, um, Steve, is you heard Lance Tusker, a really, really good team, you know, yep. good teamwork, good team agreement. You know, Lance thought of one shot. John O'Shea wanted to play another shot. Lance just said, right, whatever you, you well, it's fine. I'm happy. to be right here. Yep. I'm no, he's my found the backhand. My he's listened to Lance. Well, look at it. Yeah, trying to get to that. Oh no! That second not. shot, and that, that looks wider going past uh, Steve. Yeah, oh, I thought that was yep. the low percentage option. I thought. Well, um, the, the other thing, had, the other thing I'd say, Steve, for is it, my mind, but uh, well, the other point is going to make even playing the other hand. The second, the second shot rest was on there as well, wasn't it? Yeah. You know. Down through there was, was catch anything. It's, it was going to change the shape of everything. Absolutely. So it's a big head, really, isn't it? Young two big heads, isn't it? Yep. Nine three now. Yep. I'm not saying you know, these guys are capable of coming back from that. Don't no, no, make no error about that. But it's just you know, to get two good heads together uh, just enables you to build your game, so to speak, doesn't it? Yep. It certainly does. And seven apiece now. Over, Johnny. How far over? So this, uh, we've got some score updates. Yep, thanks. Uh, yep. Joe Edwards uh, and Kay Hammond Nelson playing Dennis uh, Paisley and Pam Calder of Invercargill. Um, after the four ends, it's 5 3 to Joe. Um, so a good start there. And we have um, Bridget Kitching and Sandra. I've got that right this time. Sandra. From town country, uh, club in Timaru, playing Diane Patterson, Leslie Burke of Wanganui. It's the Wanganui combination up 6-4 after five ends. And in the other men's matches, I can tell you that uh, Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson of St Kilda up against Dennis Brewster and Phil, Hors Phil Austin of Horswell. After five ends, it is 5-4 <coughs> to the St Kilda side. In the Dean Drummond, Murray Glassie game from Bowles Hastings up against Morris Symes and Kevin Greenwood of the Renwick Cup of Marlborough. It's the Hastings combination after five ends who are leading 11-3. And, of course, in the Lance Tasker game now, which we've got in front of us, we know that we've got 9-3. It's interesting that Dean drummond murray Glassy game, uh, Steve, in there, that, you know, they're highlighting their, their adaptness to this, yep. the, the carpet, isn't it, really? It's yep. their specialty. And they, they had a good game um, against Leif, Yesterday, wasn't it? Um, <coughs> was that the TV game? I think it was. Um, you know, th the, uh, the certainly that half of the draw is quite outstanding in it. If you uh, you got the winner of uh, this game that you've got in front of us, O'Shea Selby. Um, absolutely. Yeah, you know, the it's winner of that plays absolutely. either Morris Symes or Dean Drummond. The uh, oh. the, the it, the game yesterday that we did, um, Mara, uh, Mike Coonahan was with me. That's what it was too. Yep. James Williams looking for the split down here to the task of bowl. Just going to go by. But the uh, it actually came down to to a one end result. Yeah. Someone was going to get a three or a four of some. You know, it was ones and ones sort of thing all the way. And it was just one of those matches where someone's going to get it, and and it was the. <clears throat> the Carlton side. So here, Lance Tusk has drawn a good shot right on the well, jack. He's, he's got one yeah. there and he's uh, got good position this time. He has. He's got the two, but one nestled just in behind the jack on the touch, another one out the side. And James Williams has got one bowl on that drawing side where we're a bit of, not quite in no man's land, but would have to move quite a bit. 
but with the weight control that uh, Lave Shelby uh, plays with, uh, I'm sure he'll just be reaching up through on the draw. Yep, and he's looking coming up on the forehand just to <coughs> try for that perfect split and be happy with something just in behind as well. And he's not a million miles away. Look at this. Oh, did he hit it hard enough? Close was the call, sure. but still got to play there, John. The I, good I, thing I straight mean, away that Dave Shelby has done, whether they've got you the shot or the split, not. Be good. He's just Playing played the weight to make sure we've got another bowl on the head, There's isn't it? Yep. That's it, you know, it? And it cuts the options of what's available. Of, of John. scoring opportunities, of yep. numbers, so to speak, uh, for the Bay of Plenty <laughs> combination. So, you know, there's a lesson in how the players like Leif Selby and, and John O'Shea, or didn't work in the last year for John mate. O'Shea, but they endeavour to control, don't, they don't risk the head, so to speak. No. And with that uh, six-shot lead at the moment, Leif will take a one down. Absolutely. Um, we don't want a three or a four. That, that's uh, in the back. So Doc Collis of the Capity Coast now leading after, uh, as we play the eighth in, up eight seven over Deborah Lloyd. Eight seven over Deborah Lloyd after playing now the eighth in as we watch the Selby Bowl He'll coming in looking. towards the head. Coming, he needs. Well, <laughs> that could have made a shot of it. That could have made enough? shot. Old Lance will tell us. I'd be playing a bit more weight, Johnny. Well, that's the there you go. <laughs> Still on the forehand, mate. It's sort of possibly indicating to you what yeah. he thinks the result is. So we're going to see. Still good as well. He just needs it through it just to catch that ball. That that jack pops. Yep. Um, happy days for John and Lance. So a yard, just a yard of, of weight. Go on, Leith. Move, Leith. <laughs> um, they're not getting excited, so. No, it's gone hey, past it's on the gone wide high. side. James Williams having a look. Just, just moved the ball. Just touched the ball and yeah. moved it. Didn't, it wouldn't even got a roll, did it, would it? No. No, <laughs> no. So you, get ready, James, Mr. Umpire. James used to be in, indecisive. Now he just doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, and t look, to be fair to, to Leif Selby here, there's no real shot for him to play because where the Lance Park task of bowl is, is situated, you're not going to move that bowl. No. So I think he'll just endeavour to play. He'd be quite happy to get on to those, his front one. He's well, coming I high. I think he's got the shot, I reckon. That's, that's, yep. Is that the view? Yeah. Because he went deliberately. Well, he, yeah. He's put nothing. in a position bowl. There you go. Yeah, I Around think it's indicated. Well, or else he's saying, <laughs> or, or else he's saying, I'm not going to be any more than one down. No. So, yep. I, I, you know, a yep. nine three up. I'm going to go to the bat. You know, and yeah, that's it. I think blue beats white, but red and blue are close. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, up, up from that statement, Lance, they're all close. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see what John O'Shea, whether he can, he'll endeavour just on the draw, I think, to try and reach. He's the, coming on the backhand, by the look at that. Well, is he trying to like get to, to, to turn on the James Williams yep. bowl, which will turn to the This is a uh, fun run jack. line. And how far is it's it going to hold up? Hold. Is it going to oh, hold yeah. up outside or inside? Well, that's, I don't think oh. there's any argument now, do you? Oh. Umpire, umpire, short man. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, it could well, be two. Could, could be three, could be. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? And James but, doesn't know. So. There it is. Yeah, the blue bowl against the other three. So, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right uh, there, Steve. And it could be. It could, in fact, be one to the Tauranga side, or in fact, it could be three to Carlton. Yep. Now you won't see we got, uh, they've got Pauline uh, Seaton doing the, the job for us today um, as umpire up this end. You wouldn't see that call, though, very often, would you? It's either one or three. <laughs> it's either one to us or possi possibly three to them. Absolutely. So that, that just shows you how close the bowls. And we've got... Uh, Get the chucks coming out there from Pauline just to make sure bowls 
So the umpires, Stephen, uh, one thing for sure. do they love Stephen this? Do they love this and dread this? <laughs> yeah, I think that's. Uh, I was talking to Pauline yesterday, and uh, she's uh, her and her husband have got a farm up in uh, Central Otago there. And, oh right. Um, so yeah, the beauty of uh, bringing it down here, they've they've uh, brought all the best umpires in. It's great from isn't around it? the around the neighbourhood, so to speak. Well, last um, week in Hastings, we had people come in from oh, yeah. all around the, the area, didn't we? And they were doing Yeah, well, they had all their rep players um, doing the marketing. Yeah, it was and, outstanding. And uh, those that uh, were very competent in it. And You've got to have an umpire here that hasn't got shaky hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Because, you know, sitting there watching this now, you can see how tight this measure is. Got kind of weight. And not very often involving four bowls, Steve. Oh. Literally all of the same. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> okay. It did go straight. <laughs> and of course, oh the way how the bowls are situated, normally if the marker, she'll take a bowl out, or he will take a bowl out. Yeah. But you can't do here, can you? Because you're going to yeah, be. Yeah, well, they're all, well, they're all, all chocked. Aren't? They're all chocked and all that. So. Oh, this is very, very tight. Must be. Really tight. Leif Selby leading 9-3 as we come to the... Yep. Two. Wow. Two. Two, mate. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the, <which is laughs> we, we had all the options <laughs> except two then. Yeah. <laughs> was, it, we were talking what? three or one. Yeah, and it was <laughs> two, with two. The, two with the calipers. But wow. a, what a time to get the two, though, now, when after, you know, the way their head was... Uh, now 11-3, game certainly far from over, but a really nice little, nice time to sort of get that tight oh, end. Look, there's been some great bowls there, and uh, you know, like Lance and uh, John aren't playing oh. like they're <laughs> an eight-shot difference Not in, at in all. the game. No, so Not it's at just all. one of those ones where you're playing well, but the opposition are just a smidgen better. It is also interesting with the players, though. Uh, as well, Steve, that, that, that definitely the contrast of choice of ends or length of ends yep. um, has been in, in the placement of the mat. You know, the, the Carlton guys have got the mat back yep. and the Jack, Jack Lowe, whereas the, uh, the Bay of Plenty side, the Tauranga side, are playing, of course, with the mat up and the Jack right, right down. Yep. And 9 7 now, 9 7 it is Doc Collis and Gene Watt leading Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson. That's as we come to the halfway mark now, the ninth end of this this game, and the opening bowl of the <coughs> opening bowl of James Williams, Jack Level, Tusk up, soon to move to Whanganui, back to the homeland on the yep. back end, and a good opening bowl from the. Yeah, the gold star, five times New Zealand title holder. Yeah, just got a text from uh, Steve Hughes. Uh, must be at Tauranga there, and uh, he's telling me he's got the, uh, we got the dusty bit right. So obviously he had one lemonade too many last night. Uh, a guaranteed won't be a happy man because of uh, the result. No. He'd be screaming at the referee like we all were. Yes. You know, what are you doing, man? It's not a sending off offence. Well, yeah. That was... I'm not going to say anything. No. <laughs> uh, uh, social media has been... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It's amazing when th th that things happen to the All Blacks. How many uh, really proficient All Black coaches that we've got around the country. Well, we've got at least five million, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they certainly came out. They got on the bus last night very quickly. Yeah. So James Williams trying to get to the jack. Will he uh, get to the jack? Front of it. Yes, he yeah. did. Oh, he's Andrew. walked a bit. And he got four, well, five bowls there. Uh, look at the Stephen and you could put a tea towel around yeah. the, the five bowls, wouldn't you? Well done. <coughs> Good display of leading. Oh, it is on the backhand. So Lance Tusk Lance trying to draw. Line, but look, well, he? he can draw the port. He can make. If he gets the bowl, gets the jack, make two. Going to fall under it with weight though. Oh, Lance, so you needed to be up. He'd be disappointed with that, and I'm sure we'll see 
No, I'm not going to say okay. what Leif Shelby will try and do, but I would think he would be trying to come down underneath the front blue bowl of, of uh, Lance Tuskers and get to the Jack High, get to the Jack High bowl. Yeah, because we know that, that it's that's the shot, obviously, that uh, John O'Shea will, and, and this is how wrong I was. Was going on the forehand. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. And is he immediately going to the back? Is that the go? Well, no, no, he's drawing to I that. Think he's just trying to get another one in there. Trying to get another bowl into the and he head. Uh, and not all bad. There's <laughs> a bit of class. Yeah, a bit of class, all right. <laughs> just to write the crack and egg on a I'm sure Steve Hughes, who's watching, uh, he could have played that. Yeah, well. <laughs> Mind you, it might have taken him 20 times well, to do it. I was going to say, uh, they're going to get it first cab off the rank, eh? And the, it's a matter of where the jack line, where the jack will go. This looks to be under that line, really. Uh, but, uh, Steve, it's going to not... Well, he could have more than not... He, he could have played yeah. with a metre of weight on this, really, to get that crack onto there. Yeah. And there is, a, there is a Carlton Bowl sitting locked in there, well, but... it's heading straight back, probably. But, by goodness, so, this guy can... Uh, yep. James is uh, calling him round to Lance's uh, back bowl. Anything around there or beyond would be ideal. He's giving it a wee stay out wide, would you please? He's round it. Boom for uh, this guy can play. <laughs> yeah, bit, bit more weight through there, Johnny. Tracks good. <laughs> Boy. Oh man, that was brilliant. Well, that's two bowls, Steve, you know, even to get around that with, and to get around like he did with that dead draw weight. But Johnny's given this bit He's got a chance. good chance here. Has the Tauranga boy oh, just, what? just went by. Thought he would have got some contact there. Oh. Any contact. You can play half of the shot and drop some more. There's no doubt, Steve, if you, you know, you're watching Leif Selby play... You, he knows now as well. He's got confidence in the green. Yep. He's got confidence in what he's playing because he's playing those really what I would call tight shots. And he's getting, well, if he's not getting them, he's all but getting them. Yep. And his bowls are hanging around the head. And that becomes a challenge opposition wise, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, like when he's on the top of his game, yeah, like you know, he can virtually place them there. I'm picking he'll try and split the. The blue and the, the green. Yeah, I'm picking um, he'll be happy. It looks like a contact there could squirt out that side. A metre past, he'd yeah, be more than happy. He's certainly no. out on that wider side and trying to get down to the red. He's going to get on that red bowl. And that's pretty classy, really, isn't it? Rather than slower, yeah. John's just got to make some contact. Yep. And really, really probably with bigger weight. Because it looks like that jackal, it's lined up to go back to the um, the two it deep like bowls. Land back on the, on the white. So Lance Tasker giving us some description there of where he thinks what would happen with, with contact. But the biggest thing here, and he's certainly yeah, playing with that weight, is O'Shea to make sure he's up. He's on the wide side. And the, oh, well, that's a... Two, Johnny. 13-3 now. It's starting to become somewhat of a challenge. It is. In. It's tightening up over next door. Nine apiece. Nine apiece. But the other thing, of course, is, um, Steve, is that with we've seen yesterday and, and uh, again this morning, that with the class that Leif Selby brings, he can, he can close heads up. He yep. can... And it's Even if he's down, he, and he, he, you know you've got confidence that he's going to draw second shot or third shot. Uh, and it's a hard track to chase on. Um, oh, yes, it would be. You know, yeah. for, to make things happen. Um, and we'll get, well, I know Karen Hemer who's kindly ran around before, will get us an update yeah, we'll, shortly. We'll get, we'll Somebody get Karen to... Um, get us to do an update again uh, for Round the Traps. We'll see what's happening in the other matches <coughs> out here on the, on the rink. But boy, we've been treated, we've really been treated in this men's game, uh, Steve, to a pretty classy display, isn't it, from uh, the, the Carlton Cornwall skip. <laughs> Just 
Next door's uh, tightened right up, so just over the halfway mark. Well done. Nine all. Doc Collis and Jen Watt from the White Airy Beach Club, playing Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson from the magnificent town of Queenstown. Uh, and One of my favourite places to go anywhere in the world is Queenstown. It's not bad, is it? No, yeah, they've got some rather tasty wine and... Uh, that from up there. Well, we've got a lady here from the, one of the other lovely places here, of course, and uh, one of the girls working here from Wanaka. Yep. So, so you know, the. Uh, yes, I must admit, you know, Central Otago, one of the great uh, holiday destinations, one of the great playgrounds of the world. Certainly You've is. got it at summer or winter, at the opportunities there. Don't ski myself, but. No. Uh, no. My. Uh, my oldest boy does for sure, and uh, even the little fella who's five, he's uh, they love it. He, he can he can go pretty good as well. So very good, Jane. So good That's opening in here. This in from Lance Tusker draw uh, back touches to behind the last bowl of the, the James Williams bowl. Just James got tangled, loose. Just got tangled up this there. End. And this is uh, sort of what we're talking about before. It's Stephen is. Two down is uh, the uh, Carlton combination, and you know this is where you'll see, you know that what I would say that the really experienced <coughs> Leif Selby will be endeavouring with his first bolt to make sure that we're only one down. Yep. And then we'll see what happens after that. He, yep. he won't be trying. The reality to of the games the are as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, your lead's not. He's going to have a couple of loose ends. Absolutely. Or three, so absolutely, uh, and that's when you play the the good skip plays the role, doesn't go chasing shots, yep. just plays the safety game, so to speak, to uh, make sure that they're not in yeah, uh, James, is, a, James is interested. Well, uh, it's just left a bit quite in his hand. going to get to Still second two, shot. He left the two shots as a call. Selby left the yard yeah, in his hand. Yeah, Left the yard in his hand then. And a great chance here for the Bay of Plenty skip, the Tauranga domain skip. Great chance here for John O'Shea now to add to it. He's certainly out on the wider side. How far will it come back? He really, Wait, I, th very good, Johnny. I think, really just needed to be Wait, very good. literally a bowl wide outside the. Yeah, and that first bowl of Leif's has forced Johnny to sort of get out there a bit. To move it out wide, and Selby certainly, it would appear, has got a better weight with this one. How far is this going to come? And you're so right. Uh, Just a natural draw now, Steven, still holding be two. Because that was the line, well, good. wasn't yep. it? And yep. he ran into that front bowl, still yeah, holding two. Is the, the Lance Tasker side, Le Leif Selby leading 13-3 in this post-section match here. And nine apiece between uh, Doc Collis and Deborah Lloyd out on that wider side again. Looks like the Collis is holding okay. shot over there. Yeah, I'm sure oh, Johnny Green was perfect. didn't change the line, <laughs> but good good there from Lance Tusker saying it was all good. Just a bit of green and a bit of white was a bit <laughs> of a challenge. So I'm sure we'll see Selby. I think he would just, he would just looking for second, second shot. Second shot, I'd say. Oh. If he, I would, I would imagine Steve looking from here, if he beats his own front bowl, yep. it would be close to second shot, wouldn't he? My goodness, he's still looking. Look. He's, he's looking because he's saying, I've got a bowl at the back here. Am I staying here? And I suppose what he's saying is, even if I miss it, it's still a, a two-shot result. It's not. Yeah. Because we have got bowls around the head and we have got the backest bowl. So he may well be looking at coming down on that f that, that, that forehand squeeze, that forehand, forehand runner down through. Ooh, I think Deborah next door there would have wanted that bowl back. So he's looking for... He uh, looks wide all the way. Oh, to, to he's just looking down that port to catch. And OK. So it's a two. It's a two to the tower on the combination and John's got what, 18 inches to draw another anything uh, really get a three past the white bowl uh, the Leif Selby front bowl or in between the the, the blue and the green uh, would go close to, uh, to counting and just 
I wonder with that big arc of his bowl, he just needs to make sure he gets under here. that. He's got to get under his own. Under his own there. green bowl, which is a couple of metres out. So here it is on its way. This Good track, Johnny. On the ninth end. Yep. Yeah, Lance and likes the track. Good track. Starting to cut now, though. Anything past White's good. Starting to cr go now. Oh. How far it'll count, though. No. Happy to take two. Happy to take two. There you go. Yep. It was, uh, I thought once he got past yeah. it, he might have to, it would have counted yeah, yeah. not to be. So I see in the other <coughs> match, the girls in the Cavity Coast side just scored. What are you wanting, John? That's the uh, Dot Collis scoring a one. Now Same. 10, 10, 9. It is Dot Collis and Gene Watt over Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson. We're playing the 11th in now, and it's 10-9 to the Capity Coast side. And in this other match, our feature match, it's Lake Selby and James Williams of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland, the defending five. champions from uh, uh, Invercargill, I think it was, uh, last year. And uh, up against the Tauranga side, Tauranga, the main side of John O'Shea, skipping with Lance Tusker. And it's fair to say, Stephen, two of the very well-performed players, of course, uh, in the Bay of Plenty. Absolutely. And, and we've got uh, an update taken coming the jack to for you. A walk. Yeah. And Lance Tusker just finishes lower the jack, but a very, very good opening bowl. And just quickly in these other matches which we've got, which we've got here, uh, in the game between uh, Owen, Owen Bennett and Murray White of St Kilda, up against Dennis Brewster and Phil Austin of Horswell. It is the Horsell side after eight ends who are leading 9-7, 9-7. John? In the match between Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy of Bowles Hastings up against uh, Morris Symes and Kevin Greenwood of the uh, Renwick Club in uh, Blenheim. It is 18-6 to the Hastings combination. Wow. 18-6 now, Murray Glassy and Dean Drummond. Uh, and the other game Freeman. that's going, of course, is the Selby, uh, Selby O'Shea game. Uh, with Lee Selby leading 13 shots to three as we play the ninth end of 18. And uh, the ladies' other two games going, we've uh, got Bridget Kitching and Sandra Cleland from the Timaru Town and Country Club up against Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke of Wanganui. And it's the Wanganui combination, 10-4 up after eight ends. Uh, and across the green, uh, we have the GOAT, Joe Edwards, greatest of all time, uh, playing with Kay Hammond of Nelson, playing Glennis Paisley and Pam Calder of Invercargill. And it's a tight one. A after eight ends, it's 7 5 to uh, Joe. Um, and of course, we've got the other live streaming game here. And the winner of the Edwards Paisley game will be uh, playing Natasha Grimshaw and Henrietta Scott of Kiatoa. As we watch this uh, Leif Shelby lead, James Williams going by, one on, one over. That's pretty handy, really. That's, that's great leading that, Stephen, is it? One on, yep. one Especially right in behind. 13-5 up. <laughs> that's 13-5 um, up, and you've got two locked on like that. It's certainly... <laughs> And really, it nullifies really two of the, the uh, two of the Lance Tusker bowls immediately are nullified out of the head, aren't they? And oh, they are. So well played there from the former greenkeeper of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland. I see Mary Campbell and husband Andy. Oh, Andy, Andy Andy's there, yeah. yeah. And Gail Melrose sitting uh, intently looking at watching on as we see John O'Shea come in. Well, he hit. He had to play reaching weight, really. It's got to be uh, up. Steve, no, yeah, there's no sense in, in uh, playing low yeah. weight because you're just going to, you've got no show of getting a result. And, and, and of course, Leif Selby here will be determined to make sure he's past the, past the jack <laughs> level position. Yeah, you don't want to fatten it up. No, you don't want to give a ride home on that backhand side to your opponents. And, well, he's jack level, literally, but he's out. That one just underneath the buddy. He's out, wide, he's, he's out wider, but that, that shot now is just inside that bowl of uh, Lace Selby's. That's for John. <coughs> is he out yep. wide enough with his bowls? That's, all, a, that's all the question I would ask, because as you rightly right, said before, Stephen, but, well, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, might be second, second shot.
Well, I don't hear you. I would only respond about my weight or, or weight if Leif Selby actually asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't actually say to him, you're a metre short or something like that. Well, he gets past the green. If he gets past it, no, he's not going to. But it does make it a wee bit more challenging, it's though, doesn't it? For John, for John to, John to uh, change to, that. You know, and it's an, uh, another end gone. Sure, it's only one at this point in time. It's not a big number, but it's another end gone, which just just starts to sort of make it yep. harder, doesn't it? Eight to diff with eight to play. You know, and when you're playing a game where it's tight. Nice. Murray Glassy and Dean Drummond, they're certainly making uh, every post a winning post, aren't they, in that game against, yeah, against Morris Symes. Trying yeah. to get down to the front pole to the jack Not touch. Far away. And he's going to get okay. it and get the pole clean and goes to back to... Is it, is it Lance has stayed there or does it bounce off that and come up to James as well? Well, no one's saying anything. I thought it went directly to the blue, to the... Uh, yeah, but it, I think it... Yeah. Did it bounce off that I'm not sure no one's given us <laughs> so we'll see here Selby oh, they're obviously holding one and he's saying we haven't got one yet we haven't got one yet we haven't got one yet we haven't got one yet, we haven't got one yet. have a look at that have a look at that now, he had centimetres to play that oh. shot, really, Steve, didn't he? And he knew out of the hand, he, you could see him just... <laughs> That's yeah, unreal. <laughs> that was pretty good. I heard Lance Tasker say through the microphone, 14-5, another end gone. And that wow. was... That's as good as you'd see, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Jack had been moved off the centre line. Remind me of that shot, um, <laughs> Dean McMurch. Oh, yes. Last weekend Last week. when he... You know, Bart had one half an inch away <laughs> from behind, one sitting out the side about two inches away, <laughs> and, and dropped the one. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, yeah. Dean played a bomb. Yeah, it's so the viewers at home, I think you've been treated to two great games here because we're locked up now in this other match. Tea and a piece. Oh, good start, Great James. opening bowl from James Williams right in front, and that's, look, if you just... Any skip, if your lead gives you that very first bowl in that position, you just sort of go for oh, okay. We'll Especially on the indoor surface, it just, um, to, you know, it well, just you're not makes it a, You're not going to turn the corner. You don't get the turn like you do on a natural. And and good a response, though. Very, very, very good Lance. response from it's a, it's a worker. Lance Tasker. It is a worker, you're quite right, and immediately, of course, forces uh, the, the uh, Carlton side <laughs> To James Williams to change his hand, which he's duly doing, and there's a different line on that hand, only barely, but he looks pretty good again, just depends how that weight is, he's coming down to the to his own bowl, he's going to sit, now that's that's oh. that's good and bad, because yeah. he's, he's just good opened that turned bad. Yeah, opened that gap up on that yeah. side but when goodness, you can see the jack, it seems to be a lot easier it's it's sort of a, hello you, here I am and Lance Tarsen straight not away. A, not yeah, a, I can oh, see it. it. Diving. Just, well, he might get a slide through to the jack and does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ended up real good but, home if it's but, not shot. But the good thing is, from the Carlton's point of view, uh, uh, Stephen, the, the ball's sitting up. It's not laying down on its flat. It's, yep. It is sitting up. So if you do get to that bowl on the carpet, it will it'll roll away. It, w it yep. will move. And Leif's quite happy to um, have James playing through this. He's well, if he gets through clean, oh. he's not going to, though. He gets a slide, but he's at, well, it's around the head. Yeah. He's got three they bowls really, all, really all, all in the to line. Be through that with a yard of weight, taking the jack with him. But that okay. shot from the last end, that was <laughs> oh, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's. And that control of Lance, weight as well. Lance, stop bad here. And he's going to get that jack and move it. Well, well that's that's far better for the Bay of Plenty side because you've got the right movement of the jack. And, and it's just taken uh, all of James's bowls out of play. It has. It's, uh, it has. It's, 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 it's three nil literally. You know because you're right because nothing is over the head from the Carlton Cornwall side. And 
and Leif did uh, call for James to be through it and uh, get one over there. So, so I'm sure Mr. Shelby, Leif Shelby will be quite happy here at 14-5 if he can get second shot with this first bowl and go from there. But being an Australian, I don't know whether he's happy with that. I don't know if he's happy with that, mate. <laughs> and, got, <laughs> and did get the jack. But great home. Great, great home. Because that's where... The, it's, it's obviously now the weight he's going to play with his next bowl, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm not sure. It, it, it might. I'm, I'm not I'm looking at the James Williams bowl, which is straight on line to the jack. Would you still would you favour that for second or the side bowl? The other bowl at the side. That's not. That's not into the count. So here's. We know how much work John O'Shea gets out of his bowl at the finish. Is he going to get enough to get all the way down? No, he's not. He really needed to be a couple of feet through that just to take that. Yeah, hopefully. Well, what it does now for Lace Shelby tightens that run line, that, yep. that weight line, doesn't it, under the green bowl, really, to get to the blue. So here is Shelby endeavouring to play what we just spoke. Look wide all the way. No, it's coming Look now. Look wide all the way. He's coming all the way back in. And well, has it really changed anything? Definitely one to the Tauranga side. Still lying a couple. So there's two. So the, um, so the Jack the Level bowl is the bowl. And yeah. that's, a, it, you know. that's a nice compliment Land there from Lance there. Tasker. Yeah. yeah. You know, instead of getting more bowls on the head, he's respecting the office. He said uh, respect here because we know what, what can happen. Well, we know what he, he can play it, so it's... Um, it's just, yeah, good common sense. And, uh, yeah, Lance is very experienced at the game and knows what can be played and gave what him the will deep, be played. Gave him the deepest bowl on, on the rink. Yep. Ten each now, ten apiece, Doc Collis and Gene Watt up against Deborah Lloyd. Johnny, get out of the road. Gene and Anderson. And someone's yeah, just reminded of... <laughs> but Erica was just on the run. She just went out, out, out the door. Oh, no, it's all right. So here is Leif Shelby on the mat, trying to get to the jack. Certainly Ooh. tightened his, his, his line he's tightened up his, a bit. He's down on his haunches. It's moving outwards, not inwards. He's is not it, far away. Look at this. Uh, look at this. Look, <laughs> look at this for bowling. Uh, you're a freak. <laughs> what a player. <laughs> Now, that's as good oh, as you would see, isn't mate, it, Stephen? That's perfect. 15-5. you behind, this, isn't it? With a bowl to play. Yeah. And, look, John O'Shea's a very, very good player. But the pressure that you're under bowl after bowl after bowl does make it challenging, Stephen, it doesn't does. it? And we do know that uh, Johnny's not actually running 100% at the moment. He's no. caught that dreaded leg. Uh, it's not COVID, but the uh, the flu that's going around. So he's been coughing and spluttering all. So Shay Bamuth wait. He's close as well. Either. He's close. He's close. Very Good close. The jack. Jack's going to move Roger. back to where they are. Two shots. Well Good. played. Well played, mate. Great end Great. by both skips oh, there, really, Steve. That's high it, class you know? end. High yeah. class bowls. Well done. And uh, you know we saw the shot change in the, the bowl that Leif Selby played was outstanding. And equal to the task there Johnny, was uh, John, o, John O'Shea. 14 7 now, 14 7 as we. Okay, a bit of a change of tactics there, agreed between Lance and uh, John. Lance has been walking the mat up the green a bit, so just getting back into the more traditional placement. Yeah, back at the mat's laying back on the normal position. 10 each in the Dot Collis Deborah Lloyd game. It's a Dot Collis from the Capitan Coast from the Waitareri Club, Waitareri Beach Club, with uh, Gene Watt and Deb Lloyd and Jane Anderson out of the Queenstown so Club. So that looks like Collis was scoring there. They've yeah, got the mat, a one, so they'll go to 11 10. So here's the opening bowl of Lance Taskers there, Jack Level, and his. Uh, and they've come quite a bit longer. I, I was just going to say, Steve, as you remarked, that they have come quite a bit. Uh, they've got the mat back, and they have played uh, quite a bit uh, of a different length. James Williams has opened up, though, with a good opening bowl, and behind didn't trick, the Jack. Didn't trick James at all. Uh, that's a w well played bowl from the that lead Jack there. Jack Lowe on the side, John. Your Jack Level 
Hi. Well, let's see there. It's deceiving. The diff looks level. The jack level here, and and uh, well, he might. You know, sorry, he was asking, wasn't he, about the bowl of James Williams? And, yeah, whether it was high. Yeah, and it is high. Tasker will endeavour to get to that that shot bowl. Let's get that camera around. Here it comes now. Great, just missing a wee bit of weight and green really. The important thing for the really for the Tauranga side uh, here, um, Stephen, is to, is to score on multiple ends, isn't it? That's yep. The, yep. Oh, there's another good bowl here from Williams, the Carlton lead. This is a very good bowl, going to send it right on that jack line. That just takes the side of it out. Lance has got to be up and over with this. Well, it very quickly highlights how your bowls get negated if they're short, Steve, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> you know, straight away it just uh, has two other bowls really out of the out of the game. But he's on a good line here as Tasker. Is he going to hold up long enough? Gets the front bowl. No, he won't. But we'll finish literally Jack just a bowled Jack low. And I'm sure here on the backhand, James Williams will endeavour to get another bowl in in that that straight line because it will certainly put the pressure on John O'Shea as we play the 12th end of 18. He's coming he's coming past the head. And that's yep. three great lead bowls, uh, Stephen, isn't it? Look, three very good. <laughs> he could have done with another foot, I think. He he's, could just, have. he's just created a little bit of a shelf there for oh. John to land on. But uh, uh, when you're 14-7 up, no. uh, you'll take it. Not even second. Just put some pressure on. So John O'Shea will be endeavouring with his first bowl to get to that draw. Your greens close over Second shot, he'd be happy with at this point. Yeah. So on the forehand is John O'Shea. Certainly started out on that wider side, but his bowl is a is a wider drawing bowl for sure. It's coming back towards it's the head now. Here. It's coming back towards the shot. Falls oh, in a shot. Fair effort. Fair May effort. still be shot. Still got it. Was the call from? Very well played bowl by the Tauranga skip there. He's only a. A roll away from being shot. Selby in quickly into his work on the forehand. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on is the call from James. Come on is the call. He's not a come on miles is away. the call. Have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Touch up. Well, it's all amazing. Well, that, that, that particular shot there, that just shows the class of the man and the tactical nous that he's got. Most of us are going, oh, you can't play that hand because you're going to knock John O'Shea in. Driving on the back so end, he just plays it with an extra foot of weight. To, to if he hits it, it's if out. If, if he gets it, the, only, the biggest advantage it has, yeah. though, given to John O'Shea is because he's got Welcome those bowls out to the front there where the call from Lance Tasker is now to you know, reach up, play through there with reach, reaching weight down through there on the back end, which o, he's doing is uh, O'Shea. He's what, giving it a chance. What targets are you going to get? What is target is he going to get? Is it the slide to the jack? Oh, oh he was he was, he was actually just unlucky that, he was, there. He had life spoil. He uh, was only literally centimetres away. Well, we've been treated really, Steve, from both all four players. This is as good as you would see, isn't it? Oh, mate, this is uh, high standard. It, 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 to me, it's uh, you had one yesterday with the Drummond Absolutely. Selby game, and uh, yes, and there. more to come. Oh, yeah, absolutely. More to come. This, this, um, this shows, you know, all four players. Well, look at all the bowls. Look where they all are. Yeah. They're all around. You know, they're all either. Jack level or a couple of bowls Jack low. Aren't they? Well, those low bowls started only a uh, foot or two away <laughs> from the being in. So, yeah. So, the unfortunate thing for John, I should say here, he yep. go he's got to find that yeah, uh, he's just under Lance's that, bowl. And under under that Lance task of bowl, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, don't know if the angle's there to get both the red and the white bowl. Yeah, I was um, going to say that. Just the, the, the way too square. 
and the way how his bowl's got that different, that more yeah. wider. So here is right. John O'Shea now on the Beyond mat. The, on the backhand. 11-10, Doc Collis leading Deb Lloyd on the backhand, as Steve rightly said, is John O'Shea. Let go. There's more. Let go is the call because it's yeah, got weight. Let doing. go. It's going to let go past though, not forward. And oh, no. Just a bowl high. Just a bowl high. That's all it was. You're... So, I don't know. Is it... Well, he'll back himself to draw between the green and the brown out there, won't he? Yeah. Oh, he's definitely not going to play the other hand, is he? Nah. Well, sorry. I was... <laughs> You wouldn't, well, you wouldn't think, think so. Wouldn't think so that he was going to play that great bowl over there in this Collis Lloyd game, and it is a movement of the jack, and it is Deb Lloyd with shot. I think he's saying we're taking it, whatever it is. You playing? You playing, Lee? <laughs> 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 Too late, lads. <laughs> <laughs> She's all gone. Yeah. I think. Oh, good. I think. Last show we thought they had two. Yep. Two it was. What a yep. magnificent bowl from the card in Cornwall script takes it out to a 16-7 lead. That's just a nice little break, Steve. Now, isn't it? it? Is. As we clock the ends down, you know, down. Yeah, was, what we see about 30 minutes to go. And. You just get that nice little buffer. Yeah. It's uh, this pushes out to nine again, doesn't it? But I, you know, I remarked yesterday to, to. Uh, uh, so that was two to Lloyd uh, in that ladies' game. So. I, I was remarking yesterday to Mike Kernan when he was here, and and one of the great things that was doing the live streaming. My viewpoint: this particular game here. Any coach. Any aspiring player, these are the sorts of games you should take a couple of hours out of your day and have a look at. Because yeah, or you, you, you go can, and watch it again later on. Yeah, because absolutely. you can see with someone like Leif Selby, taking nothing away from John O'Shea, but how you can control, at weight control, and how you can just back yourself on the draw. Absolutely. So here with the men now, the game between uh, Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson of St Kilda. 11 ends gone. Uh, up against Dennis Brewster and Phil Horswell of the uh, Horswell Club of, of Christchurch. And very tight. 11-10. 11-10 after 11 ends. In the match between Dean Drummond and Murray Glassie of Bowles Hastings up against the Marlborough combination from the Renwick Club of Morris Symes and Kevin Greenwood. 13 ends gone. And it's 21-8. 21-8 in that match and of course we know in front of us here the live streaming match it is 16-7 the Leif Selby James Williams uh, side leading Lance Tusker and John O'Shea after we're playing in 13 of 18 well you'd say uh, Drummond is through there I can't see Morris coming back from that no I can't <clears throat> okay so uh, we have Joe Edwards Kay Hammond of Nelson playing the uh, Invercargill side of uh, Glennis Paisley and uh, Pam Calder. And it's 12-8 after 11 ends to Joe Edwards. Uh, in the other match with Bridget Kitching, Sandra Cleland of Timaru Town and Country, playing Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke of the Wanganui Club. It's 14-5 to Wanganui after 11 ends there. So here... The, the class continues. You saw James Williams had drawn Jack Level with his uh, second bowl. And Lance Tasker just on the draw, drew inside it. James Williams has got three bowls within half a metre. And at the moment, yet again, we're going to have another end, uh, Stephen, where you can put a tea towel literally yep. uh, over, over the bowls. As you can the with the woman next door. Next door. <laughs> Here's Tasker again, just trying to get inside the... James Williams bowl, will he do it. so? Turns it in, set him behind the jack, just be the one. Now, Lance is going for a bathroom. So I hope he remembered, I I told, hope he remembered. Him, told him to take the microphone off. <laughs> <laughs> I did warn them. <laughs> <laughs> just 
<laughs> Can we have the volume down, please? <laughs> yeah. And, of course, our thanks to our team here, Steve and myself, for, of course, doing the commentary. But we can't do it without the wonderful work of Erica, Tamara and Quinn here today and the work that they do to bring this live production. They do an outstanding job. Well, I'm glad we're down this end of the table because there's too many knobs and buttons up the other yeah, end for not, us. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Only one on off. <laughs> yeah, and that's about all we're capable of doing. <laughs> all that other things, that's very... So, Johnny, Johnny you've got the try legs. And just get the legs past the... Uh, not yeah. quite, the late Shelby Bowl. As we see, most unusually went out on the narrow side, Jack Level. It's one shot, of course, to the uh, the, the blue bowl. With the red disc, the Lance Tasker bowl. Oh, he's going for that squeeze under the bowl yeah. to, to uh, try and get to the... You know, because the bowls in behind, of course, are that of James Williams. On the forehand now is Selby endeavouring to try and get down to this. It's coming now towards the jack and shot bowl. It's coming now. It's coming now. Have a look at... <laughs> Bit narrow and heavy. Narrow and heavy <laughs> touch it. Six inches off the jack. Knowing oh. now he's only going to drop one. Yep. John's got nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Other There's nowhere that. else you can count, Steve. No. He's got to just... It's got to be dead to the nose. And then the last thing you want to do is give a sit side... For, you know, a sit at Jack level uh, for uh, the uh, Carlton Cornwall skip. It's going to stay out Thank you, Johnny. on that wide side. Now, Will... So yep. is he, he going to play now for the trail? <coughs> well, it's only the draw to the trail, isn't it? Oh, late, they can play any weight through that now. And, and can get to the jack, jack can't will, he? Jack will squirt to James's back too. Uh, here is Selby. Trying to get down to the jack. He's not far trying away. Trying to get down to the jack. Not, not far trying away. to get down to the jack or the bolt. Oh, that was careless. <laughs> He was narrow. <laughs> <laughs> he was narrow. <laughs> boy, this boy can play. Oh, yeah. And Lance will just bank that one. I'll bank that one. 16 8 now. Another end gone. So we've got to end 14 now. You with the longer end. end 14. I'll try and come in up with a short one. End 14 about to be played. Another end finished in our ladies' game. Looks and like it is Jan the, it, it, and Deborah Lloyd picked that one up from the Queenstown. Uh, well, we'll see the white around the beach lady who's got the jack. Is she get that, that Jean Watt? Has she got, got the, the mat? Passing it, and she has. It is too. So I got that one wrong. Sorry, team. So that we'll see what happens there. It is at this stage, of course, it is the at the Lloyd side. I think it's all square now. Now it, I'd have to, and you made the comment a while back. Uh, Stephen, it was of course the it was the Cavity Coast side that that had the big break, wasn't it? But they were they were leading by yeah. quite a number, and here we are now, where we're literally <laughs> back say, square. They, they well, got out to seven nil, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a pretty chunky number on yeah. those earlier scores. <coughs> so good opening bowl from Lance Tasker, finishing Jack Level. James Williams trying to get down to the Jack was a yard <laughs> through, and. He wasn't yeah, frightened no. to try and play it with his first. No. <laughs> but I'm sure the they'll be yeah. quite happy to have that. 13-12 now as we play Ian 15. Another good bowl coming here from Lance Tasker. Going to get down answer. to the... He needs to get jack. right. Oh, jack. Just jack. Jack bit, right great on great the bowl. jack. Great bowl, Very mate. good bowl. So Williams now be on his backhand to narrow... She heard it straight out of the hand. He said he knew he was narrow, and he's right, but it's holding, but it won't hold for much longer. I don't think, <laughs> by goodness, it did. <laughs> James. James. <laughs> he fluked that one, he obviously. Fluked. He didn't like it out of the hand, so uh, he, he'll take it. He gave it away. He yeah. said, <laughs> he said, uh, I'm narrow. <laughs> Just held on that backhand line, Lance Tasker. He's down again, he's close either. again, is, is Tasker. 
just trying to get to the jack and will do so. Very well good. Well played. Well played, Lance. Well played by Lance Tasket. Williams again now to able to get another bowl on that backhand side on the head. Leading 16-8 is Leif Selby and James Williams, the defending champions in the Carlton Cornwall Club. Going to go wide and heavy on the outside. He had a rush of blood with that one for sure. Yep. Now, yep. Jane Anderson just drawing shot next door. The blue disc bowl holding shot. So we've been treated this morning to two magnificent reel on our TV games. They're certainly, they're certainly of the highest standard. Absolutely. That's the way it's set up here. It's uh, good for John at the moment. So thanks, uh, Craig Muir is just uh, reminding me that the Piers final last year was in Dunedin as well, not in Invercargill as I thought it was. Oh, OK, yep, it was too. Managed to play in that event. And, uh, well, he wants to be careful here how much movement he's going to get on the bowl of the jack. Good, Johnny. Whoa, it'll be two shots. But I suppose the one concern part there would be that it has opened that forehand, well, literally draw shot. Now, yeah, Leif will be just playing just slightly through it. He won't be a big weight because if he gets uh, Johnny's bowl, uh, James's red bowl will just pop. And he doesn't want to get that. Right, okay. yeah, no change keep, is the call. Keep coming, Johnny. You've got a chance of sort of landing that and pop it out or drag the jacket. Yep. Up. So he did Lance really hit the shot. Last time. Went far well away. done. Got one. 16-8, holding one is the call you heard clearly there from uh, Lance Tusker. John O'Shea endearing to add to the count. He's Looks got narrower the on, on the line with his bowl, but he's got weight. Has he got weight? Doesn't uh, want to get the black, the no, brown bowl. No, he doesn't. Than that. More than likely, he needed another couple of feet of weight oh, even on, the dead, weight. on the dead draw, Steve, yeah. didn't he? He needed to weight back to that Lance, Lance's bowl at the back there, yeah, just to, so he gets the pop. Because you find on the carpet uh, to move stuff, you have actually got to be playing. You've got to be playing through more weight you? than you would traditionally on the. Uh, yeah, he's, he's there. playing with this yard of weight. He's is, not a million miles away. He's playing away. with a yard of weight. Is the point? <laughs> got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah. That's I, not. That's not fair. Hey. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? Oh. That's well, Lance and Johnny are going to probably finish this second place and go, we don't go much better. <laughs> well, he's got a yeah, shot on the fun. triangle here to his own bowl, the front bowl. Um, yeah, he's he, got a bang. His the only danger, of course, well, not danger because they're down now, but the back of bowl, of course, belongs to Carlton Cornwall, so yeah. he's got to play with that. In oh, enough if he bangs, decent the, weight. bangs the green, he's... the. Red's gone and the white's gone, and uh, yeah, they've got everything else around it. But so. you can't play feathery weight on. No. He's got, yeah, he's got to be playing, you know, really right through Ooh. it with aggressive I'm not weight. That weight, Johnny. Johnny. Be Johnny. Because. But let's see what happens. He's going to get the split, all right, and uh, <laughs> well played. Good, John O'Shea, oh, what, a, what a bomb! Four. Here's me. Great bowl. It looked. Um, didn't look Out of the me. hand, it looked a bit lighter than I anticipated, but uh, brilliant. As called, hit the bright bowl. Red went out. Like, doesn't look White like went four, out. Does it? Good shot, Johnny. Yeah, he's got. Uh, yeah, 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 thanks, mate. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We've got a bowl to come. Yep. <laughs> Leif's shortish bowl would be the fifth shot. So, or James's. Yeah, looks like four every day. So here is Selby after that magnificent bowl from J John O'Shea. He's down on the draw. Big bowl of uh, big oh, he's walking up. He's stalking it now. Has he got the weight to get past to get down to second shot? No, he hasn't. Wow. Wow. Before it is. Very clear. I heard there from Lance Tasker. There it is, 16-12. Is, is that the turning point? Game. Back in the game. No, uh, that's a superb shot. You know, you and I both thought the weight needed to be different to that, but he got the weight dead right. Got the split 13-12 now, or an end to go up. But it is at the moment 13-12. Doc Collis leading uh, <coughs> the uh, Deborah Lloyd side. That's Doc Collis of the Capitol Coast to the Waitareri Beach side.
Club, leading 13-12 over the Central Otago, the Queenstown side, skipped by Deborah Lloyd. Jack's been delivered by Lance Tusker. Matt's back up. Uh, the mat has been uh, brought up brought again. Up again. <laughs> we'll just get those cameras. You'll see in a moment because the Jack's right down to the two, two metre mark. 16-12 now. To 14. It is yeah. Selby oh. and Williams. Good opening bowl here from Lance Tasker. Going to get right down to the oh. Jack. Does so. Sits just slower the Jack. James Williams now. He knows he's got to get this first bowl close to really put the pressure on. Two end shootout next door. It is. <coughs> or three end shootout. Yeah. Come up short. Well, the James Williams bowled by quite a bit. Doors open straight away now for Lance Tusker to draw to his own bowl. Just need another foot on that, Lance, and it'll be perfect. So, there's that breaking from that same point as where the first bowl came. There it comes now. Come in behind the head, down past the two metre yeah. mark. And we'll sit up at the deepest take part that. of the rink. He will take that all right, holding shot. And quickly into his work, James Williams now trying to get down to the Lance Tasker bowl. Needs to get past his own short bowl. Is going to do so just. And will be second shot. Still lower the jack by half a metre. 13 apiece, as Stephen rightly said, in the Central Otago match uh, with uh, Cavity Oops. Coast. That's uh, Doc Collis of Cavity Coast and Deborah Lloyd. Well, Lance is up again. He's up again. There's another good bowl from Tasker. Going to go by. And good bowl there, we'll Lance. make two. Right and that mark. sits right on the two metre mark. So James Williams in out, leading 16 12 after a four shots on that last end to the Tauranga side. I don't think he's got that right weight yet. How far is it coming back, though? How far will it come back? Still two. But well, he had to be over. He had to be over the head, absolutely. He had to be over. That's a bit more respectable, 16-12, 14. Well, well Lance, you're right in the game at 16 12. Sure, the ends are going down, but this, this end... Uh, Very good. Queenstown holding. Well done, Jane. But this end now, Steve, in the context of the match, comes a big end, this one, right now for the in the Selby O'Shea match. Yep. Well, Johnny's coming down the other side so he doesn't fatten a target. Anything over is good, mate. What well up? Over the head. There it is. Meter. And 13 all, as you said, in the women's match. And it looks as though it is. Did you the, what get that shot? Jan Watt holding the yep. shot, I would say. <coughs> so here's Selby. Here's Selby. Second shot. Second shot. Needed another roll. Buying one, Johnny. Draw there. Stay there, yeah. Sorry. So this becomes, after that four, the biggest thing after scoring that four, Steve, is to, to score the next end, isn't it? That's yep. the, you know, that's the, really the big thing. John O'Shea looks to looks high. be higher on the line as it comes down and more than likely missed, well not missed, but just lower the jack by a couple of feet. So will Selby just follow that line, try and get oh, a, you just put another one in there. And just try and get a turn on his... Turns well, on to he, what is that second shot bowler, so he, he a roll out of it. He just wants six coming, inches on there his he is, He's coming up uh, to have a look. Is it going to get back all the way? Is it going to get back? Is it going to... Nope. Locks on top of it. <laughs> just. What are you seeing? Oh. You've got to work for them, don't you? You do. John's not got a heck of a lot of room to uh, get another one in there. If he can just uh, get round James's shortest uh, red, he's got a chance to, given his bowls turn a bit, those wee threes. He's got a chance, uh, but we've been treated this morning to, from all four players, uh, a real, I think, spectacle, classy. And, of course, in the next game, look at how things will have another, I think, pretty classy, the, the Drummond-Dean Drummond combination with Murray Glassie who I would say are ahead of the Morris Symes. Got a handy break against Morris yeah. Symes. If they were to hold on, of course, they're too carpet. 
carpet players. So here's John O'Shea now trying to get back down to that counting area. Well, he might get an edge He here. might get an edge off the inside of the bowl. Right. Not going to do so. Goes by. So, so here we see trying to get a turn will Leif Selby. So that's he'll, he'll play down to... I'm sure he's just the one down. He'll try and get a turn onto the bowl. <laughs> Okay, and the, uh, across the green there, the Owen Bennett, Murray Wilson uh, of St Kilda, playing Dennis Brewster and uh, Phil Austin of Hallswell, all locked up after 14 ends, 12 all. And uh, the Dean Drummond, Murray Glassy have um, stitched up uh, Morris Symes and uh, Pinky Greenwood of Redwick. Uh, we're not too sure of the final score, but it's, uh, it's been shake hands time over there. It's interesting, we see... Selby changes hand. He's not many changes miles. hand to try and get to miles. the draw. Oh. One blue. Well, That's one. <laughs> Still <laughs> just the one, but he was only a roll away there from uh, making shot of it. 16-13. Now it's tightening up on the way home. And across the green again, it's uh, Joe Edwards, 17, with uh, Kay Helmond of Nelson, 17-12 up against... Uh, Glenn Paisley and Pam Calder of Invercargill after 14 ends. And uh, Leslie Burke and Diane Patterson of Wanganui leading 14-8 over Bridget Kitching and Sandra Cleland of the Timaru Cowan Country Club. That's after 13 ends. So we're at 16-13 now as we play in 16 of uh, 18. And we've got 14 minutes to go, so there's we'll like three. That'll be what two ends left for yep. most both, of them. Both of these games that we're doing, they will get through. Yep. Lance Tasker with his first on this, the 16th end. And this is anyone's game now. 16 13. Only three the diff, but boy, we saw there Leif Selby on a full length head. He drew three bowls within a foot. Oh, less. Six uh, inches. And, I, of it. and the good thing is that he just makes sure. We just dropped the one good opening bowl coming here. Is it from just pulled up lower the jet? Well, it was a metre really for the James Williams bowl. Looked to be on a good line, but didn't quite have the weight to get through. On the backhand now is uh, Lance Tasker. It's just forced Lance to change his map. And that looks as though it's going to be under the line, but will get contact with his own bowl. Will do so. Moves in a couple of rolls closer. Uh, well, James, he's having a change as well. Onto the forehand now goes the Carlton Cornwall lead. It's on its way. No, he's got a different weight on this green on this hand. How far is it going to come back? Certainly, he's got looks to have good weight and will go by. But that's handy enough. Falls in in behind the head. Yes, with these angles, it's it's a bit hard to pick up who's got what there. Sure about the weight again, Johnny. Sorry, not sure about the weight. Was you heard Lance Tusker? Uh, well, uh, I'd be pretty happy with it, <laughs> a bit short and narrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be pretty happy with that. Oh. Sure of the weight, okay, James. So, he's so tight here, mate. He's certainly tight here. It he needs to have a lot of weight to hold it's up to bad, the is jack. Is he round it? Is he round it? Is, is you're right, Stephen. Is he round it? Is he round it? Runs yes. into it. Now, yeah. shot. it does make the head, the head difficult. But it does make it very difficult, with, and especially because of how the Lance Tusker bowls positioned in line with the jack. It is. It's not sitting jack level to play at. And uh, Doc Collis out. Just picked up a three that last end. He's now playing in 17 now. So yeah, it was 13 all, now 16 13. Come on, Jay. Holding so shot. Is the, well, Jack moved, bowl went with it all the way. So that uh, looks like it's gone to the uh, Queenstown bowl. So, yeah, John O'Shea out on that wider side there, trying to get the bowl to come back. Now, what's. What's Selby going to play? Is he going to search through the... Oh, I think he's he's going to play two foot through with James's bowl because if he gets the gap, he's got a chance for the jack. If he hits it, hit James's bowl, there's a chance to push it in. And so here he is. Himself. Yeah, as Steve said, that's the shot he's endeavouring to play. Yeah, Needs to come back now on the back end. Oh. Doesn't want to collect this bowl out of the head, really. What a game playing here. Yeah. He does, does flash it onto the jack. The jack's sort of coming to here. 
You draw there, that's another shot. So that's a good call there from Lance Tasker. Change your hand, draw to the yep. brown, and you can count. It's playing with respect and tactical now. Come on down. And calling it to get all the way up is uh, Lance Tasker. Look good on the way out. How far is it going to come back? And this will count if, if what, yeah, from what was said by. Yeah, well done. Well done. So well done, John O'Shea. John O'Shea, well played. Everybody Selby doesn't, doesn't like it. Well, it's out. You can see it's wider the target there. Played with weight. Last ball counted. You heard that call then. So, same again, please, John. Is it three? No, I wouldn't think it's three. Talk to us, Lance. Tell us, Lance. It's been a great comeback, great fight back by the tower on the side, really. Uh, it has. Yeah, uh, we thought it was Stephen, all over Red Rover. But, because it, uh, was, uh, it was looking pretty hard, wasn't it? But that four. Yeah. And really Outstanding game of bowls so far. And, and, and Tass and um, Leif Shelby wasn't far away either from remo you know, changing that four. And here's, <clears throat> he's got the safe open it's draw down here as John O'Shea. Like trying to get, might get down past the brown bowl, does he? Or sits clean on the top of it? No, it just goes by. Three, I think I heard Lance say. Did he? Okay, didn't hear it. Oh, no green. So this is a big bowl here for the Carlton Cornwall skip. I may be incorrect what I thought I heard Lance Tasker say, and I'm picking the weight from Leif Selby will really tell us what he thinks the head looks like. So here is Selby on the backhand, trying to get to the James Williams bowl. All the split wants the gap. needs the gap. Well... You would think that would be second shot then. Well, Lance is pretty confident too, I think. Two, Johnny. It yep. is two. 16-15. As we go to Ian 17. 16-15 in this superb last eight match. And oh, we oh. just saw that Jack <laughs> moved around there. A huge slide. <laughs> the slide. By the, made um, two of it too, by the way. Made it. two of it. Oh, so two. we're going to be there going into the last end. I think it's 16-15. Oh, they're looking at the third as well. Two it was. Oh, Doc Collis leading from the Cabinet Coast of the Waitereri Club James. Beach Club. Leading 16-15 over Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson of the Central Otago of the Queenstown Club. Lace Shelby, James Williams, a one-shot lead now over John O'Shea and Lance Tasker. Matching screens, uh, they just moved the yep. numbers for a <laughs> round, so it's all both 16, 15. And Pretty we've got enough time on there. the clock. Um, it was 40 minutes something with Erica last. One. Only one? Oh, look at that down the bottom, seven minutes. So a good opening bowl there from the uh, Carlton Cornwall lead. Just in behind the jack, 16-15. Lance Tasker going by by a metre on the backhand again with his second bowl. And we've certainly been treated this morning to an outstanding game of bowls between these uh, four players and, of course, the ladies of equally tight, tight uh, encounter. But this, uh, this Selby Shea match really... Uh, Steve is of the highest quality, isn't it? Certainly has been, and uh, yeah, uh, I've picked racehorses the same way because I'd had, had, had Selby uh, for a win bet there early in the piece. And, uh, <laughs> well, well, here's two well, great well, balls two here balls, from, uh, from James. Yeah. These are the two you'd love to hold on to going into the last, isn't it? And I just question the line of Lance Tasker coming down with his bowl. Is it going to get to the jack? Yes, it will. Moves it around the corner. Be holding one, I would say, with the Carlton Cornwall side. More than likely will require James to change his hand. You would think so. Trying to get to the Lance Tasker bowl, get a turn on it. Turn it through the head once. Holding one is the Carlton Cornwall side. <clears throat> We play the 
in 17, and, and he's going to be out height. on the wide side. I suppose you could say at this point in time as well, <coughs> Stephen, that the the back of the head's not really, the deep it's not really in play, is it? The way how the head's set up. Not at the moment. moment. At this point in time. No, that's right. Okay. Draw there. I think Jim yep. Watts yep. just drawing shot uh, next door. Lance, move. We've probably, we've probably got his better side. Yep. So, must have just got yeah, told. Oh, yeah. great bowl next door, Jane Anderson. Brilliant. So, here's John O'Shea on the mat. Daring to draw down on the back end. Remembering it is one shot to the Carlton Cornwall side. He's not a Breaking miles away. into the head now, well, just going by with. Well, it, there was no chance, chance of being short to it, really, Stephen, no, was there? Had you, you, you had to yeah, play up to way, it. Jane. So, equally as tight Next door. as the women's match as well 16 15. Doc Collis. Queenstown holding. So, Leif Selby now yeah, to play his first. And, oh, he doesn't want the front toucher. Short <laughs> front toucher. Just a wee bit heavy and narrow. Right. I think oh. the same. Well, Johnny, front <laughs> probably uh, there now. Yeah, there's a split yeah. down through. Now the bat comes into play. Any touch on that yep. jack's going this way. Yeah, because you're right, uh, Stephen, that, yep. that, that would, the jack would just about squeeze through that port. Yeah. So big bolt here for up from O'Shea. John just needs to make contact in there somewhere. Yeah, it is on the forehand, playing right down to the two meter mark, and giving to reach down to play through that port. It's on He's line. Not, not a million It's on miles line. Away. It's on the line. It's going. Yeah. <laughs> How could you stop it? <laughs> How could you not there? He was right there to oh. get that shot. John so, so right with. Selby, do I? No, nah, he's going nowhere near it. Do surely. I gamble it? No. Nah. No, James. Oh, no, no, James. No, James. no, don't talk no, about James. that. Get out and cover. That's. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Leif, <laughs> I think James is just there for show. Leif will play what he wants. Well. Yeah. Well, the point, the thing is, as well, Stephen. John O'Shea has got one one gun left. Yep, one bullet. So I think Selby's doing the right thing. Come in here. Look, I agree with you over here, which we, we can't quite see at this stage with the cameras, but moving now. Split those two Split blues. those two. Uh, and then, if it's still an open opportunity for the... No, he won't even try with his last ball because you could you could still touch the back of that, the, yeah. the touch of bowl, and that's going to move to that side, isn't it? So, um, no, I still think down past the red, out to the right-hand side with a metre. Yep, just put those two blues that we can see out, Honest. blue bowls of Lancers. Because John O'Shea now has to play, to get the result, has to play with more weight. Yeah, well, he's sort of... He's made it difficult for himself with yeah. that front liner there yeah, because <laughs> they're all literally on top of one another. So here's... Selby now on the backhand, is he looking for what? He's not looking for what you and I spoke about, Steve. He's not looking no, about what you and I said, Stephen. Good and bad. Yeah, he wouldn't have wanted. Good to, and bad because there's a chance on the swoop now. On the other hand, down with weight underneath there. Comes down just underneath eye, that. So yeah. Just underneath that bowl of lace Selby's, he could get the double split on those bowls. Looks like Queenstown might have just drawn. I can't tell who that short one is. So here is John O'Shea now trying to get that split that we're talking about, he's but he's going to go, go under. under the head. Oof. Well, you take two, don't you? I think he'll bank two. Please. It's, you know, seriously. I know we've been treated to an absolute spectacle this morning. Do you go into the last end? At so there it is. And the women's, was it the blue or the red on that I last? I think it's the blue. I think Queenstown might have just picked up a multiple there. After that great lead that happened here. It is or two. The, or was it? We're waiting for that board to change and we'll confirm no, no. it. Well, they're not moving, so is it a one-end shootout? No. 
been wiped off. No. I think... Uh, we'll quickly get an update from outside of what's happened in that women's match of who actually... It looked, look, looked like the blue bowls that were around it. There's a lot of black bowls there. And, uh... So, we're in the last end. It's 18-15. Yeah. Shorter end. It's, it's interesting. They're, they're, it's where 16, both, 15, 14 the, seconds on the clock. They've both played contrasting lengths, uh, Stephen, haven't they? They're, yep. So we'll get the confirmation of that women's match in but a moment. We're just going to confirm that. Here is now... Lee James Williams on his back and stalking it, uh, stalking it. it. There's the bell, stalking that first bowl. Knows he's got him. Oh. Well, that's what you want. <laughs> you, you know, you're in front, three in front. They need four to get in front. You get your first bowl, you know, with that jack control and get it close. So Lance Tasker quickly into his work, following the James Williams bowl. And he's trying. Is it going to drop yeah. under the line, though? Oh, yeah, he's going to rue answer. that. It's going to finish dead on the centre line. It will do. So on the backhand now, will the Carlton Cornwall lead be the f former green keeper? <laughs> Did a Walsh and Matilda off the mat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and yes. hold all tickets. Someone must have moved. Someone moved on the backhand. There's James Williams. <laughs> again. <laughs> Here we, well, the bell's gone. So. Yeah. <laughs> But we've certainly been treated this morning, haven't we, uh, to a real spectacle. Been an outstanding really. game. On the backhand is James Williams. Has it got the eye? Gives it the eye stalk. Yes. Gives it the eagle eye. Coming back now towards the centre line. Leif Shelby be more than happy with this. That's for sure. Oh. And sits down. Just a wee shelf. Come on, Lance. Set the land on. The only thing in favour there for the cart side, it is a jack high shelf. It's not, you yeah. know, that's a, so how wide out is the. Uh, uh, we're just uh, confirmation of the Drum and Symes game. It was a shellacking. 23 8 to Drummond. Great, great effort there. Now, what comes the challenge? The Collis Lloyd game. Um, Lloyd went into the uh, last end, uh, one behind, and picked up a three to win at 18-16. So that's uh, Deborah Lloyd Ooh. and Jane Anderson of Queenstown through to the next round. Well, well James, girls. James Williams, he'll be disappointed with that because, sure, it's county, but it's left that backhand trail. But what's in the favour of the Carlton side is they've got three ineffective bowls off the front. Oh, Lance, you're up. Come on, come on. Now it's a big challenge, isn't it? It is. Because you haven't got any effective bowls to the head. No. You need three. You know, you need three to tie it up. Well, if I was uh, Johnny, I'd be whacking three times. Well, I was oh. going to say, it's Because it, it you've got to keep playing it. It is. It's got to be a completed end, so a kill will restart the end. I'm picking that you'll see Selby come past the brown uh, bowls, get down to here. He can almost jack, afford yeah, to move just, it. It's a jack. It's pull, a, pull it a yard. It's, well, that's the other it. thing. You kill it, hide it around the corner. Yeah. Take, takes the, uh, you know, can sort of reduce the, the chances on the drive. At the moment, it's sitting out there like duck shooting day, isn't it? Just yeah. to, to, to play down there to the to the bowl. And I reckon you're, you're right. I think Selby would be more than happy if he could, with this bowl, I'm, you're right, the shot may well have been to get that jack tucked around the corner and he's going to come over the head which we also spoke about because if the can't be, can't be used can't, can't, be wasted. can't be used there's nothing going to be rubbed off here and of course if O'Shea just gets the, the, the bowl so to speak and not the jack that then the, the kill shot then becomes harder because you're playing it at a, just a, a beer jack but it's already been decided that's what they're doing they're going for the kill and uh, because you can you can you're allowed to, even though the clock's gone. So here is John O'Shea on the mat, endeavouring to kill the, And he's got three chances, I would say, if he doesn't get it this time. On the mat, playing for the jack. Looks to be on the wide side. He's and that's not what he wanted. No. But, but he had, look. Uh, he's got two more barrels he's left. He's got two so. more barrels. At the moment, he's got a bare jack that he has to get the, the drive to the kill. 
I didn't see where the Leif Selby back ball went to, whether that disappeared right off the rink, but it doesn't matter because there's no longer three shots at the back anyway, Steve, no, is it? No, that's right. It's, uh... So that becomes irrelevant, doesn't it? So Leif Selby will naturally... Is he going to put a wee block in, or...? I think he'll stay well away, I reckon, and he'll be going right to the back. No, he's not. He's... He said, I want another one on the head. Oh, he's trying oh, he's to get that drive get hole. Line. He's trying to get to that centre line to cut that drive line off. Well, just tightened it up. Tightened it up a wee bit. Could force him a bowl wide on the drive. John O'Shea with the second bowl on the last end. Well, trailing. He came, he came the four end last time, so he hasn't changed that. Trailing 18 15s. Got to get the beer jack. Here it is on its way. Looks, Looks wide out of the hand. And, is, and misses. Oh. And. And Selby would just be checking there's no threes around. Well, obviously there's not because of the drives. So you go nowhere near it now, do you? Because even if it gets the back bowl, side bowls and shot, shot anyway. Yeah. Leif Selby on the mat, on the backhand, leading 18-15 in this knockout, first round knockout round to get a spot into the semifinals. I think he's trying to going get to the centre line. Going to that centre line. He's desperate to get that centre line. Desperate to get it and... Try yeah. and kill it now. That's not fair, is it, Johnny? <laughs> That's not fair, is the call from an all good spirit oh. from Lance Tasker. What a display we've seen here this morning. This has been an outstanding game, Stephen. What a great advertisement for the for the for the sport, isn't it? Oh it was, yes, Absolutely. this is as good as you'll get. Yep. <laughs> John, John O'Shea can see the funny side of this. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> yes, John, I agree. <laughs> What'd you say, Lance? <laughs> bit, Don't put bit, your hand over the microphone. Hard. <laughs> well, you know, is there, a, is there a chance through the port there to get the jack? Well, he's got to play a swinger. He's got to play a swinger. Any, he's only just got to hit one part of the yellow. And Odds we'll are he'll collect the ball. You know, really, that's the, you know, it, it, it's a loaded gun against you to get the neat result, isn't yeah. it? So here is O'Shea uh, on the mat, three. down on the head, playing for the kill again with his third bowl, the Tauranga de Main skip. What a magnificent game this has been. Here he is, it's on its way, got away with the bounce, and wide of the it's head, high. wide of everything, and we've got a winner, and what a game, what, what a, a game, game this has been. And we've just seen the Carlton Cornwall, the defending champion side of Lace Selby skipping and James Williams leading up against John O'Shea skipping for the Bay of Plenty side and Lance Tusker leading. Thank you, chaps. You've, you've dealt to us this morning. What a spectacle. And it is the defending champs, Selby and Williams, who will go on. And they'll now play. We've got another big one coming up. They'll now play Dean Drummond and Murray Glassie. Is that right? They will. So I'm picking that we will be treated to equally good spectacle. And in the women's, we saw the, their feature match. We saw Doc Collis. Doc Collis, yes. Of the Cabinet Coast uh, run out the winner. No, no, no. Deborah Lloyd got up. Deborah Lloyd, what a yeah. comeback. They came back from what 7 a comeback. down. 7 0. 7 0 down. The score looking bad in the Central Otago ladies from Queenstown. That being Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson. They have defeated the Capity Coast side of Doc Collis and Jen Watt. They'll advance on now, uh, and we know that we're in for now a, a bumper day today in the semi finals and finals. We'll just check. We know that Dean Drummond and Murray Glassie have won. We know that uh, Leigh so Selby has won. Selby won. I'm not sure about the Brewster Austin uh, match. No, we haven't got a card in just for that one yet. So we don't know what's happened there at the top of the draw, and oh. the winner of that game will play. Stephen's just going to duck out and get that while I just update you, because they will play the winner of uh, the Rob Ashton-Wayne Coleman match. They had the bye this morning, so we know that we're going to see Ashton up against the, the winner of that match. We'll see Dean Drummond and Murray Glassie of the Hawks Bay from the Hastings Club up against the Carlton Cornwall defending champions Leif Selby and James Williams. And we are certainly going to have in that match a real top-class semi-final. We know in the women's that Joe Edwards has won her way through and we'll just finalise all of those in but a moment. But we've certainly had in this first round this morning of the singles, of the this, this pairs, We've certainly been treated to a spectacle of absolutely outstanding bowls. And Stephen just confirming that other one for me, for us. 
Yes, it went down to the wire and uh, the, the local side of uh, Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson getting up 16-14 over Phil Austin uh, from Hallsville. So uh, Wilson will play Ashton. Well, we're going for two great semi-finals. Rob Ashton's pretty convincing through section play. And, of course, we just saw that, that yesterday we saw the Drummond the Drummond match and uh, against Selby, and we're going to have a repeat of that in that the semi-final uh, in but a moment. So this is Kevin Hicklin and Stephen Peel, and we'll give you a full wrap of the results once we go, go into these semi-final matches, which will be underway shortly here at the, uh, uh, the stadium here in Dunedin. This is Kevin Hicklin and Stephen Peel, and we'll be back shortly with the semi-finals.
You'll count it down. Good afternoon and welcome back to the stadium here, the Hope Stadium in Dunedin, where we're now at semi-final time in the Bowls New Zealand, or the Somerset Retirement Village, New Zealand a champion and champion singles, both men and ladies. And up in front of you now, you have got the draw as we see it now for the uh, ladies. And the semi-finals, big semi-final, Natasha Grimshaw and the young schoolgirl from the uh, Hastings, up against, from Kia Toa, up against Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond. And earlier on this morning, we saw Edwards and Hammond defeat Glennis Paisley and Pam Calder. In the bottom of the draw, we've got uh, Doc Collis and Jen Watt. Had a cl real crash this morning where Doc Collis jumped out to a great lead, but it was the Deborah Lloyd side that won their way through. Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson, and they'll play uh, from Wanganui. They'll play Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke, who this morning defeated uh, Bridget Kitchen and Sandra Cleland. Uh, so there's your semi finals. They're going to out on the greens now, just getting underway. And shortly we'll bring you where we're up to with the men's. Here it is right in front of you. Now, Rob Ashton and Wayne Coleman this morning, they had a bye this morning. They'll now play Owen, Wilson, Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson uh, of Dunedin after they defeated uh, Dennis Brewster and Phil Austin of Horswell in their first round this morning. Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy were up against uh, Morris Symes and Kevin Greenwood and it was a convincing win to the Dean Drummond-Murray Glassy game. Then at the bottom of the draw, we had a real game of the Titans, Lance Tusker and John O'Say of uh, Tauranga. Up against the defending champions from the Carlton Cornwall Club, Leif Selby and James Williams. And we were treated to an absolute spectacle of bowls at its best. We saw a master display from uh, Leif Selby and also followed also John O'Shea. Absolutely an outstanding game uh, from all four players. And we're actually now going to see the replay against Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy, who they, of course, played earlier on in section play. So at the bottom of the draw, it's Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy of the Carlton Cornwall Club up against Leif Selby and James Williams of Hastings. And at the top of the draw, Rob Ashton and Wayne Coleman of Wellington from the Johnsonville Club are up against Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson uh, from the, uh, the uh, locals from Dunedin. And the games that we'll be bringing you this afternoon is that against the Dunedin boys, St. The St Kilda side of Murray Wilson and Owen Bennett. Up against the Wellingtonians, the Johnsonville combination of Rob Ashton and Wayne Coleman. And the ladies' uh, game will also be bringing you the semi-final from the Kiatoa Club in the Hawke's Bay. Natasha Grimshaw and the young Henrietta Scott leading for her up against the Nelson side, the Nelson combination from the Nelson Club, up against the number one, still in my view, the number one ladies player in the world, uh, Joe Edwards and her lead, Kay Hammond. So with me is Stephen Beale and uh, we'll bring you bowl by bowl action of these semi-finals from Dunedin. So we got treated to a spectacle this morning, Steve, and uh, who knows, I'm sure we're going to see pretty classy displays here in the semi-final as well. Oh, absolutely, and uh, as you said, Joe Edwards, the GOAT, greatest of all time, uh, a record that uh, will not be matched again, I don't think, uh, what she's brought to the game. So and up against Natasha, who's... Um, having a good season, and I think this this will be uh, a, a great game as well. I just saw a side slice into the head then, uh, and it's a, it t two have been taken out, both Edwards and Hammond's bowls, and two it is, and uh, there's a two on the opening end to uh, Joe Edwards and Natasha Grimshaw, and in the men, of course, 
uh, uh, Rob Ashton, who really needs no introduction, uh, has been around, and not, not, nothing is the gentleman's age, but he's been around the Greens a long, long time, won a number of titles, and of course leading for him is the ever-reliant uh, Wayne Coleman, who's been a very, very steady player uh, right throughout his career. And uh, Ashton, very colourful, very, very colourful uh, on the green, up against the St Kilda combination of uh, Murray Wilson skipping and Owen, Owen Bennett leading. The, have they the, got the scores boards around the wrong way? Or we we'll might have to we'll check, we'll we'll check we'll that. We'll check that. It's, it's obviously... A we'll check that. And the Wellington side, uh, they are playing with the black stickers. And the Dunedin St Kilda side with the white stickers. And in the women's game, I can tell you that it is the Hawks Bay side, the Natasha Grimshaw, and they're playing with the black stickers, and Joe Edwards with uh, the Joe Edge combination with the white stickers. So the oh, black stickers for Hawks Bay. Yeah, no, you're right. And the white stickers are for Nelson. And we'll just check that. Yeah, I think they've got. Uh, well, what our graphics are around the other way from the scoreboards at the moment, but um, we'll get that fixed up for you folks. But it was obviously Grimshaw picking up, I think, a two in the first end, and uh, Rob Ashton picking up a two in their one. So we're just going to have to tell Rob Ashton and the yeah. other boys that, that we need a bit of room, thank you. Because uh, those who know Rob Ashton, let's say he he's a very colourful and moving right around on. the green player. Oh, I had to <laughs> remind him to keep out of the... Yesterday I had to yell at the screen hey, bye, quite often to get him out of the road. Yeah, uh, he's had a shocker. So it was a two, as uh, Stephen you rightly said, to the right? Natasha Grimshaw right, combination. Opened up with a two. And it's uh, in, uh, no doubt encouraging for the young lead for the uh, Natasha Grimshaw side, Henrietta. She's 17, doesn't she? A 17 year old. Yeah, to get, she's got her bowls off to a good start. And that's, you know, when you're playing against someone like Joe Edwards, you know, of oh, course you're sort of. A bit, in, <laughs> yeah, a bit nervy well, about it all. probably hasn't been in the game long enough yeah. to get scared. Uh, well, <laughs> that's, that's also correct. So, good bowl there from, from uh, Kay Hammond. I was talking to my, uh, Mike Kerner, and he was quite impressed with uh, Henrietta, um, you know, especially her weight control. Oh, I, th I thought she played very, very well yesterday. And that, this is the great things about these events, and Mike Kernan, of course, who's off to the Commonwealth Games next week with the New Zealand side. It's great to see him here um, watching these events, uh, uh, Stephen, because it does open... He, all of a sudden, he wouldn't... And no disrespect to Mike, but he wouldn't know who Henrietta is. No. Uh, but he gets to this event, sees her in action, playing with the known Natasha okay. Grimshaw, and uh, certainly he's up against the best in the world right now, but... Uh, has played has played very very well to get through to this to this stage, and I've been very impressed with her. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Mike Mike will be looking to perhaps uh, put her into a program with uh, a good coach, and um, yeah. Well, that's what these events. It's the uh, opportunity. Uh, that, that certainly, and it's the beauty yeah. of this event where um, people come through that aren't always at uh, nationals or other no, big stages, um, and they come and perform. Now, with the Rob Ashton game, you m might excuse us a bit because sometimes we don't know what shot um, Rob's playing, whether he's... I don't think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> so he's on the back end or <laughs> forehand because, yeah, he is a bit somewhat... Very versatile player, I'd, I'd say. And Natasha Grimshaw coming down, got what movement. What a shot. Got Just through, made three through the that. jack, made the three shots. And Maybe welcome, more. of course, to our wonderful team that we've got here with us, led by Tamara and uh, Erica Qu Quinn and Riley. Well, with the name Riley, I can assure you, she's top girl. And uh, they're, doing, they're looking after us here this afternoon and making sure that we bring you all of this uh, live coverage. Here's Joe Edwards now. As Having a big and the go save. Yeah, and that's shot, and she is the she is the goat, no doubt about that. And she hasn't got red bowls. She reminded me they are maroon. Well, of course, there's something about those bowls as well. Yeah, they're yeah, pretty special bowls. Very special. She got them uh, made. Well, for, 
with the uh, BPL this year. Um, they got bowls supplied, and so she had to play with a certain bowl, so she yep. got it personalised, so to speak, with the initial BIR on it for her nephew, Benji, who's, um, yep, just having some health issues and uh, just uh, make it special for him, and uh, she's carrying that around. So great little touch from yeah, Joe. Going through some pretty challenging times, and you see Natasha Grimshaw, very challenging times for the family. Get across, get across. And well, we, uh, we, we won't be bringing you much of the men's oh, yeah. game uh, by the look of it, unfortunately, because we can't see at yeah, all what's we'll going on. We'll see crash out. He, uh, he'll scare them. All right, here we go. It's just been cleared up. So, Natasha Grimshaw. I've got the mic. <laughs> I think Joe's holding there. So, this is somewhat, well, Grimshaw trying to get down to the jack or to get to second shot. And by goodness, this is a very good attempt. And may well, if it rolls in, may Got well second be second shot. shot. Good ball. Is it worth any, anything? Oh, carnage next door. Um, just moved the jack sideways. I'm not too sure that he changed the result. I can just draw it down there, eh? So Joe Edwards holding the shot. I think just the one down on the forehand. That familiar. Um, the head. Walk off out to the side. Out to the side. And the head. Deep breath. She's not bad. Ah, she's very good here. Just going to get down to the jack as it Ooh. just goes by. Well, we were treated to an absolute spectacle this morning. The men's game that we brought you, the game of John O'Shea and Lance Tusker. Of, uh, the, of Tauranga up against Leif Selby and James Williams, the defending champions. And we certainly got a real spectacle, fantastic game. Uh, saw Selby and his lead, James Williams, pull their way through in what was a fantastic game of bowls. You'd agree, Steve, wasn't it? Oh. <coughs> Best game I've seen for a while. It certainly Be was. Fair. They played all the shots and... Uh, and there was no luck involved. They played, sure, there's a few slides and wicks, and that happens in every game, but there's not what you would call outlandish luck within it, was it? It no. was all you know, well played right, right throughout. Okay, so we've got, yeah, the boards are all, all over the place. I might have to go and... So Steve's going to duck out for a moment and sort out these boards to get them round the, uh, the, 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 right, the right way. we just got a bit of a... Matter to sort out, which he'll attend to. 2 1, Joe Edwards. Uh, oh, it's, oh, we, we, we think it's Natasha Grimshaw, in fact, who is leading Joe Edwards 2 1. St uh, but uh, Steve's going to go out and, uh, and, and check and just uh, sort that out as we see the bowl of Hammond. Just can't lower the jack, but let right on, really, sitting right in front of the jack. On the backhand is the young Hawks Bay player. Gets the ball out. Very deliberate player. Watch it coming down towards the head now. I missed the third end. I can see where it went to, to be fair. So, Kay Hammond now playing the semi final. Will no doubt play down on her backhand just to try and. Get another bowl close on top for her skip. Joe Edwards, who, of course, it's not a matter of what Joe's won. It's what Joe hasn't won. She's won internationally. She's won world championships. She's won the Commonwealth Games. She's won New Zealand titles. She's, it's just, you can go on and on. And, you know, we talk about the great Millie Khan of that era, Millie Khan, um, Marlene Castle, those players of that era, and now, in the, and of course, Joe Edwards played with, of course, internationally with some of those players, but now, of course, Edwards retired from international play, but during that time, certainly done and succeeded on the green, and the great tribute, of course, to Joe as well, 
an outstanding person, her and her husband, Dave, and have done a tremendous amount for the sport. Her husband, Dave, was the high performance, was the New Zealand uh, selected coach for a number of years, and brought tremendous international success for the, uh, the Black Jacks at the World Bowls in 2008 and 2012. And uh, certainly, the Edwards name. Yes, yeah, so it's. Uh, I think we've got the boards right now, Kev. I'll be right now. So there yep. is Natasha Grimshaw, two, two, uh, two, one, and yeah. four, three. Four, three to Bennett over Ashton. So that's, that's right. Uh, Owen Bennett from the St Kilda Club. So the St Kilda Club, Steve, was at. Uh, was it one of the bigger clubs in Dunedin? Or? Back, well, back in the day, it was one of the top clubs, you know, right, right back in the 1900s. You know, like, there's photos around of the Dominion tournament been held Dominion in Dunedin, yeah. and it was at the St Kilda Club. Um, um, not too sure. They've, they've got two greens there, um, and a sort of a, you know, the traditional old hall where you can play oh, over, that, over that, 25 yeah. metres. Yep. Um, yep. Well, they used to have, when I was here, 16 odd years ago. I'm not too sure it's still there now, but I would think so. Is that the, 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 is that the club Eric Watson used to play at? No, Eric used to play at St. Clair. St. Clair was it yep. he played at. Right, so Natasha Grimshaw really needing to draw something close here. A couple down, plenty of room there to get the second shot. On the back end is Grimshaw. Yeah, Eric Watson, that former All Black coach, the man with the pipe. Yep, and the driest sense of humour that I've ever certainly, seen. I think he's famously uh, uh, he quoted did. as uh, telling um, uh, he coached the New Zealand University side against the All Blacks, I think, at one stage. And apparently one of the Fords asked him a question and he just says, listen, son, at half time I'll turn you around the other way and point <laughs> you in the right direction. Oh, no, he certainly <laughs> he, uh, had some comical attributes. I remember... We happened to be in America when uh, the All Blacks, it was the Welsh Centennial Tour and the club I was involved in in Taranaki, we, uh, uh, we were with the All Blacks. Go, oh, this has got to be careful here now for Grimshaw, doesn't it? Yeah, she's, uh, she's staring at a few down there. And asking what to do. One would think, draw on the backhand to try and get some reduction. Yeah, just try and cut the swelling. Because at least those three in front are just those red ones in front. They've all got white stickers they, on. They have, so Natasha Grimshaw on the back end, endeavouring to get down to try and lessen the damage at this point, really endeavouring to try and get second shot. Coming back now towards the centre line, but how far is it going to run? Won't run far enough. What's going on down the back? What's that? So... See, this is the psychology of Joe Edwards because Natasha Grimshaw wasn't sure whether she was going to attack the hit or draw. Straight away, Joe Edwards saying, what's the back look like? You know, it's yep. sort of, I'm going to talk Natasha Grimshaw into possibly... <laughs> Bit of my game, by asking. Absolutely, you know. Absolutely. So Edwards holding and 2-1 Natasha Grimshaw. Rob Ashton trailing in his game in this early stage against Owen He's, Bennett. Uh, just drawn shot. He was a couple down. So here is Edwards. And of course, also right out in front of us here, we'll be able to see the scoreboard pretty clearly as the game between uh, the, the, the game between Leif Selby of Carlton Cornwall, the defending champion, and Dean Drummond. That's sort of right out on, on the rink, I think, just outside the window here. Yeah, so I just can't quite tell... Yeah, so, so Joe, there's Joe covering the back. Going to the back, you'll see the white sticker being that of the Nelson uh, Bowls, and the black stickers belonging to the the uh, Hawks Bay from the Kia Toa Club. And of course, the danger here for Natasha Grimshaw, she needs a metre of weight, doesn't want to get tangled up in her own uh, in her own front bowl lower the jack, which is literally right in the the draw line. To me, it looked to get a bit of a twist out of the hand, which means it's going to be narrow. And sure enough, you can just see out of the hand, it was narrow out of the hand. Might get a turn on, and that would, may have cut one of the three out. 
There's the two bowls in the front there of uh, Kay Hammonds, and I'm sure Kay will be accommodating, or oh, may still be three. Kay Hammond ha having a look over the head, and I'm sure so Kay will three with be the Ash, uh, the, um, the big game between Hawke's Bay and uh, Carlton Cornwall. It's uh, early stages, but it's 4-3 uh, to Lee Selby. So, Kay Hammond going on the measure. Come around now to their own bowl, the Jack Lever bowl, measuring the Natasha Grimshaw bowl. And Wayne Coleman, the man leading for Rob Ashton. He he's been around the block a few times. I was just going to say, he certainly, he, he certainly has been around a long time. And three to Joe Edwards. Yeah, going to Eric Watson, and, and we were in we were in San Diego, and the All Blacks were, were going to be playing the American Eagles uh, at, at night at the stadium uh, in San Diego, and we our, our team. I was I was out. I was a manager of the team, and our team uh, they were all out there training with the All Blacks, which was great for the guys. They thought it was fantastic, and um, Murray Mixted sort of gave a bit of lip to. Um, Graham Murray and Eric Watson uh, at the at, at the training ground. Well, we happened to be in an old yellow coach, and they had this very plush. They all had this very plush uh, coach, and Eric Watson. I'll never forget the pipe in his mouth. Just stopped and said to uh, and he said to Murray Mixed, and he said, um, uh, "We'll just come and pick you up later. You just keep running." And he <laughs> left one of the All Black management team. <laughs> he left one of the all-back management team there um, with him, and uh, Murray Mixed had, had an attempt to try and get on our bus to, to head back into, and whoever this all-black management guy was, he said, "No, no way, mate. You keep going. I'll never forget." Yeah, they just stood. There. He stood in the middle of the ground, and Murray Mixed was just running round, round and round, and and uh, yeah, Watson said, uh, "We'll just come and get you when we think it's a yeah." <laughs> Oh, these boys. Get out of the road, Rob. Yeah. Hey, uh, For goodness sake. Yeah, well, Rob Ashton will create a challenge. But if they want to have this men semi final on, we're going to have to really see a bit of uh, courtesy to that, what we're endeavouring to do, which at present is certainly a challenge with the. Oh, you might have heard that through the microphone. <laughs> Steve Bear, just courtesy, an element of courtesy, just said to uh, Rob Ashton, get out of the way. And he's duly done, he's scurried. <laughs> he frightened him. <laughs> we, unfortunately, we haven't got a cattle prodder for the errant <laughs> ones there. It's, um... So, 4-2 to Edwards. And her lead, and Natasha Grimshaw might have to get the same prodder. Yeah, just, just over the head. A good opening bowl, though, from the Joe Edwards' lead. Uh, uh, uh. Here, Kay Hammond nailed it there. <laughs> so, Kay Hammond. Rest assured, everybody watching, we certainly want to endeavour to bring you the live action from both of these games, and we understand the players want to watch closely what's going on, but we just ask of them a wee bit of courtesy, so is that you, the cameras can get a clear view down to watching what's going on, so you people at home are able to to uh, to view in comfort. And make and it Rob's easier for our camera a, people. Drawing a screamer there. He has just sitting alongside the jack. And no doubt, I would say, the uh, skip here, Murray Wilson. The bearded Murray Wilson with the leather cap. We've been endeavouring to draw down there. To the, looks tight on the way down, and it is. Certainly is. Right sort of speed. And it, it, it was interesting talking 
in between this game, the games today, uh, Leif Selby just saying to me he, how important, like where that K Hammond bowl is on the carpet, it's so makes make such a big difference to what happens in the head. And yeah, Joe well, Edwards, just a bit unlucky there, but yeah. I think she's still hanging on. She more than likely now the Grimshaw could come down on the back, come down on the backhand. As you're going for the draw on the forehand, I thought she might come down on that back end, try and reach through the bowls. How far apart are the two bowls? The two bowls are the bowl and the jack. No, the two bowls. Right bowl, their bowl. Well, if I'm going to punch the front one, how far apart are they? But they're coming down through here. Yeah. So, okay, that's what I thought I was doing. Natasha Grimshaw just had the good line, just missed that metre of weight, but she had the line through to the jack for sure. Yeah, well, Joe will be down that same sort of lane again. If she gets to the, the pink bowl with the black sticker on, she'll be very happy. So Murray Wilson trying to reach down to the shot bowl. Is he going to get all the way down to it? He's, He's close. close to it. He's close. Well played. Emerson killed a man and a front toucher. And very, very well played. <laughs> so Rob Ashton, I must also remind you, he does like a bit of a walk as well. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> we did mention there was no time limit for this thing, and uh, so we did ask Rob to, to make sure he moves on yeah. because he does like to follow the bowls. He likes to follow the bowls. The only thing he doesn't follow is the jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and as, uh, those that would have watched last night with Rob on the TV rink, um, I'm just wondering whether he's still got that same piece of chewing gum or it's a well, new one. Yeah, well, he might have traded, <laughs> traded it in, but definitely yeah, great bowl played by it. the skip there from at Murray Wilson. Ashton leading 5 4, reached up through the bowl. Trying to reach through yeah, the bowl. We're in the zone. Oh, it's just hanging. Here it comes. Got the jack around oh, the corner. Perfect result. Bowl onto Jack over to his bowl. So probably lying two. So Joe Edwards holding, still holding. I just don't know whether I'm going to get right round all them to get back. Let's try and touch some green. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit cluttered up there for Joe. Well, there, there is a bit oh, of. It's going to be at it, yeah. There is a bit of furniture yeah, down there in front of the head. That's a good call. I hear there uh, Murray Wilson said, I'm just going to have a little fossick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. I'm going to have a little fossick. Yeah, so well, Joe Edwards knew where she was going on the line, just missed a yard of weight, but she knew where she was going. So we'll see what Murray Wilson means with that, that weight that he just spoke about it with the white disc on his bowl playing down the St Kilda player. I want to reach down to those bowls. He's certainly. Well, we'll see it first. Well, maybe. it's on He's a close. But Couldn't get an inside go slide under. here. Jack. Oh, bounce Oof. back. Bad luck. And Your made piece. shot of it. We'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> bounce back in the right direction. There's a tough shot here for Natasha Grimshaw trying to draw all the way around here to get to the shot. And it's a great attempt from the uh, Hawks Bay player. Needs to get just inside. I think she's still looking at, well, we'll see. I think it's, is it one or two? Or okay. The uh, youngster, Henrietta Scott, is not quite sure. <laughs> and I can understand, you know, this is... Measure everything. Yeah, that's out. right. You know, Drop she's not. Knees, you know, you know, and look, Kay Hammond's a lovely lady and been around the, the traps, and uh, she'll make sure she'll look after the young young girl, making sure that Henrietta doesn't get flummoxed by. Very good, Arm. Okay, so that wing bowl <laughs> is closer than it did look it on <laughs> screen. Absolutely. Did it? <laughs> For all money, you'd have thought the the the, the, the back one would yeah, inside absolutely. that one. Yeah, absolutely. So it's just the angles here from the camera. Uh, sometimes uh, cameras, I should say. Um, 
I think it's eight cameras we've got. Tamara will so it's uh, one shot to Edwards there. So it was, uh, yeah, that was a lot closer than what I thought. So there it is on that 5 2 to Joe Edwards over Natasha Grimshaw in the semi final. 5 4 at Rob Ashton leading go, Owen five. Bennett. With the North South match coming up uh, in September, we're, yeah. uh, we'll be introducing a, uh, a bullseye type sticker um, about a metre in circumference. Right. You're across, and uh, it will have rings in it there that are all, uh, from a commentary perspective, um, will we'll give us. Will give us a pretty good idea. Of absolutely. It. And uh, an innovation for the North South match the jack will be placed in the same spot every time. So it's one constant. One well, con well, the constant. The mat can be where the jack is, but the mat can be moved mat anywhere be along moved, the, so the line, on that. So, um, so I think from memory, uh, four meters from the ditch will be the centre of the. Um, the so you determine, you'll be determining the length ahead with the mat. Yeah. So. So. Just to refresh that, Steve, because there's a big event coming up down here, of course, at the stadium, uh, in. September? September, yeah, early September. It's part of the uh, celebration of bowls with the Bowls New Zealand AGM. Correct. Um, the awards ceremony for yep. um, Hall of Fame stuff and uh, uh, and the various award winners like Greenkeeper of the Year, Player of the Year, Club of the Year, Club Person of the Year. So there's a player out here now who now must qualify now for the Hall of Fame. One would, I don't know what, how many... Oh, I think they've got to be retired for about five years, oh, is I it think. That long? I wasn't quite sure yeah. how many years it was. I think, that, that, from memory, that one had to be like that. retired. And, uh, yeah, oh, we're she'll be in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not if, it's just when. Yeah, we're certainly looking forward to coming down to the Nita, not just for the bowls, of course, but fortunately that for the uh, dinner on the, the function on the Saturday, uh, on the Friday night, I think it is, and looking very, very forward to, to that. And, uh, and Dick Taylor will be the guest speaker. And yeah, if, uh, if, you, if yeah. you heard Dick speak before, I have. He is a seriously funny man. He's a, he's uh, a laugh a minute. It's, uh, but he, mix, he mixes up the stories of true and not quite so true, but uh, uh, yeah, he uh, does, he's outstanding. He does. So here's some updates coming through now. And the first one we've got here is in the, the men's semi-finals. And you, we, of course we're live streaming the Ashton Bennett game, which is five apiece. And as it's turned out, in the other semi-final, five ends gone. That's Dean Drummond, Murray Glassie of Bowles Hastings up against Leif Selby, James Williams. And it's uh, five apiece as well after, after five ends. And uh, in the women's other semi-final, we have Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson of Queenstown playing Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke of Wanganui. And it's the Wanganui combination up 6-4 after four ends. So they've been, obviously 6-4 after four, so they've been swapping some numbers there. So here is the youngster, Henrietta Scott, endeavouring to get a bowl close for Natasha Grimshaw because... You know, the big thing here, as we know, um, Stephen, uh, it's a pretty handy bowl. Jack Lerrell, uh, with, with Joe Edwards coming behind you, you, you sort of the room you leave's got to be small. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, you don't need to change anything, do I? And looking down at the Ashton Bennett game, it looks as a straight uh, line to the jack. It's a couple being held by the St Kilda combination. It could even be three, that one in the, the front, front with the white sticker on it. Could be in the count. Um, <laughs> we certainly uh, have given up being totally uh, oh, confident of yeah. what's what. Um, We've certainly been proven or challenged <laughs> <laughs> on our interpretation of what we think the head really looks like. So uh, Here is Joe Edwards, the goat, and rightly, oh, caught, uh, as uh, Stevens rightly said, He's won everything and, of course, is won on all surfaces as well. Just going to go by. She knows where that line is. Does Edwards goes by by a metre. And it is on the other rig, of course, it is a Sakulda boys holding at least two. Natasha Grimshaw, two in a measure, as Stephen rightly said. 
Grimshaw desperately now wanting to get another bowl on the head after her lead drew a handy one Henrietta Scott and this looks pretty handy this bowler Grimshaw's coming down towards the jack still going to be low of the jack but yeah, it's hard to say hard to say but so indicating went through a metre Joe Edwards now will endeavour to draw down on the forehand and again just like Leif Selby everything's the same yeah on the map oh. Nothing she's changes. She's mechanical. And nothing ever changes. Nah. And she'll try and draw down in between the two bowls. Well, Joe Edwards coming back now to that target area that we spoke she gets about. Around that. And we'll get a sit right to the jack. Ooh. Does so. Yes. Great bowl. And, you know, we saw this morning, and Joe's exactly the same in her reading. Um, um, Stephen, nothing's really in the road. You're back your nah. ability, and we're. And, and, in your target that you, you, you look at. It really comes into play with a delivery like Joe's and um, Selby's that you know, they can shove it down the same line, Absolutely. the same way, time and time again and get, get the results. So, um, And it's critical on this indoor surface that you, you do nail your line first and well, the weight will come. It's important here for Joe Edwards that she gets another bowl on the head because this is the opportunity because the shot bowl is over the jack, the jack high, that uh, and Natasha yeah. Grimshaw can attack that bowl. Um, although she hasn't got the backest bowl. Yes. I think Joe's looking to come through Kay's bowl. That's just a bit short. Get and, another one in there. And would give her a bowl on the other side of the head as well. 7-5, seven, 7-5, five, seven, five, the St Kilda boys. Yeah, they got a two there, so that front one wasn't in. So... Is Joe Edwards endeavouring to get that other bowl on the head, as Stephen rightly spoke about, trying to come through this port and just going to run into their own well, bowl. That, well, helps. This, that helps. Cause that helps. Probably just the one now, so it did make a big difference. Yeah, Natasha sort of asking lots of questions of Henrietta. Um, well, I'd suggest personally to Natasha, go and have a look. Yeah. There's no Especially, time limit. No one's yep. going to chastise you. If you're not sure and not to put too much pressure on your young lead, if you're not 100% sure, go and have a look. Here's Grimshaw trying to reach down to the shot bowl, coming to her own bowl. How far will it go? Certainly going to get a, a touch on it. Didn't want uh -oh. that. Didn't uh -oh. want that. Got the touch, which moved the jack back. That'll be two shots. Two, two it is to the uh, Nelsonian 7-2. They jump out to, as we go to play in 6, 7-5. The St Kilda side. It's the side of Murray, uh, Murray Wilson, Skippy, and, and, and Owen Bennett. And we've seen already in this... The St Kilda semi-final up against Rob Ashton. We've seen the skip uh, Murray Wilson, uh, Steve, play a couple of big bowls, actually. He has, it? and uh, Owen's pretty pretty consistent there for for Murray there. She's got a couple handy. If we had 10 minutes, I could read you out all everything Joe's won, but it's an amazing, while. amazing record. Just World Outdoor Bowls Championship. Two gold, two silver, a bronze. Commonwealth Games, three gold medals. Asia Pacifics, there's two, two, three, four, five gold medals. One silver, one bronze. And then a and world indoor. I was going to say. Six world indoor. 209, 10, 11, 13, 17. And, and 19. <laughs> and as we know, Stephen, to go over there to the, you know, some of those, that you're playing on the carpet um, to, you know, to play on, well, she's won on all surfaces, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Won the biggest events. Uh, she's won everything. She's yeah, unbelievable. Murray Wilson just slipping by. And I can remember we went to... Uh, right, Marlene Castle and myself were very fortunate. The the what used to be the Kingscliff uh, oh, the Piers the, the tournament, 
uh, and and Joe, and that, and, and that was the best of the best for sure. Only 12 combinations, men and women, yep. and it was the best. And uh, uh, we had the pleasure of going over two uh, two consecutive years, and Marlene and uh, Marlene Castle and Joe Edwards played together. Right. And two years in a row in the final beat uh, beat Karen Murphy. Uh, that was one of the great rivalries in bowls. Yeah, it, Karen's got four million uh, <laughs> yeah. caps for uh, for Australia as well. So um, I don't know what Joe ended, ended up with. I know it was, it was over five hundred. She got capped for the five hundred, didn't she? Yeah, I, it was in someone made. Uh, um, I, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said to us when we were actually at, at Kingscliff that. Between the four players, um, there was something like oh, between New Zealand and Australia, um, oh. something like Barrett. 900. Uh, between the four players, there was something like 900 caps for Australia and New Zealand oh. uh, between the four players. Back then. Yeah, back, back then, yeah. Because uh, I'm Karen's, Karen's over oh. what, she's about 600 before she retired or something. Something like that. Oh. So. Yeah, you know, she was. Uh, I think Marlene both great servants of the game for their respective countries. Marlene was three hundred and something, um, yeah. and, and and of course the lead Keenan um, also played. A couple, well, she had played two or three hundred games for Australia as well. So, yeah. yeah, it was certainly two years in a row. It was the best of the best. <laughs> And a lot of those big money tournaments, Joe, you know, the the gold nuggets and that on yes. uh, Tweed. Uh, she's been part of that, and yeah, the uh, she's won on every surface and everywhere in the world. And you know, the other thing uh, about that as well, Steve, is that if you take watching Joe play over all of those years, and you and I have watched her playing in all sorts of events, nothing's changed with herself on the mat or her delivery. She's consistent and. Oh, the catering company is coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, Natasha Grimshaw and a spotter bother here needs to get a jack trail. Good attempt from the Kia Toa player. But it falls in or falls out. Telling but a moment what happened. Still one to the... Uh, well, Murray... Murray Wilson played a bomb with his last, and uh, I don't think he got quite the result. Uh, he's just underlined this one. So Natasha Grimshaw all but got the shot, and the Ashton Bennett game looks like it's the Ashton bowl, Wayne Coleman bowl in that line, middle of three. That is shot. And Rob Ashton coming there. Natasha Grimshaw needs to reach. Is she going to reach to the Edwards bowl? Well played by the oh, Kia Tower player. Good. Absolute superb bowl. Came up, rested on the bowl. Definitely one, maybe two. One down's the call. Clear call there from their lead from Kay Hammond. And I'm sure Joe Edwards will, will follow that line on that backhand. So here is Joe Edwards on the mat. We talked about the gold, uh, gold nugget. Joe only won it four times. Four times. <laughs> <laughs> For those who may be aware, the golden nugget is a uh, it's a restricted so that, well, you've invitation got, only invitation you've got to only. be the best of the best uh, to get there you, you don't just say I'm going to enter the golden nugget you no. have to uh, um, you have to have an invite to get there and it's certainly only internationally it's because the, the Malaysians play there as well and there's other other countries as well so it's certainly it is a, a really prestige event at Tweed and here's Natasha Grimshaw so just the one shot was the call, trying to she's try not, she's in the zone. Trying oh, to she's get, not get another. Oh, oh, she's got the one, I think, the Jack Devil one. 
Is there any more? Henrietta saying, can you help me out a bit here? <laughs> the secondary school girl, but great for her to have got through to this semi-final. And, you know, it's the... It's sure, she'll look back on it. Well, regardless it, it, of what happens. As Mike Cunahan yeah, was saying, you know, this is the great opportunity to see these young players yep. and uh, to get them into it. Get them into a coaching program or get them into an event, get them into, you know, this young lady, for example, you know, the likes of the Burnside under 26 singles. There's there's events around that that you can, uh, you know, get them against the best of their age group, so to speak. And. Uh, Yes, unfortunately. (laughs) Yeah, I think with Joe, yeah, it's uh, not too, I wouldn't think there'll be too many of any others that she she is the holder of a gold star for five national titles and a silver star for the um, Inter Centre and uh, club championship events as well. So there wouldn't be too many of them that hold the double banger. Well, the only one I think that could could be close, I'm not sure they do, would be Val Smith. Yeah. Possibly, possibly, off the top of my head, she would be possibly the only other. um, And, of course... And Mandy Boyd's in the zone there somewhere. I, oh, I know well. that she's. I think she might have when she won the um, the fours in the, at Central Otago. Wasn't that her gold star? Yeah, yeah she's got the gold star right, but the, I think she's one off for the silver star. Oh, right, was, okay. Because we were we we're scrambling around when they uh, with her and Calvin Scott and that when they won the bowls three five. Whether right. that flipped it over, but I think it was uh, one short there. So. Well, Mandy's another. Well, oh. she's not playing internationally at present, but Mandy Boyd's another one of those players. Certainly not the record of Joe Edwards and Val Smith. But certainly the lady in waiting, isn't oh, she? Oh, abso- <laughs> ab- absolutely. She's the, you know, to me, won a bronze medal of course in Glasgow in 2014. Uh, and to me, uh, she's the player. Uh, and no disrespect to anybody that's in the frame or in the women's uh, side, the blackjacks. None of them. Are, no disrespect to them at all, but certainly if you look at a, a, a player who has accomplished at all levels of certainly is. four bowls, three bowls, or, or two bowls, um, uh, Mandy Boyd sticks out like a beacon, doesn't she, she really, might. of Does the players might. of today? Probably have to get uh, Lance to do a bit more babysitting so she can go out and play. Well, of course, her, na- her other thing now, of course, Steve, is that... that uh, the artist work is uh, yes. Uh, that, that's uh, taking up for the the wedding painter. Yes, uh, yes, uh, I've seen that on uh, uh, social media. It's yeah, the uh, wedding painter. Outstanding, certainly is. And then of course, taking nothing away as well from Taylor Bruce as well. Yes, who's uh, yeah. the artist of of animals. Yes, and cats and dogs, and uh, with I a think, pencil. Uh, one Barry Bunting uh, had something there on Facebook just recently where. Uh, Taylor had done something there for him. Yeah, no, he's, he's, uh, well, Barry's got a little dog. Yeah. So it might have been, I don't know, not sure, but yeah, so Taylor's an absolute fan, fantastic artist and interesting, both teachers. You know, one's at Mandy Boyd's an early childhood teacher and Taylor, of course, yeah, the is road a, Owen. a teacher. Oh, come on. So. It's, we can just see it go past. It goes past. Uh, Henrietta started fairly well there. A couple of handy bowls. Seven three. It is Edwards over Grimshaw, and it is the Grimshaw combination holding shot at present. On the backhand is Kay Hammond, well performed player out of Nelson for a number of years, and as Stephen rightly said, two very good bowls there from. Uh, the lead, oh, just got the feather on the outside, did Hammond. She had a line down towards the jack. And yeah, she might have been steaming a bit, given that she's run that far past. And, and, and out in front of us here, of course, is the other big uh, semi-final, Dean Drummond of the Hawks Bay, up against the defending champion, Leif Selby of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Looks Auckland. Looks like 5-7, so uh, Carlton Cornwall, 7-5 up. Can't see... I think it's the seventh end. So we saw them yesterday have a pretty tight tussle as well. Oh, did they what? And it was only, you know, again, like this morning, it was one end where a number came. 
Yep. Uh, it was one one twos or whatever it was, but then there's just that that one end when that number arrived, and it was the Carlton Cornwall side that. Uh, well, and mind you, today it was near the reverse when the in the uh, John O'Shea game when John O'Shea yeah. played a magnificent bowl to uh, score four. Well played here from the young lead. That's three in the zone. Kay needs to find that gap. It turns the bowls around, which gives. Joe Edwards. Show a bit of a chance now to get at it. And he's got something to play through. I thought I had that ready. I thought I was going to get in under to get the pace edge. You'll bowl with that second one of mine. It's just oh, it. Yeah. All tied up uh, in the men's seven all. Ashton must have picked up a one. So, Natasha Grimshaw on the back end, endeavouring to add to the count. And more than likely would like to be over the head because there's a reaching opportunity, although Joe Evans is two down, maybe three, don't know. But that's more. That's pretty handy, that that's bowl. That's a handy bowl there. Because uh, Joe Edwards, will be coming down uh, the forehand. Uh, she'll so. reach down through there on the forehand, Will Edwards. Yeah, it is. And she, one thing she'll do, she'll be on the arc to get to the jack, it's for sure, and sure is. Somewhere just, in the zone just here. Just what we spoke about. Bob, just Bob. well. Oh. oh. <laughs> she oh was dear. right on target <laughs> to get the jack right uh, on target. And just made it a wee bit harder. The, the Open, opened it up a bit, really. Did, yeah, it doesn't have as much to lean on. And that's not being disrespectful and saying there's much to lean on because that, that bowl there was just sitting oh, there. Right, to be uh, used. So Grimshaw on her backhand. Yeah, that's good. Couple of feet. Certainly coming down it's a towards. Effort from Natasha to make the last four here. What she last eight in uh, singles. Correct. So she's going good. She's having a good season. Well, again, you know, um, Stephen, if we talk about. Um, higher honours for players. You know, you look at consistency of results. You know, yep. you've got, you got Mike Kernahan here, and you're right. He's a player who we've had two champion and champion events and uh, has featured prominently in both of them uh, and certainly played on the carpet. Who yeah. does you know, because that's Joe here. I think she's left a bit in the hand. Well, mind you, at Kia Toa, that's not, that's not carpet, though, at Kia Toa, is it? It's, it's yep. Oh, it yep. Is carpet, they're they're is it? two carpet greens. Oh, right, OK. Uh, there they... Converted their last one a couple of three years ago. They had one of each for a while, and then uh, yeah, you'd just about say Hastings is the uh, carpet capital of the world. Uh, there's two oh. at uh, Havelock North, two at Kiatoa. Well, um, I think Murray Glassy said to me the other day, and I might be I might be Bob's wrong. Hastings got theirs. That there was a, uh, there was only it might be two clubs or two greens now. Um, Virtually all the clubs in the in the bay in the yep. Napier Hastings from region. memory national service has still got their one green. Oh, careful here! Slightly under green and turned over the. So Edward's coming to have a look. So there's still. Um, so yeah, the national service has got uh, one thing. That bowls Napier have three. Naturals, but looking to convert one. Uh, Omara Nui has one of each. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but the rest, you know, Waipawa. Uh, what about Bayview. Ahariri? Oh, no, I'm sorry, up the hill, uh, Bluff Hill's got Bluff one. Is, is that with Bluff Hill? Yeah, right, that's one right up on the... Up on the hill, as you, as you're going up, up there. Yeah, as you're going up, yeah. Yeah. So Joe Edwards been down to have a look at the head, indicated that she's going to endeavour to draw up down on that forehand side, leading 7-3 as we play in 7 of 18. And remembering, of course, we're at no time limit. 7, seven each now in the men's semi-final. Here is Edwards on the forehand, trying to reach down through that port. Just looks as it's going to Ooh, stay right. wide of that. More than likely had good drawing weight, but just went more than likely a bowl wide on the draw. I think it's quite safe. So that'll be, be one to uh, Grimshaw. 
Have a look at that. It will be the 174 now, 74, as we go into the eighth end of 18. Of course, with no time limit, seven all in the men's semi final. And the last uh, report we had in the other men's semi final, it was the uh, Carlton Cornwall side, who I think, were leading seven. It was two in front, I think. Um, Looks like the, 10 6 now. 10 6 to the Carlton Cornwall. Carlton Cornwall side. Trying to go back to back. And Henrietta Scott coming down towards the Jack Arkey. Now, there's another good opening bowl from. You know, the, the, the good thing is about, although she's a metre over the head, Stephen, her bowls are coming back to the centre line but yep. on a high percentage, which is uh, which is what you know, we've just been joined by the guru of Dunedin Bowls, the, the lord and master of uh, Dunedin. President of the Bowls New Zealand Green Keepers yeah, Association. The, the mayor of Tyree, Bob yes. Robert Gibson, has just uh, come in to sign autographs. And... So, good opening bowl from Kay Hammond on this, the eighth end, just finishing in behind the jack. Uh, and Henrietta. Murray Wilson's got a, looks like a, quite a stack of room there to draw another. So, Henrietta just trying to adjust that yard by a metre. And there's a pretty good attempt from the young player, the young Kieta player, just going to run lower the jack. So it looks like uh, three to Bennett. So I'll ask Bob while he's here. So, you know, here, what, what's your thoughts, sir, on the split screen situation? So it's got the endorsement from the Mayor of Tyree. And yes, it's a, it's a health lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a health lunch. Look, what's <laughs> oh, look at the source of yeah, well looked after. Well, Stephen, you have very long hours here, I can assure you, all right? So, um, but if you want to have a look, though, Bob, if you take a cast, have, it, have a look over here, over this side, all right? Pineapple chunks. Pineapple chunks. You've got... The only thing they haven't got there is a pavlova. They've got... Right. Like, have a look at it. Look at the array. <laughs> Soya, mixed tomato herbs, harvest snaps... I, I presume the two at the, at the end there, both uh, Quinn and Riley, might have a polytech or university flavour within their upbringing. So, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is like the Savoy Hotel. <laughs> All right, nice to see you guys. Thank see you later, Rob. But they're doing a wonderful job here to bring you. Uh, this live coverage, and of course, they do have to be fed and watered. Now, uh, Bennett now jumped out to a 10 7 at the halfway mark, just a, a mini break, I suppose you'd call it, Stephen, wouldn't you? Oh, well, well, oops, sorry, yep, yeah, it was it was a good three, it was sort of a bit of a loose end, uh, just played. Yeah, oh, lovely bowl there from a superb bowl, sat on top of the uh, Coleman bowl, and, and Wayne Coleman, for those who don't know, out of Wellington. Uh, very, very good lead. It played at Victoria and at Johnsonville. The a green keep, former greenkeeper. We well, may still be a greenkeeper. I'm not. I'm not sure, but was a greenkeeper, and uh, certainly. Uh, and is just is it falling, falling, falling. Still, very, very good lead. Been around the Wellington scene uh, for a long, long time, and of course Rob Ashton needs no introduction at all. He's uh, played everywhere. Uh, the Coleman Bowl just uh, just fell, fell over, yeah. Uh, whether he gave it away or not, I don't know. 7 4, Joe Edwards leading Natasha Grimshaw as we play in 8 of 18. And here's the Edwards Bowl. Has it got the weight to get all the way down? No, it hasn't. It's certainly no. on the line. Good chance here for Natasha Grimshaw to just to tighten that scoreboard up a bit because there is quite a bit of room to draw, Stephen, yeah, isn't there? And, and again, the angles aren't, yeah, we're not convinced who's, oh, she's again, missed the line again. She steered that under the line. What's that? Just, and again, Mike Kernan and I were talking about this and, and, and Oliver Mason uh, were talking about it yesterday, is 
you know, the danger is, uh, especially well, on any green, but if you steer your bowl inside the line on, on, on carpet, yeah, uh, on dead draw, really wait, you're going to get punished. You're just not going to get rewarded. And that's why you'll see players, especially the likes of Lace Selby, um, that certainly yeah, not fought, so ran flat into a row, and that'll, that'll be count. It's got to be a shot now. So they're not frightened to play with weight through the bowls no, at that's all. The, that's the Aussie way. And uh, Joe's one of the reasons she's uh, been so good is the fact that she does attack. She's got all the shots. Absolutely. She is plays it? aggressively. Um, it's not just um, the dead draw sort of options that tend to plays through bowls. be part of the woman's game. See, Natasha Grimshaw then badly missed her green uh, completely on th uh, all three bowls and really she'll be very disappointed where she didn't self-adjust so to speak because yeah, it's, the, yeah, it's the precious thing normally you know you've got to be up you it's, can't be wide yeah there's plenty uh, of room yeah. there to self-adjust really you know that green out to her own team's bowl this is a better bowl here from edwards going to get past it will it's, just get a roll past itself. her own and that finishes lower the jack, but certainly... So it's not a matter of what, it's just how many. Dead on the jack line. So that's two that's come out. Well, to me, that looks like three. Henrietta will... Uh, Henrietta Scott will put the... Another part of the woman's game is the, 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 the rag down and Absolutely. the balls on top. Yeah. yeah. Don't see blokes doing that. I was going to that one. I was that one's not in. Now the back one. It was the back one that I thought was may well have been in. Two it is. Two. So Tamara will have to learn that when she takes up uh, lawn bowls. Yeah. And, and and make sure you put the, the bowls out on the rag when you finish the end, so as you know how many shots they are. That's been the it's through the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> She's allowed to. She's the boss. So, Joe Edwards, 9-4 now. 9-4. That's a healthy little... That's a healthy little lead for a player of the Ed Edwards' uh, ilk, isn't it? Certainly is at the halfway point. It's... Uh and... So, this uh, you might know, Stephen, that Owen Bennett and, and Murray Wilson, Alison Kilda, are they sort of well performed the Needham players? Or, you know, I, I, I don't yeah. know them to be fair. Well, yeah, I've been out of town for a few years uh, now. You but, have? Um, yeah, no, they do well. They've been part of the uh, representative program and right. uh, they, they feature at the business end of uh, this. events. Look at Look at this. This. Oh, God. <laughs> Goodness me, who's That's got shot? That's <laughs> So they're in the representative scene, are they? I, I think so, yeah. like on the greater side, uh, squad size. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, and they play on this all the time, so it's a uh, right. okay. huge so advantage. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the enjoyment. It was interesting this morning talking to... The, the manager uh, guy here oh, yep. Uh, yep. T today. John. John, John yes. And John was telling me about um, the use now here, the, the, the amount of leagues. That, so they've got every day now. Yep. There's a league of some description, whether it be secondary school, club players, you know, whatever. Yeah, um, the, all, and the, all manner the, of disciplines. Yeah, play. the, the, the uh, senior citizen type uh, and players. But uh, that it's, he was saying it's uh, it's really been a big call on the voluntary, um, uh, you know, the, the voluntary labour force that, they, that works here because um, there's so much going on. But uh, he was also saying that the uh, uh, COVID's taken its toll. You just yes. never know who yes. who's playing what and that. Is Rob having a fun run down there? Just missing. It's wider than Mark. Well, it'll be interesting what that was, one or two. So Kay Hammond, Joe Edwards leading 9-4 and plenty of room there. And it's the St Kilda 
guys who have got the mat. Okay, well, uh, Wayne's just going to do the board, so it was a two. So it's Owen Bennett just opening up that uh, wee bit of a buffer there. 12-7, a little buffer, isn't it? You know, and we're sort of at the halfway mark. And we we know with uh, Rob Ashton, oh, all short bowls there. But uh, and to be fair, Kay Hammond hasn't slaughtered the jack no. either. To, you know, so uh, we all know with Rob Ashton that uh, as the game changes, uh, so too you could say that does his array of shots that you'll uh, see him endeavour to play to turn uh, negative positions. Well, he's not scared to be up and at him. No, it, no, he's certainly not. He's well known for it, of course. Well, there's Didn't another. Yesterday, though, he's getting his uh, drives away with three bumps. Yeah, they are getting a them. bit of the, the, the aged wobble in them. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know the, what the number would be, but boy, his number of Wellington titles must be. Yeah, You've got to be up there somewhere. Be pretty up there in the big numbers, wouldn't he? Because he's won everything in uh, Wellington uh, over the years. And to be, you know, to uh, Rob is certainly here's Edwards. Coming down, this will be it. shot. It's low, but that's yeah. the shot. But Rob has been uh, over the years uh, a great supporter of all, a great supporter of the Nationals. Uh, he's, yep. always, he's been, you know, he's always been an attendee at, at, at the Nationals. Of course, won a won a national uh, peers uh, peers title. Um, that's right. Uh, but he's certainly been, you know, he's insane, wasn't it? He beat. He was playing with Ray Buffer, I think. It's a buff. Could have been. And I've got an idea that they beat Matt Gallup and Crystal Leaf. Okay. I can't find that bit out. No, I, I can. I, I, there's, there's the, the boss sitting there studiously. Mike Kernan sitting at the back of the rink watching. I know it was certainly down in the in the low numbers. I'll say, if it, if it wasn't the final, definitely the low numbers that they beat uh, Matt Gallup and Chris Leave. Okay, so at Wellington, he's got a disappointing 39 titles. 39 titles. Um, he won the peers with Peter Sane. Yes, he did. He won the pairs with Ray Boffer. That's correct. That's correct. Um, he's won three Trusts Opens. The, the Auckland event, yep. Yep. So, here we've got that other semi-final, and it's the defending champions, Leif Selby and James Williams of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland, up against the Hastings combination and soon to depart to Australia, Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy. Ten ends gone and it is the defending champions of Selby uh, and Williams who are leading by 14 shots to seven. 14 shots to seven and in this other semi-final of the game right in front of us, it is the Murray Wilson skip side up against Rob Ashton and it is Murray Wilson who is in fact Leading 12 shots to seven. And in the in the ladies' event in the other semi-final, we have Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson of Queenstown playing Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke. It's currently Wanganui. Uh, the Burke uh, Patterson combination up nine seven after nine ends. So it's all pretty tight there. Joe Edwards, they've got the mat again. Hammond, um, Edwards combination. <coughs> Might have just been the one. I'm not, sh I'm not sure, but I think it was just, think it was just the one shot. And I hear the instructions there from, <coughs> from Owen Bennett to try and reach through to that sh that bowl of, that shot bowl, the Rob Ashton bowl. So we'll see here what he does. He hasn't got a big, not many shot options on for Murray Wilson. Let's see what he can do. 
10 4 now. Joe Edwards leading after Tipworth's replay in 10 of 18 over Natasha Grimshaw and Henrietta Scott. So here is the St Kilda mat. Are you going to change of mind on the mat? No, no. Just a readjustment. Just that pose, that weight he's going to play with. Trying to get down to that shot pole, sitting just literally right on top of the jack. And he certainly won't be certainly won't be short. So you see where that pole heard nothing, so it went by. So yeah. Well, it's a fine line down there when you're in front of those front poles, really, uh, yeah, it is. isn't it? It's a very fine line. Yeah, I don't know if it's that smart. If he gets the outside edge of that, it's looking like it's going to punch into yeah. his, his two bowls. That could, well, yeah. and that, uh, I'm not sure that was the percentage well, side. Especially if another bowl goes on the head here from Ashton, and it's going to. It's only, look, it's only one. one shot. It's only, I, you know, I think, to come down and try and swoop around that bowl, the front bowl. Some crazy yeah, things happen that's, when you hit a bowl. And, uh, yeah. It doesn't always go where you think it's going to go. You've only got to be, if you're playing with weight, you've only got to be slightly off target and, you, and the result won't be good. Good bowl here from Kay Hammond. Joe Edwards happy with that. The Nelson's Club. And it's interesting that you know, the Nelson Bowling Club, you know, one of the nicest locations in an inner city club in Nelson and around the cathed back of the cathedral in the reserve there in Nelson. And it's just down there, sort of like a, in a wee dip, isn't it? It is in a wee, a, a wee dip. And the resurgence, so to speak, of the club, the One Green Club, that uh, with Joe Edwards and Val Smith. Uh, but that's where they started. They went away. They went and away. They've come and back. They've come back. They were playing at United, of course, before. That's right. They started off their bowls in Nelson. They've come back. And it's incredible. You get the players of their class at the club, and you see a resurgence of a whole lot of things and you know there's some um, very some re very very good players there, there, there now well not shouldn't say now but there is a number of good good players there. You know, Richard Collar you've got uh, well, Charlie uh, Eagleton um, there's a number of players that are there now that uh, make it you know Joe in, and, uh, and and her partner yep. here so well, jo Joe was saying I was talking to her earlier on and uh, she's loving it She's back there and she says, I'm with my mates. They are. I'm having absolutely. A ball. Absolutely they are. And Murray Scott, another one who's at the, the, you know, who's been a well performed uh, Nelson player. He can play a bit. He can play a bit on and off the green. He can play a bit. Yeah. bit. <laughs> he goes good both here yeah, on and off. Yeah. Uh, let's just say he enjoys the life. Ashton yeah. somewhere in the zone again by the look of it, but whether he's got all of it. Why? Uh, oh, that looks like it's a second, second shot. Yeah, it came out then uh, when that bowl came out. Certainly changed the look of the head and yeah. does look like two, Steve. As we finish the tenth, but end if they're 18. measuring, it can't be obvious. So, so going around to the to the Needham bowl now is Wayne Coleman. And it's it is, two. it is two. The that front bowl just came in, does score them. So it's 12 9. 12 9. And Natasha Grimshaw has fallen into the, because she's down on the head, uh, Stephen, she's fallen into the trap oh. of trying to steer with weight end after end after end. And yeah, just Henry has just got a wee bit looser loose. a bit. Um. So it's, uh, and if, for example, and you start to chase shots, you yes, see, you get absolutely. scoreboard pressure. And and to be honest, you're playing Joe Edwards. So even if you do dislodge the bowl, the chances are the next bowl you're still going to be you're going to be one down. Yeah, and it's, it's fine if you play it with your last bowl and she's got no bowls left. But yep. you just I think you just sacrifice your opportunities. So Grimshaw. And yeah. Joe's, Joe's just covered off that uh, she won't drop a number if it does get squirted out there. So, better lined here is Natasha but, Grimshaw. Yeah, but she's needs the jack, though. Gets a flip out on the bowl. Didn't get it out far enough. enough. Don't know. We're going to find out. Magic fingers were coming into play. 
Yeah, the, still, still that holding. Bowl, that bowl out to the side of Joe Edwards is, is just didn't move far shot. enough. Yeah. So, Cinder, as you can see here, uh, Wayne Coleman sitting right down in front of the jacket. Great, great opening. Um, and Bennett quickly indicating, sorry, uh, Murray Wilson quickly indicating to Owen um, Bennett uh, how uh, how far he went over, and now he'll just endeavour to. All right, the magic foot. Get that bolt on the head. Joe Edwards. Joe Edwards just. Uh, oh, well it. played. Well oh, played. Toucher. Looks, looks a bit heavy and wide, but uh, pretty handy. Well, it very quickly closes the gate on you, doesn't it? Oh. It does. Tasha's got to rattle something around here. Otherwise, it's two what? more. And she doesn't like it. Well, she's steered it again, and then she's got weight down to the jack. And now it's going to go now. Oh, it might get contact on the back of the bowl. Does. Oh, great result. Oh, great result. Because <laughs> that was running away quicker than Ned Kelly. <laughs> yeah. But hung on. And I see Mike Kernan sitting there watching. And these are the sorts of things where I know that uh, someone like Kernan afterwards would be taking her aside and just saying, look, You've got to play with bowls on the head. You don't steer. Let the bowl, you know, and we saw it this morning in that game with Leif Selby uh, and John O'Shea. They let the bowls work towards the head all the time to give themselves. It's about percentages, really, Steve, isn't it? Yeah, and they played the percentage shots all, all round and played with what I term respect. Uh, they were covering possibilities and probabilities of what could or might be played. So... Uh, yeah, no, they. Uh, it was a great game of bowls. It's uh, as as we've talked earlier. It's uh, one of the best I've seen for quite some time. And both as well, both Lance Tasker and and James Williams as well. They're both very good on the oh. head, you know. And that's so important when you you know. And they were, you know, they discussed shots. You know, you play what you want to play, but this is you know, and and, um, and they didn't go hunting shots. No, which, which is another attribute of, of being a good player, isn't it? They it certainly is, and uh, I spoke to all four of the guys after the game, and uh, Lance was a bit gutted with himself on the, the last end where he uh, put three bowls down that he, yeah, was, well, they he, actually he wanted back, but uh, hey, that's what happens in a game of bowls. And, uh, well, they literally played the last end with three bowls, didn't they, as, yep. it, as it turned out? Trying to get the ball to hold was Murray Wilson. Finished Jack level. And then see there again we've seen the, the advantage, um, Steve, of that front line to the jack. That was yep. the first bowl of Wayne Coleman's. And there it is sitting right there on the... So Rob Ashton down having a look. And, well... Owen, Owen Bennett riding uh, the opposition's bowl there. So Generally not considered etiquette. <laughs> uh, Imagine doing that in Australia. They'd just oh, about take you out yeah, the back oh, and yeah, yeah. shoot you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're particularly hot on that, aren't well, they? You'd be, you'd be told very quickly. <laughs> so here is Harry Wilson trying to Play down to the bowl. Murray's been pretty steady all the way, actually. Playing with weight to reach down to get to the jack or the bowl. Uh, so Not going to hold up. Might sit inside. No, he gets a feather on the outside of it. He's still got a bowl left, though. So Rob Ashton's come down for one of his walks to look at the, the trees, the flora and fauna. And the one. And still giving that chewing gum a, a yeah. fair hiding. There's the English jog back to the mat. Look at that Phil Austin. It's strange to see him on the side of the uh, the glass. <laughs> I would have thought he'd be on the other side. Fury. Because apparently he wasn't allowed a lemonade until they finished. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, because he likes it. He was doing uh, dry July. Yeah, well, he looks... Oh, for the weekend anyway. Likes a cold one on a hot day or a cold day. Uh, yeah, he's never short of uh, enjoying it. So Rob Ashton trying to add to the count here. He looks high. He's high. And not much improvement needed here from Murray Wilson. He was more than likely only a bowl of...
bowled out to get the good the good run to the jack, but he's he's. Uh, it's hard to sort of say. Yeah, it could be three down, or it could be one down. Yeah. Certainly one down anyway, but uh, or two. So just, just those angles, just no idea. No, Tasha Grimshaw endeavouring to get a bowl in on the head here because they are they're down, and this looks to have some pace on it as it goes by and does so. Eleven five, Joe Edwards leading, but holding three with the, the all of the yes, sitting very observant and behaved sitting there. So here's Edwards now, and what is Murray Wilson going to do? That swing, he gives that swing on the backhand, and well, he's higher. He's higher than his first, that last bowl, that's for sure. Needs might to get start lucky coming here. now. Might get lucky he here. might get the oh, well. He, I thought he was going to get the inside of the back of the jack. So. It's the Ashton side that scores. Well, <laughs> when you play with weight, they don't always turn when you want them to no, turn. No, <laughs> no, they generally hold a good line. Well, yeah. uh, quite a narrowed line when you lean into them. So we'll see what it was, whether it was just the one or not. Joe Edwards leading 11-5. And big thank you today, of course, to bring you this finals day here at the Somerset National Champion and Champion Piers. You know, the Bowls New Zealand team do a wonderful job. Steve Crash, who are the, 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 uh, the other male workers, I suppose you could say. And then our team in here, with, led by Tamara, along with Erica, Quinn and Riley, doing a wonderful job in bringing this coverage uh, non-stop coverage right throughout the three days and we do it all again next weekend in the following weekend in the following weekend <laughs> uh, Carlton are up 14 10 at the moment looks like after 12 14 10 so Natasha Grimshaw on the search down there so it was a, was a 1 2 Ashton, so it's 12 10 now. Needs to sit. I just. It's funny when, you, when, when you're trying to make things happen, yeah. the smallest of holes can yep. be got through. That's correct, mate. And I just see Mike Kernahan sitting there, and I, I bet he'd be saying under his breath to Natasha Grimshaw, straighten your arm up because she's continuously. Uh, well. On a number of occasions, sorry, bringing that arm in across and you're getting that. You've got to let the ball come back towards that centre line. You can't, you'll just get punished trying to. This is a number here. Yeah, well, Joe was uh, Mr. Big Chance there and giving herself a bit of a telling off. There's three right. out. Oh, that might be it. There's the measure of the jack level ball. So we'll, of course, have the final for you. Both finals. We'll Both have, finals going off at the same yeah, time. We'll have all that live coverage for you. And remembering, of course, next week, uh, we'll be... Uh, so it's, uh, that was a three to Joe Edwards, 14-5 yeah. now. So we'll be bringing you all the live coverage next weekend from the Nainai Stadium, where we'll be bringing you again the uh, Somerset National Champion of Champions. And next weekend, it will be triples and we'll have the, the get underway uh, on Friday morning from uh, Wellington and we of course we'll have teams from all around the country assembling in Wellington and a similar format we have uh, two days of section play and into post section play on the Sunday and then the following week we will be back in the Hawke's Bay where we'll be bringing you the Somerset National Champion of Champion Fours and uh, that, we're going to have a break after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just got a message from Dave Hewitt, obviously watching this. Uh, Rob's 39 titles there is first equal with the, the great Judy Howard. 39 and Judy Howard. Well, there's a legend, isn't she? You know, and, and she's still doing it. And still playing, certainly is. Of course, Judy was part of the New Zealand side for so many, a long time. And, of course, 
with Mary Watson, 1990 Commonwealth Games in yep. in, in Auckland, and well, it was it Did wasn't Millie that Carr many years ago. Was she was down to the Millie's one. Millie was in that. Yep, the team that, as well. Watson. Yeah, the, so Arlene. The, there was uh, yeah, and it wasn't was it Colin Ferrick? There oh, was yeah. uh, Adrian Lambert. Adrian Lambert skipped the fours. Okay. Marlene uh, led, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was from Hawke's Bay. I'm not sure it was Hawke's Bay at the time. Judy Ferrick, um, I think. And of course, a while ago. Millie. Millie, of course, on that particular day that she played, she played the final. It was a nephew or something. Was her Grands grandson? Grandson, yeah. Actually, passed away at the Pekaranga, uh, at, 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 the, at club, the club. At the club. Yeah. And they didn't tell her till the end. No, she wasn't informed until afterwards. And um, remember that. Yeah. That was we saw. That was the year we saw the great Perella in action at. Uh, it was a fairly handy men's team too. It was Dicky? Dicky was in there. Scoggs, yes. Scoggs kept the four. It was Peter Short. Uh, Peter With, Short uh, kept the KD, I think Kevin was three. Peter, Peter, Peter Short, Short played two. Peter Short played two, definitely. Um, Morris yeah. was in there. I think it was Morris. Uh, uh, Brass, because Morris and Brass played the pairs. Yes, yeah, yeah. Dicky would have played the singles. Was it Stuart McConnell off the front? Uh, it was the nut. Nose off the ground. Yep. <laughs> and funny, funny enough, his name came up uh, over a lemonade, and uh, he still got those same brown bowls with the white eyes. <laughs> I think they were, you know, made in about 1862 or something, and well, uh, he's still uh, playing with them. Well, I think I Francis was, Drake probably well, passed they, it down to him. If anybody wants to go back, had the chance to go back through the archives and. and Look, Stuart, the McConnell family were, you know, they were synonymous with bowls, especially down here in Dunedin. Oh, yeah, Kikra, Kikra, Kikra Club. With the, with the father and, and Duncan, and, Duncan and, yeah. and Stuart. But uh, uh, he certainly had uh, the, the unique delivery. And if you, I don't know the archives, you can go back and it was, uh, it was a nose scraper. <laughs> yeah. And I think his son, Sean, and when he took up the game, like father, like son. Oh, really? Very similar deliveries. Yeah, this could be a big end for the Ashton side here. If I, oh, there's just a one in behind there. Wow, well, uh, there could, could be four. There's. Could be five. So, coming to have a look here, you'd think with weight through the split of those. Oh, you've got to be up and at him, I, I think. I, I don't know what it looks you've like. You've got to get perfect under the green around the. Uh, yeah, burgundy or whatever colour it is. Because I'm looking yeah. at those yellow discs and I can see the, sorry, the, the, white, the, discs, discs. the white discs. All well, the blue bowls. Well, he's going to try and draw his um, So back to the mat. Is this in Kilda Skip Murray Wilson? He's had a look at the head to see what hand he's going to play. 14 5, Joe Evans is in Natasha Grimshaw in the semi final, the women's semi final down here. And we'll give you an update shortly of the other. And Murray Wilson giving the couple of wipes. He knows that there's a big bowl for him in the context of the yeah. game. 12 10. Here's Edwards drawing flat to the jack. There it is, right he's on top. To draw it. I thought. I'm surprised he's. Get out of the he's... road, Rob. Uh, Get out of the road, Rob. He certainly cut the swelling. He certainly did. That looks like one. What a bowl. It was, up, well. Five down, we'll, we'll one see. up. We'll see him but a moment. Natasha coming down with a bit of weight. She needs a turn on the bowls through the head. So we'll just Joe's get... still got one. Kay's got the finger up. Just get that confirmation. I 
I might have overspoken. I mean, someone might have heard in the mic where it was just the one. Yeah, well, that's all they could have got, so uh, nothing else close from the Owen Bennett Murray Wilson combination that end. That was a bomb. Yeah, but it's St Kilda on the mat. Yeah, he, he drew shot. <laughs> oh, we, Edwards changes a oh, hand, draws a touch on the other hand. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get quite to see too much of that because Rob got in the road, but uh, handy start. 13-10 uh, now as we play in 13. Little, I'm not saying mini break. You watch that hand in Natasha Grimshaw's. Yeah, she's just swinging around a wee bit. Yeah, making a good attempt here, though, to get down to it. There's a good attempt from the Hawks Bay player. Gets the jack around the corner. Deserves oh. the shot with that bowl. Sure has that she she's got it. Has she? Oh, out comes the measure. And I think it was, for that last count, I think, it was Stephen said. <laughs> oh, that's very nice, Sam. Kay, Kay, she said to uh, the, do you want me to do it? Which is very, very good of it. Oh, well, it probably needs the calipers more than yeah, it's sometimes great. The, but, but it's, won't get in between there. It's, it's a good spirit of the game, Steve, it is. isn't it? You know, to, you know, she knows that, you know, that it's, it's a big occasion for the youngster and true sportsmanship, do you want me to do it? Which is, which is you know, you've got to applaud that and... Tighty, tight one. F favouring the Nelson Bolt looking at that. And the last, there it is now, 15-10. 15-10 to the Carlton side. And I th yeah, think it's see that. 14 played, is it? Ooh, it looks like a three to me from right. this angle. Okay. But it is 15-10. Carlton leading... The Dean Drummond side, and of course, they played one another yesterday as well. Didn't they, they did. They did, and it was a very high-class game. Yes, that's 15-10. You're correct. After 13, you can see that board there, and it was a one to Joe Edwards. That's 15-5. And 13-10 here to the the uh, boys from St Kilda, Murray Wilson and Owen Bennett up against Rob Ashton and Wayne Coleman of the Johnsonville Club. Uh, in, in Wellington. 15-5, another one to Joe Edwards as we play in 13 of 18. And it's in the Ashton game. It is the St Kilda boys that are holding shot. Jack's pretty well down towards the two metre mark. OK, we see the Murray Wilson bowl coming into view. It's... Uh uh, it's coming it's down to the county the area. So you would count, think Jack that would count. It's very good to see the New Zealand high-performance man here, Mike Kernahan, who a man, another... Well, man. both him and Phil Austin have got the same haircut. <laughs> Go to the same barber, the obviously. Same barber, but it's uh, good to see Mike here. Yep. You know, as the high performance manager, shortly, of course, to go to the Commonwealth Games. It was at 17th, I think he was saying they're yep. off. Yep. And uh, so he's here watching and trying to look at some uh, talent on display. Okay, in the uh, other ladies' semi final, Deborah Lloyd, Jane Anderson of Queenstown, up against Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke of Wanganui. So Wanganui uh, team that's uh, just taken that wee mini break. They were up 9-7. It is now 14-7. So they've gone on a, that's after 12 ends. So a three end uh, run there to turn 9 into 14. So it's 14-7 to Wanganui over Queenstown. And I think I just saw the Carlton side score again out in, the, out in this one in front of us. Yeah, you can see James over on the right there. You see, that, look, they've both got the same haircut. They have. Kernahan and Austin. And both got that sort of expressive <laughs> smile. <laughs> Deep in thought, Michael. And yep. Rob Ashton went by. So 
He's at least a couple down. And here's a chance for, really, for Murray Wilson to get the pressure really on the Wellingtonians. Yeah, well, um, I'd be interested with, yeah, what it does to the brain. We're holding that five and then, uh, yeah, uh, bang, you drop one. The, the, the interesting thing as well, Steve, when you're playing somebody uh, like Rob Ashton, um, 16 10 now. You, now, now, here's four. You don't always want to be on the jack against playing against someone like Ashton. No, they're holding three, four. perhaps four, and it, there's holes, and it's a dead draw option, isn't it? Now, yep. I'm not saying Rob Ashton can't draw, of course, he can, but. He's a player, of course, who doesn't need a second invitation well, to... Well, if you put two together, he's going to... He's going to go at them. So this becomes, so, in the context of this match for Rob Ashton, a very, a, very big bolt. He's yeah. down looking at the head. And I can tell you that in the the game, the uh, Leif Selby match, 14 ends gone, and it is the defending champions of Carlton Cornell, Leif Selby and James Williams, up against the Hawks Bay combination of... of uh, Dean Drummond and Murray Grassy, and it is the Carlton Cornwall defending champions leading 16-10 after 14 ends. So uh, This is a big bowl from Rob. Certainly is. Right. Uh, we saw uh, Murray play the bomb in the last end to get out of jail. Uh, Rob needs to return the favour. It's, it's interesting that Ashton is playing where the counting bowls are, so that, you know, that's the sort of uh, way that he will play the game. Not sure that he likes it too much because he'll well, he, chase that. Watch out. Watch out. He gets, he gets the back of this bowl. That, it's not going to do much at all. Well, I'd say there's at least two there to take them to 15-10. Oh, could, be, could three, be three. Four. One, two, three. Three. They're out. Oh, well, that's four. four. And they're having a look at that uh, back burgundy one. That's a big count in this context Ooh. of the game now. Well, to five down and turn it into a one. Yeah, yeah that, sudden, that end of four, four. That's a big end, obviously, wow. isn't it? So going around to look at the nut. The so we're sure on that it's it was four. 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 I just heard on the okay. mic there. Beautiful. 17-10 now as we play in 14. Well, it's uh, it's sort of starting to run out of ends for Rob Ashton, really, isn't it, uh, Stephen? And we'll check that time as well, how long we've got. Should be the... Oh, there's no, no time limit. Oh, no yeah. time limit. Oh, yeah. that's Good a senior, gracious me. senior citizen <laughs> moment there. <laughs> OK, we shouldn't drink. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Our crew here are looking a bit. We have to give them some. I think we give them some pick me up juice. They're starting to get that jaded look and say, "Oh, there's only one more game to go." <laughs> it's a long weekend for these uh, our, our, our people here doing the uh, doing all making it all happen. I've uh, got to keep their eyes on the cameras on the action from uh, eight o'clock in the morning right through to completion of play at around the first two days, ten o'clock at night is when. Uh, Lock up, literally, well, a bit earlier last night, but yeah, they're big, big long days, and uh, it's a sterling effort put in. And again, there's that under the head steering scenario and weight. And, and the weight and, comes off. And lost track of where the jack was. So it would have been one. Looks like a, like a one to Joe. 16 5. I'm sure Scruff's having a look at home. Well, yeah. Uh, hey, all the, the best, lawns, uh, um, all the best, Scruff. I've, um, trust all's well. I know there's, you've uh, got a bit of hip pain at the moment, but uh, um, but all the best, mate. And uh, you and I both know that get new ones, and it does make a great difference. And uh, you, like myself, you, I think you've already had one, and. Uh, yeah, they do make, uh, certainly make uh, <laughs> life a lot easier. So uh, all the best, uh, Scruff, and of course, all the best in your South Island and to Sharon Sims, the North Island. They're going to have the, 
They'll be putting yep. those teams together for He's what is going to be. cobbling his side together, yeah. Sharon. Um, I think they're doing the ring around at the moment to check availability. Um, so watch this space. We'll be having some announcements out of Bowls New Zealand soon, but uh, you would have seen on the Facebook page and the website just recently that uh, with Sharon and Dave been appointed um, uh, as like Ryder Cup style selectors, it is. team captain we're calling it, non-playing captain. And of course also that weekend as well we've got the awards dinner etc in, in, in honouring players achievements and administrators achievements and we will have the great John Macbeth as the, I think as, oh, the, yep. as, the, as the MC. Bowl, bowler extraordinaire bowler. as well. Well he's playing uh, yep. it, uh, next week. Is he? Oh, he is too. Yeah, he's uh, yeah the the man from Capity. I'm sure it's uh, next week. We'll line up. It's the same Grant Nisbet's got a test to call in <laughs> in Wellington. Otherwise, Nisbet and myself would uh, be looking. Be uh, certainly doing some commentary on uh, John Macbeth and his Real Matty side, who have uh, qualified for the national finals. But John will be the MC uh, extraordinaire. At the uh, at that Bowls New Zealand Awards function, and of course, as Steve spoke before about, um, as our guest speaker at that function, uh, we'll have the great Dick Taylor, 1974 Commonwealth Games, and you know, Steve and I had the pleasure that day of sitting in the grandstand. The Dick Taylor, what? When Dick Taylor, I, I Dick remember sitting at uh, work when I was a lowly office clerk in uh, <laughs> the social security department way back then, <laughs> yeah. and we took time to uh, listen to it, and uh, we were yelling as hard as everyone else. Yeah. And yeah. that's when colour television arrived. It was, it was. That. and I had the pleasure. A, a, a good friend of mine and others in London. Uh, for New Plymouth Darcy Jury. The Bank of New Zealand had a saving scheme going for the 1974 Commonwealth Games and you saved X amount of money and it guaranteed you tickets for, oh, okay. the, various, uh, for the various venues. So my mate Darcy Jury and myself, we, got, we were fortunate enough. I had an auntie at the time uh, living in Wellington, in Christchurch, sorry. And uh, and the one good thing, my uncle, he was a member of the Walston Workingmen's Club. Oh, <laughs> so had it all. So it was great. So Darcy and I ventured down there, and we had the pleasure of watching uh, an athletic spectacle. We were there the day, of course, when the, the was great... David Black was the hot favourite. Yeah, and the, that's, that's correct, the Englishman. He was the big favourite, but we were also there the, 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 the day, of course, when uh, the John Walker Mile, the Phil, Phil Philip Bay... Bay. Uh, the great, the great real, real record time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the great, uh, yeah, the great Philip yeah, Bay, wow. Philbert Bay race. You don't like get that sort of thing. Oh, and and, and Tate winning the gold medal. And it's interesting the day after, the day after um, Dick Taylor won, we also saw we went to the pool the next day. Of course, which used to back on to what what the QE2 two QE park. Two park. That's right. And we saw uh, Mark Travis and uh, Jamie Parkhouse oh, okay. uh, win gold the next day in the pool wow. for New Zealand. So oh, you got to see some good ones. Oh, we yeah we uh, and the Bank of New Zealand had this uh, the savings plan was that the more you saved or had with them, the more option of tickets that you had to all the various um, uh, the various sports at, at, at around Christchurch and we. And uh, yeah, Darcy and I, my mate, we went to uh, uh, well, we went to a vast number of sports, and it was a yeah, it was a sporting spectacle that uh, we certainly would never forget. Just uh, having a wee squiz through the uh, Champ Champ triples with Bill Clements is coming down. Well, with, uh, there's a, there's he's, he's won about four hundred. Well, I was going to say he is captain title. Yep, yep. he's won them. He's won numerous. Oh, well, they better get uh, plenty of Waikato in because the Sutton brothers are coming from Pataru. Uh, Sheldon Bagri Howley's there. Uh, Bart Robertson, if he gets well. Well, I hope Bart's, you know. Well, if you're listening in, Bart, hope it hasn't nailed you too hard, the big C, but uh, so hope you, to see you there. We were talking about Oliver, you know, the, what he's yeah. done this last year. Well, Bart Robinson, is obviously he's won three in North Harbour. Yep. Joe Edwards round the corner to the jack. Have a wow. look at this. It, it, so Bart, yeah, he's won, he won the singles, of course, and he won the peers not here, and he's won the triples. So to win three in North Harbour, 
You're going uh, good. Out of the Helensville Club, the great Ivan Costinitz Club, uh, late Ivan Costinitz Club. So we've got Gary Muir away from Martinborough coming down. It's a time limit. Oh, that's all good. Steve it's Fleming and Grant Stumbles from Forbury Park coming. Who's playing with Grant Stumbles? Is not, is, is Graham young? Hislop, Steve Fleming, and Grant Stumbles. Oh, not, not, a, it's not his wee fella. Oh, um, I was wondering whether the youngster was. was yeah. No, he's probably away jockeying somewhere. Yeah, he's John in. Macbeth with Neil Pritchard, Reg Gostin, and John Macbeth. Well, we wow. just saw Natasha Grimshaw move the jack right out around the corner. Unfortunately what? for me, uh, Trevor Reader with the one and only Steve oh, Smith. Well, uh, is I'll coming be looking down. forward to seeing you. And you uh, talk about titles. Have a look at Ray Park's titles in Wanganui. Oh, yeah. He's, he's up there with Clements. Huge, huge, huge number of titles. And I, look, if, uh, if Funnel, if you're watching this, I know that you'll be able to tell us yep. straight away how many titles uh, Ray Park Mark's has got. got. And of course, Alan Dixon got beat in a New Zealand singles final. That's right. He was a uh, runner up in a New Zealand singles. And we've got a very good Elmwood combination of uh, Ricky Cook, Calvin Scott, and Nathan Glasson. Of course, Look there again, Ricky Cook, Ricky Cook was there uh, last week as well in the singles. Cookie, yep. There must be some in round two starting as well with the boys. Grimshaw looking for the jack or the pole. Oh, she'd get it clean back to the ditch. Might have gone out of bounds. The measure's out here in the uh, Ashton match. And not sure on this. Is, is one's been taken out. Is it three? Going back around the corner. It's obviously a few. 12, was it 2? Did I hear 12, 17? After 14 ends. Also at the uh, triples is obviously uh, Dave Hewitt is a better administrator than a player and his family because he's got his two brothers, Tony and Mark, playing in the upper hut combination. Now, just a point there as well. And the vice president. There's a very good side out of Taranaki. See? Yep. That's the son of the vice president of Bowles, New Zealand. Yep. yep. Hamish Carpey, who, who also Darryl plays Reed, the Avocado Club. Kalen. And Daryl Reid, who played for the North Island out the other year. Yep. So that's yeah, a good with, side. Out of, oh, with Ray Park, uh, he's probably spilling more weird wine than he's drinking lately, but uh, I'm sure he'll be doing doing it good. Ross Allery's back. He won oh, the singles. He won so. the singles, yes. Uh, Sammy Wharton. Well, all the way they, from Tamuka. The scribe. Come on. The scribe. He'll be writing stories as he plays. And the great Max Hamilton, ex Carlton. Uh, ex Hamilton. Now, now Kerry the, Kerry. the far north. Dean Drummond, well, that, Barron, Patrick so, Golder, Bowles Hastings. And the night the event finishes, he's on a plane to the Gold Coast. Yep. To uh, take up his new role at Musgrove Hills. Eric, you, you can, you're collecting a lot of paper there, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Eric has just got to go and do a score run for us. Much appreciated. So 16-5, Joe Edwards and... Her lead, Kay Hammond, 16-5. Uh, they're now leading over the combination from the Kiatoa Club of Hawke's Bay. Natasha Gimshaw and Henrietta Scott. And it's now 17-12 after, as we play, Ian 15. 17-12 to the St Kilda combination of Murray Wilson uh, skipping and Owen Bennett over the Wellington combination out of the Johnsonville Club of Rob Ashton and, and Wayne Coleman. 17.12 as the clock winds its way down. I'm not sure what that it's time is. Yep. And the Carlton. 18 ends. And I think good. that you said the Carlton game, 14.7, is it? Uh, it looks like 19.11. 19.11. to 15, perhaps. 19.11 to the defending champions who, of course, this morning played what I'd regard to date as... Uh, the game of the tournament. That was an absolutely outstanding exhibition uh, of bowls 
And I urge anyone who want to go back and have a look in the Bowls New Zealand calendar of events, have a look at that final yep. because it certainly was, wasn't it, uh, Stephen? It was, it was one of the, it was just magnificent. It was great bowls, great tactical nous displayed as well. Um, it's about you know showing the benefits of putting bowls in good places. It's you know, just it's like, not necessarily on the jack. It's a bit like like if you take what a Piers combination they'd make with a Joe Edwards and Leif Selby. Oh. <laughs> goes all right <laughs> because it, it, it's about and, and you know I know all the coaches say it but you know it's about having it's your your effective bowls your percentage of effective bowls within let's say that half meter meter in around the jack area and that's what they bring consistently they do and Joe's got a bit of work to do Kay's uh, gone AWOL in this end for it on the backhand is the Nelsonian, and for those who don't know where the Nelson Club actually is, it's literally in right in Nelson Township. And here's Edwards. Look at this drain. If it falls in, it'd just about be shot. So right in behind the historic cathedral at Nelson is where the Nelson Bowling Club is nestled in amongst the trees and fernery there, and. It's interesting, I don't know if they've been there, Stephen, but there's actually... Yeah, no, I, uh, I was in Nelson there just recently and I took a ticky tour around all the clubs. To, uh, good bowl here from Grimshaw, yourself. right in behind the jack. And there's no car parking at the Nelson Bowling Club. No, it didn't look like no, it. No, you've either got to... You're going up that wee one-way uh, street. You go up the street there and that's... Uh, yeah. Murray Wilson just... Murray Wilson on the touch play, draw. Play oh, you like that one, arms in yeah. the air. <laughs> it's the right time to do that. Arms in the year. Here's the latest update from out on the greens. And I can tell you that the Carlton game that we were just talking about, as Stephen just mentioned, is oh, that one there. It's that one. 18 11. As Joe Edwards, look at this coming Jack Level on the draw. The oh, queen of the green. No doubt about that. Shot. I'm sure Mike Kernan is sitting there saying, I wish you were on the plane to I wish you were on the plane to Birmingham. <laughs> I think Joe's very happy with her uh, current I, status. I agree. <laughs> She's enjoying uh, retirement, so to speak. So her it's eighteen eleven Leif Selby, the defending champions, Leif Selby and James Williams up against Dean Drummond and Murray Glassie of Bowles Hastings. And it is the defending champions who are leading 18-11, and we know the score here, 17-12. Oh, look at Natasha Grimshaw. Through the port. What a bomb. Three. Four. Four. One, five. two, three, four, five, perhaps. Five. Wow. What a bowl. Magnificent bowl. Drew it right through the, around the, oh, Joe Evans has got a bowl left. Yeah. Well, they both got one each. So, so here's Edwards. I would say everything that I can see on that side of the head um, Steve, all looks to be uh, hooks by bowls. So oh, here yeah. is. What do you see in his black stickers? Edwards on the forehand, down on the head. Now, yeah. coming back now, I can see the arc of the bowl coming back. How far has it come back? I don't know where, where it is relevant to the line. A bit of applause, so I don't know. I might be able to see where it went to. Uh, it'll be out the oh. side. Uh, it could be. Well, there's a white yeah. disc there in behind. K's a dark red bowl. So, yeah, she's in the zone. So, I would say if I was Natasha Grimshaw, who with Joe's got okay, no, none left, if you can see, see some of, of it, part of it, you, you, you go for the bowl. Yep. Play the bowl through t down to the ditch. And uh, She looks like it's on a... Well, she's going to get her own bowl. How far did she get it? Oh, she through. kicked and followed through. Followed through. May have made shot of it, but definitely well worth going for the that, to get to that bowl. It was a fair save from Joe. Certainly was, because the number wasn't looking good. 16-5, it is Joe Edwards leading as we come to the end of N14. Looking down here at the game, the Dunedin match. So we've got the uh, Queenstown Wanganui update. Uh, Wanganui up. 14-9, uh, so it was 14-7 two ends ago in the 12th end. After 14 ends, it's 14-9. Looking for the jack here is Murray Wilson, or he might get an inside slide here, and does. 
and got the slide through. And <laughs> Rob ashton has got no bowls left there. He was half a bowl off target, really. Buddy had weight to carry through. Wayne Coleman's got that despondent look. So, geez, how did that happen? Yeah. Okay, so, Keith, Keith Slight just sent a message uh, telling us uh, that Parky's got over 70 titles. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70 centre titles. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yep. I see we've got Joe and uh, Colleen Earl and Faye Wilkerson back next weekend and uh, Wellington and the triple yes, combination. Yeah, yeah, don't remember, forgot you, yeah, Joe was, was coming back. Well, and of course, Karen Hema, Linda Ralph and Lisa Prado, they'll be back. Yep. Because they're at all the events. Yep. Got Raywin Willis from my club at Mount Monganui, Tanya Wheeler from Martinborough, oh, singles going champion. For, going for the... the, the uh, Margaret O'Connor... Uh, from Queenstown. Did you say Mark O'Connor? Margaret. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I thought the King of Whitby was there. <laughs> and uh, Barbara Archer. Um, Very well-performed player out yeah, of Tyree. Much better player than her husband, yeah. Dave. <laughs> got more uh, hair. Well, who hasn't? <laughs> but they do a wonderful job at the Tyree Club. Uh, always, it's one of the, well, all clubs are welcoming, but Tyree, they've got, uh, got a fantastic, uh, great club. And Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke are back uh, again. Wong, they're they're in the, currently in the semi-finals, leading 14-9 after 14 ends. They're back with uh, Deborah Garside from Wanganui, and they play the first game round against Karen Hema, Lisa Prado, and Linda Ralph. Katrina Ensor from Pataru. Oh, some big teams coming. Isn't it interesting, though, now, um, Stephen, we do it about the women. And if we go back through some years back, uh, especially the women, there was always a Meta Meta team there. Yeah. When they had that oh, empire, didn't the they? Empire. What, you know, the Millie, Millie Khans and you know, uh, Adrian Lambert. There was, they were all there, weren't they? Betty Fitzall. Um, they, were, they were all there. And, you know, the, 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 there wasn't a tournament or major tournament went by where the, those ladies from Meta Meta uh, weren't featuring uh, when the bells were have ringing. You, have you been to the club? Yeah, I have. <laughs> you cannot put a postage stamp on the wall. <laughs> you know, there's no room. They've even got honours boards hanging off the ceiling with you know, just rows and rows of championships of yeah, the uh, they, they were All the, those girls won. Yeah, they were... Um, uh, and, and a few of the boys, you know, back in the day. Yeah. That, that Matter Matter Club was outstanding. But, well, of um, course, in, in the, the days history. gone, what great opening three bowls here from the... From Owen. The Owen, especially... We get in the ends down the back end of the game. Well, Cause they used to have, uh, and it was a fantastic tournament uh, where Rewa uh, used to be the uh, headquarters. Meta Meta Fours or something. Meta Meta Fours that they yep. used to have. Absolutely. They came from all around the place yep. to play the Meta Meta Fours. And you, yeah, know, you travel. down to one green now. Yeah, yeah. And that, uh, of course, we held a national championship at, That's right. at, at uh, it was headquarters <laughs> for uh, a national championship a, a number of years back. And, but, yeah, and even in the men, if you go back, you, you know, the days of the Sam Somerville. Kennedy, the Somervilles, Robson, uh, the, the, the start of the Settle Brother Empire. Yep. There was Bev Corbett. Now, there's... there's yes. <laughs> Is she still turning up to play? Yes, but the, the finishing this year. She reckons? She reckons. Well, now, I'm not sure. I think it's next week. The woman, the, the return of Anne Lomas. Is she in the... What, you want the def that one? Definitely yeah. in one, it might be the fours, but one, definitely one of the events. Uh, Anne Lomas, former counties player, double world champion, champion. at Moama. Here's Edwards on the drive, going to the plant through the two bowls to get them in the middle, get shunned, get them both the out. And oh. one of the Henrietta bowls, Scott bowls, has stayed in there. As I watch this man's been consistent, the skip. Murray Wilson just draws He's playing Jack well, He's he? playing very well. Just draws the Jack Level Ashton under a lot of pressure here on this, the 16th in. He's, I'd say, four down, trying to. Uh, well played, Natasha Grimshaw just draws down and behind the head. The bowl of Ashton's is a nothing bowl, really. Goes, f comes short. And here's the opportunity for the St Kilda team. They can close the game out here if they can hold on. 
on this end here, 18-12, holding, I think, three. Here on the backhand is their skip, Murray Wilson. You come around this front bowl. Well, it needs to get around this front bowl. It's going Not to do away. so. This is well played by the St Kilda side. Tipped the shot bowl over in the front on the back of the jack. And he split those two blues up, so he's come to a real good home. Hard hit to play to now when you're 18-12 down, isn't it, Steve? Three ends to go and you're six behind, so he's, he's wanting to be averaging two and go into an extra end, I would think. So Rob Ashton coming down to have a look. Can Natasha Grimshaw add another on a good track? Coming down towards the jack. How far is it going to run? Sits in behind. Falls in. May well be shot. 18-16-6 it is. Can I do it, eh? yeah. So you heard Kay Hammond saying there to Joe Edwards. It's still only one. So Joe said, I'll try and draw it. Leading 16-6 in the semi-final of the Somerset Champion of Champion Finals here, or semi-final stage of the peers, men's and women's peers. And I'm not sure whether the card, the game out in front of us here, what, what's still going. Uh, the score is something there. 12. It was 17-12, I think, the last count. Yeah. So here's Edwards moved. on the draw. One down, leading 16-6 as we come to the end of in 15 just may drop under the head. Has great weight, but just going to drop yeah. away under the jack. It'll be a one, two. They were looking at the measure for the second. One, one it was, 16-7. As we finish in 15, Rob Ashton, he's in a lot of trouble at this end. Chasing the bowl down here is Ashton. We'll get that camera there on the head at the moment. And But a moment, 18, 12 down, and... He's just given it. Second ended. shot. No, was it second shot? Oh. Yeah, I've got one, says Wilson. I'm okay with one. Just going to draw down there. Good thinking. Uh, yeah. Annie Lomas is in the uh, fours event. In the fours, you see. Yep. Gene Huxtable, out. Jill Phillips and Rosaria Wrigley from the far north RSA. Well, Huxtable is a very, very uh, well-known uh, bowling name up in the up north, the north, uh, far north region. So here's Kimberly Scott, gets a toucher, just goes by, trailing 16-7 as we play in 16. And unless something dramatic happens here, this could be the last end in the women's semi-final. So Actually, I'm picking that uh, Lee Selby's won that um, because that hasn't moved. I'll just go and have a quick look. Uh, so, hey, well, so going to check is Stephen on that other semi final. That's Dean Drummond up against Leif Selby. And Murray Wood, Murray Wilson, endeavouring to draw another bowl to the head, holding one shot he is over Rob Ashton and leading 18 12 as we come to the back end of N16. So we can tell you that one of our finalists has been found for the men's final and it is the defending champions out of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland, Leif Selby and James Williams. They have defeated Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy. Not sure what the score is, we'll bring that to you. But it is the defending champions after that real nail-biter this morning uh, against the, the uh, day side, for the, uh, sorry, the... Towering aside. Towering aside and it, uh, in that magnificent game, and it was in the semi final. They just kept that form up and defeated Dean Drummond and Mary Glassy. And they'll play the winner of the Rob Ashton Murray Wilson game. And at this stage, it is the boys from the south on the drive as Ashton trying to get down to kill something. Don't know what happened. Uh, well, the jack's not there anymore. So one so would assume the jack's out of bounds. Picking it might have been a kill. So it was a good hit, as you heard the call there from the skip from Murray Wilson. Of course, it's fine to kill it, but we just he's got to be careful, of course, yeah. how the clock's running. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they don't need to worry about it. Oh, there's no, no I've done it again. <laughs> geriatric moment. 
Should have reminded me, Roddy. There was a. Can we get a ticker tape across yeah, the get screen? A no, get a no title no of time it, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll get it right soon. Natasha Grimshaw. <laughs> now, where do I go, I suppose, really, is what oh. she's saying. She's got to make some numbers. There's three ends to go. Well, they literally have to, have to be. Behind. They literally have to be on this end. Yeah, she's got to get average three threes. So here is Grimshaw trying to get down to down that yeah. narrow line with weight trying to get down to the shot ball of Jack. This is a good attempt. Might just oh, duck away. away. Gets the back. Oh. 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 Thought she had the back of the Jack then. If she played with a size five, she would have got that. Absolutely. It was right to that looking as though it was going to run to that Jack with her young lead. And, uh, you know, regardless of what happens here... Uh, uh, Steve, great effort from, you know, they qualified. I'm sure they've been beaten in this match, but, you know, they're playing the winners from all around the country and they got Absolutely. qualified um, and, of course, beaten here. But a uh, great achievement from the the, uh, the young lead. Well, Henrietta's is going to go away at worst with a bronze medal from Absolutely. a bronze New Zealand championship event. Absolutely. How good is that? So... Natasha Grimshaw playing again as she's trying to get at the same she's spot. Got she's got it, got this, it time. this time. Is she going to go all the way with it? There's a Henrietta Bowl there down at the back. And one would think that would lay shot. One would think. I need to hear what Kay Hammond has to say. One and a measure. And here is that score from the the match we were talking about, the uh, Drummond v Selby game, and it was Leif Selby running out 19 shots to 12. And again, it was literally a two end game. Uh, well, a four, a three, a three. Yeah. That's, you know, so Drummond picked up a three on the first end, a three to Selby on the third end, a three on the eighth end. Joe Edwards has just nutted it. Right. <laughs> oh. Touch up. And then another four to Selby on the 10th end and to me looking at that scoreboard there a 2, a 2, a 2, a 1, a 1, a 1 that shows high that class game again. High cla but Selby was in control all the way yep. and game managed again to, uh, you know, to, to a good win yep. so it goes by does Natasha Grimshaw and this might be shake hands time yep they don't have to play it out um Joe Edwards, as Stephen rightly said, just drew right down. Jack been moved off the centre line and drew a toucher right down deep on, real deep on the green. Sarah, see it sitting there. There's the bowl. And that's that must two, be two. two. You can see the Jack's about literally two feet from the ditch and she's drawn one right on top and the other one just in front. And there it is. It's shake hands time. And I can confirm now that the side of uh, Joe Edwards, uh, uh, the skip of course, and her lead, Kay, Kay, Hammond. Ham Kay Hammond of the Nelson Club. And they'll be delighted down there at the Nelson Club. And yep. I'm sure they'll be having a lemonade this afternoon there. Oh, I think there might be more and, than one. They've defeated Natasha Grimshaw and Henrietta Scott in the semi-final of the Somerset Women's Champion of Champion Pairs here at the Hope Stadium in Dunedin. And we wait to see who they will play this afternoon in the final. We know the men's final, or one of the men's finalists. We know that the defending champions, Leif Selby and uh, his lead, James Williams, they've won their way through to the final. So will they be playing Rob Ashton, or will they be playing the uh, local side, the Murray Wilson skip side? At this stage, it is the Otago, the Needham side, leading 18-12 as we come to near completion of in 16 and Ashton holding two two I think so here is Murray Wilson he's been playing some bombs of the last uh, few ends he's, he certainly has he's been uh, he certainly has. How far is he going to run to here? He needs another yeah, metre of running. To, try to ride to, it in. To get, even if he gets to one, will it be one? Uh, no, it looks like a two. It is two. I think it was the call there from Wayne Coleman. 
So, so there's only two games left, as you can see. So that's the uh, Queenstown v Wanganui just off to our left there on the big screen. So Ashton coming by. He, uh, oh, he missed a chance there, hasn't he? He certainly did. And really for here, for Murray Wilson, has really beat his own bowl. And he'll uh, that would give him second shot in 18-13. As you go into N17, and there's no time limit, just everyone aware of that? <laughs> <laughs> you had to write yourself a note yeah, to remember I've, that. Yeah, I've written on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the great supporter of Carlton, uh, the, the, the man, goes everywhere where the Carlton guys are. Uh, Gerald Holst. Yes, he's well travelled. He he's a great supporter. Great supporter, all right. So here is Murray Wilson, and I'm sure he'd be seeking to get happy to get second shot here. Really, well, if he draws like shot, come out too clean. But uh, if he's round that with weight, he's good. Uh, if he draws shot, he's making life. Yes, Owen riding the bowl again. Well, it's a bit of applause. OK, we've got the f final score is 18-7 to Joe over Natasha. We've seen that. And Next crash for the card. We'll be updating the website. Eric is doing that. And so. certainly, though, to be fair, it's been a good two weeks for Natasha Grimshaw. You know, she's yeah. rightly said, you know, went away, went deep down in the Champion of Champions singles uh, last week. And uh, in here again, semi-finals. Yeah, well, just a quick squiz through the... Um, yeah, the, the triples and the fours there, some names keep coming up. Um, Tanya Wheeler's name keeps coming yeah, up. Yeah, well, the, uh, the, the, the champion now, the the uh, first singles titles. Uh, Martin Burr, probably, apart from centre titles, that's a probably, oh, will be the first national well, title, I, wasn't you it? Know, I said, I remember I might have said to you, and I remember, I think it was 21-3 at, um, at Berenport, Nikankovic defeated Frank Sigvestan of Ekadahuna. All right. Um, that was a long time. That was a, <laughs> that was a long time ago. Certainly is. Yeah, Frank Sigvestan of Ekadahuna. Here's Ashton now on the on the mat. Do to see if you can update. On the mat, I think. He's just going for the kill again. Is he is? He's going for the kill. You're oh. going for something. Oh. Yeah. Got the ball. Well, he's. Two it is. Picked yeah. up a couple. 18 14 now. 18 14 as we well, finish. We'll have to call for the green keeper to get the bucket of sand out. That yeah. thing bounced about four it, times before it got the running surface. Hit, well, it hit, it hit, the, the, hit, fifth, the, target, hit the fifth green and the ninth green on the way through. <laughs> 18 12. And we've now. I was hoping he was going to He was obviously hoping he was going to miss. I just hear through the, uh, through the yeah. bikes there. And as you said, no time limit, and that's twice I've remembered it now. And going for the shorter ends here is Rob Ashton, obviously, so he can hit it as we uh, come to end 17 of 18. And just to confirm to you that the defending champions... We might be able to get uh, Tamara to zone in on that score on to the right of the um, Somerset. Uh... That game over... Let's see whether we can get All to right. Well, we've got Crash around there at the moment. He's having a look for us. He'll be back. So just to confirm that the defending champion men's combination of the Carlton Cornwall Club and Auckland, Nave Selby, Skipping and James William leading, have made their way through to uh, a second consecutive final after defeating the uh, Hawks Bay combination of Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy. And, you know, when you think about it... Uh, Steve, you know, who knows? We don't know who they're going to play in the final. No one knows who, who's, what happens in finals. But you know they've managed, they've beaten Dean Drummond twice, and then they beat John O'Shea this morning. Yep. They've come certainly they've come through the tough side. They have, and this, this so did, yeah. Drummond had a horror draw. Oh, really. he absolutely. Had, he had three top qualifying teams was a qualifying. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay. Wayne Coleman opened up with a pretty good handy start. And Owen Bennett literally finished just slightly jack-high, as indicated by Murray Wilson. 
Rob will be just looking to manage it down. Two twos, extra end, win yeah. that. Yeah. Anything else is a bonus. So here's Coleman again. Uh, just going to fall outside. On that one. <laughs> uh, Rob's uh, I think that's, not happy. I think we know what happened there when he got the back of the bowl, turned it around the corner. Yeah. So Owen Bennett now trying to get another bowl on the head for his skip. Murray Wilson. And he, ah, that's well played. Good home. Good home. Well, it might be a couple of feet heavy, at, which, it should, which it is, but what a great spot to finish on that backhand side. Coleman with his third bowl, holding shot. I think he's holding shot with the front line bowl. This bowl it's, of Wayne Coleman's is just coming pretty good, getting get onto his own. Oh, it's, it's definitely shot. That's definitely shot. But there's, there now comes the, uh, the, the value of that last bowl. Yep. Uh, of Owen Bennett's where he can play down just on the draw weight and try and get Come on, to Murray, the, get out of the road. Jack. Come, miss Murry, you got to move, move, please. Trying to get to the jack. It's going to be... Right, just a bit heavy. That shot's certainly there, though, uh, Stephen, isn't it? Yeah. just... Well, even a touch to cut it down to one is... Yeah, well, it's, it's hard to sort of get that depth perception on this. It's um, the way Rob reacted when he turned it yeah, round, which yeah. is tend to suggest that uh, There was a uh, look of anguish, wasn't there? <laughs> so lucky, yeah. You're lucky we couldn't see what he thinks, I think. <laughs> Here is Rob Ashton now. Yeah, Out on that wider draw line, trying to get that back cover. I think he's trying to draw the shot there and get... The options of both clapping it on is a good bowl from Ashton and draws just in behind the jack. Well played. Okay, so uh, just uh, been updated by, um, by uh, Crash, Wanganui, 17-11. It's all over there. So the Wanganui combination will be playing, um, be playing uh, Joe. So that should be an outstanding final. So not up is uh, Murray So that's Wilson. Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke of Wanganui will be playing Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond. So we're in for a treat. So I just had a reminder to me, and presumably talking about Kelvin Scott, uh, who is another one of the top players who has won, uh, he's won nine intercenters with Canterbury. Yep. And hopefully tenth this year with Nelson. <laughs> And also, just c confirmed to me about the the, the lady players, um, uh, Mary, uh, Mary Watson, one of the greats, of course, uh, with uh, six uh, titles, your gold star, uh, and nine silver star uh, titles. And of course, Mary yep. Watson yeah, was, as yeah, we she know, would. yes, one one of the greats, and of course, won that the medal playing with Judy Howitt. Yep. But it's the old story, though. It would, you wouldn't lose too many fingers on a hand if. Uh, that the people have done that, so, yep. Here's something for you to a champion, champion singles. Thank you, Ian Monaghan. Mori Penfold. Yes, yeah, uh, I haven't heard from her. Won the champion and champion singles, in, he said it was in the 90s. So, uh, thank that's you for I that, Ian, Ian, Ian Monaghan. I think the last, I don't know where, the last I heard Mori Penfold was living over on the Gold Coast. Oh, okay. So... Murray Wilson now. he would be looking to cut the swelling here. He doesn't want to drop a two. Coming down, trying oh, to get looks, to the... Looks a bit ugly. Jack. Yeah. Not there's the call. Angry. And there you've got that other match there. The, the Patterson-Lloyd game it ended up 17-11. So, outstanding. So, is it two or three there to... Oh, wow. That... Uh, Closest white bowl to us at about uh, five o'clock. Maybe beating the, the, the front blue one? bowl with the black the, sticker the on. The blue one out to the front? Oh, the blue one out to the fray, out to the side at three o'clock's in, you would think. Rob's got one just in behind it, so you think it's at least two. It's interesting, though, Steve, in doing all these commentaries, the number of players of the past. Um, oh, look at this from Ashton. Look at this. Wow. What's the shot here to play? 
well, I think, down to play, down yeah. through. Well, if, got to be if, up, squeeze if through the bowls. If onto that, it's going to squeeze back to um, the back stuff that uh, they own. But it's amazing the number of ex-players and got to be played. club players who are watching and keep continuing to feed us with information of things. And, and, and that's great. It's, uh, and it's, it's wonderful to get it. Yep, absolutely. So, big bowl here for Murray Wilson. He's on the mat now trying to reach down through those bowls. He's been short with his first two. He's got to be through the counting area. He's Is coming he down on? under that. Got to needs to get on. onto his own. If he turns his own out, uh, in and, in and out. Oh, then it's fallen out. Three. Is it two or three? 18, 14. Two, I think I heard. Two. 18, 16. As we go that was in a good result. The, good result. We go into the... I thought he might have played with more weight, though, Steve. Yeah. Reach, reach through it and... And plus to give a scoring chance of moving some bowls or getting to the jack. He sort of just played with, that, well, literally just reaching weight. So as confirmed but a moment ago, it is the Wanganui ladies. Wanganui playing uh, Nelson. Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke of Wanganui will be playing Which Joe Edwards, Kay Hammond. On a, uh, thank you, Michael. Great to see you. And, uh, yes. Oh, only one. He's got an unusual way of waving at you, Kevin. He has, he has, my <laughs> former boarder. Because <laughs> when, when Michael had the job of deputy CEO of uh, New Zealand football, uh, he, 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 lived with, uh, he lived with us for... Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And, of course, I... Also had I say the pleasure I suppose the pleasure at some point of playing bowls with the, a, a tenant at, at Royal Oak and he constantly reminded me of my ability or lack of. <laughs> uh, Michael's not um, scared to let you know what he's thinking. Yeah, yeah but no, uh, he, if you're not going too good. <laughs> yeah, Michael was our boarder for about uh, twelve months and and uh, yeah. You know, and we've been friends with Mike and Jan for a number of years, and it was a great pleasure for us when they uh, won the World uh, Fours in uh, Christchurch. Oh, Christchurch, yeah. No, and, I remember that game. I was and, there. And, 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 Down uh, the road, Rob. Plenty room for you, Owen. And Mike's daughter was down. Kate was down to watch Dad, and we all had the pleasure of going out to with Jan, the, uh, the Kernahans are going, all going out for dinner, oh, yeah. for a celebration of... Um, Actually, if you want to uh, see a, a, an outstanding case of game and player management, Kearney turned on a masterclass. Um, to be fair, the other... Uh, Ali Forsyth played extremely well, but uh, Kearney pumped up his tyres and uh, just kept him in it, and uh, he had... Uh, Ali walking on uh, on cloud nine. No, disres no disrespect at all to Blake uh -huh. Signal and, and Mike Nagy at all. Right. But Kearney, in that I th I've said that I reckon that hey. was uh, more than one of the greatest exhibitions that I've seen of what Kearney did. Number and two. And he, he, he controlled the bowls at and he two. controlled the head and he, he was outstanding. And to me, one of the highlights of Coupe de Grave was that uh, the Australians and were um, at one stage of the game, Mark Casey had the team sort of over in a huddle. Yep. And, and, and Kearney, who's got that very nice gamesmanship, sort of walked over and said, Is everything all OK, chaps? Everything? <laughs> yep. Because that was yeah. a hot Australian side too, Case and Liam. Yeah, you know, like it, and he's a great guy too. Oh, absolutely. But he's, hey, he could play the game, but he was uh, very good off it. I think we've been lucky, really. Though, Steve, I've been fortunate to watch two of the great, what I'd say, world events of, of, of finals, and the other one being, um, the, the the Gary Lawson final, the, in two thousand and eight. 
uh, with, oh, with, stick. with an Andrew Todd and, and, and Stick and, and Richard Gervin. Bill Cornell's never played for Australia again after that final. Yep. Oh, OK. Yeah, I know. We retired. He's, he was coaching up in Queens. Queens. He was. At one stage, wasn't but he? But uh, Russell Meyer and uh, Lawson put on an absolutely master class. And we saw the, cons the motivation that was given to Richard Gervin yeah. uh, throughout that game. Gervin had been struggling a wee bit. It, um, yeah, a master class. Oh, this is going to be. Ugh. Well, 1816. You need you need something at the back. Yep. It's it's, it's whether Rob Ashton can. Well, he's capable of drawing them. I'm not saying for one moment, but he's certainly going to give himself a chance because only in the back with those two poles in, in behind. Yes, Owen uh, really needed to be up and over with that uh, bowl. Uh, but we had to, we had to evict Kearney uh, because <laughs> Raylene came, decided to move back from Wellington. All right. So we uh, had to say to Kearney, you've got to go to the camping ground. <laughs> I, I, I just can't believe you lasted 12 months <laughs> with the man. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we've been friends for a long time. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. We've, uh, well, Rob's yeah. having a fun run here, so... Yeah, well, he's looking for that. Well, well is he looking, looking for the bowl or Jack? Oh, so stand a couple of feet off the ditch there, will you please? He's got to get yeah. down into there, into that sort of that where the side of those blues, as long as he stays on the ground. Rob's played his hand now. Yep, he's only got two two left, so he's really he's really played his hand of what he's going to do. So rightly is oh. the call for the St Kilda boys where they want to get to. It's not going where I want it to go. It's not going where I want it to go, oh. but it's just a matter of how far down it comes. Oh, if it gets past here, it's okay. If it gets past here, nothing wrong with that. Yep. You can't lose the game from there. It's a two-shot possible result in the ditch. Of the, but shh, hard shot. Hard to shot. To get it through clean and follow get it through clean, with it. Absolutely. Oh, that looks a wee bit different. Looks like swinger on the forehand. This is where you need Kevin Darling. Oh, the, the greatest, <laughs> mate. The greatest weight control player, I think. And, and we've got he, to he played in such a way. He put the jack in the ditch. Hit the blue ball pop the back bowl out he, uh, and sit and stay. And we've got to remember that when Kevin Darling was at his best, you know, we were playing on greens 18, 19 seconds, uh, the big drawing bowls. Yep. Um, he used to play with those uh, size three super grips. And uh, he could draw them. He, You never knew what he was going to do. He knew what he was going to do. Yeah. So, okay, Rob's fun running again. He's a bit closer, isn't he? Closer. Needs clean through the hole. Gets the front. Ah, now it changes. Uh. Now it changes. That's two. Oh, they still reckon they've got one in the front. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I thought. I, I might be wrong, but that's what I thought. I heard um, the lead. I'm sure I've heard, that's what I thought I heard from um, Owen Bennett. He's having another look at it, remembering, of course, that Joe Edwards is through to the final. And they will play the Wanganui combination. Joe Edwards and Hammond will play Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke uh, in, the, in the final. And, of course, Leif Selby, the defending champion, and his lead, James Williams, they are already through to the final after, after they defeated Dean yep. Drummond and Murray Grassy in their semi-final. And second time in two days they've played them, no, and the fine. second time that they've got uh, a W next to their name. I yep. put in close to it. No, I want your foot in close to the kitty. Yep. <laughs> I think he's got told I want the foot my, the foot close into the kitty. I think that's what that uh, Murray Wilson's asking for. So here is Wilson. The leather cap, the beard from the St Kilda Club. Oh, he's thinking about it, he's so that's never a good sign. Gives that extra wipe. And gives it a good... He looks very intently on the mat on the backhand. Well, 
I'll wait and see here, but didn't get it away to the best. Let's let's go in real quick. Maybe we just wanted in the drink. Ooh. Well, so, charts here for Rob. No, I think. Just not too sure what it is. Talk to us, Murray. You know, that angle is deceiving, isn't it, Stephen? Because they, they... You would think he's got to just draw now and you'd move it six you'd, inches. You'd, you'd th that's, yeah, and it'll bring those other two in. So, Rob Ashton, back to the mat. 18-16 down. We're not 100% sure who's got shot. We know that Ashton needs two to get the extra end. The indication was that it was St Kilda holding one. Of course, whoever wins this... Ashton holding two. What's he playing it for? Oh, they've got oh, a bowl left. To get a three. So here it is, 18-16. Story is he's holding two on the backhand. Whoa. Whoa. That, that got a... Oh, we haven't seen that for a while. No. He used to do got, it all the time. That got Clapped the double, his own bowl double before punch. Before he let it go. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a, from the past. Which leaves it very short. Oh, that's criminal. Holding two. Need to be up. Second shot will do here for the the St Kilda team as yep. <coughs> Murray Wilson makes his way back to the mat. Gives everything, gives the beard a wipe. <laughs> yep. On the mat. The leather cap gives everything a good wipe. Certainly that shirt gets a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> On the forehand, who is going to play the defending champion, Leif Selby, in the final? Do we go to an extra end? So here is the St Kilda player on its way. Ooh, on its Ooh. way. Oh, hang on. Oh, hold, hold all tickets. Doesn't want to get that. That's the yeah. his own bowl. Turned yeah. right. Kick Played it through for shot. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure that's a shot he was really playing for, Stephen, but he was up to the head, got, in, got on, on the front of the Owen Bennett bowl and turned that in for shot. So that is the Dunedin side, the local team, the St Kilda side of Murray Wilson skipping and Owen Bennett. They have defeated Rob Ashton and Wayne Coleman of the uh, Johnsonville Club in Wellington. So the final that we'll have shortly, we will have Leif Selby, uh, skipping the defending champions with James uh, James Williams, and they'll be up against the St Kilda side, that of Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson, and in the women's final we have got Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond up against the Wanganui side of Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke. They'll be out on the green shortly. This is Kevin Hickton and Stephen Peel at finals day here at the Champion of Champion Pairs at the Hope Stadium in Dunedin. Yeah, yeah, thanks.
God's rights. Bennett and Wilson on top. Is that right? I've done the scoreboard face that way, so Shelby's on top, is he? Good afternoon and welcome now to the uh, the finals of both the men's and the women's champion and champion peers here at the Somerset National Playoffs here at the Hope Stadium in Dunedin. And the finalists that we have got in the, you'll see the board there in front of you and through to the final is the uh, St Kilda pairing of Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson. Owen Bennett leading, Murray Wilson skipping, who earlier defeated Rob Ashton and Wayne Coleman of Johnsonville and Wellington and the defending champion Leif Selby and James Williams of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland they defeated Dean Drummond and Murray Glassy and uh, that's this, uh, we've got the Selby Williams combination up against the local combination from St Kilda Owen Bennett and Murray Wilson then in the women's finals which are also getting underway we'll have that up on the screen for you in but a moment just changing the screen over <coughs> And I can tell you that the finals are just getting underway now as we speak. Of course, no time limit. 18, 18 ends, these finals are. And here we see, in, oh, that's, the, <laughs> that's the men's just going back to business, but be with you in but a moment. <laughs> We've got a lot of time, so don't worry. Of course, there's no time limit in these uh, finals. So we saw Natasha Grimshaw and Henrietta Scott up against the the Queen of the Greens, Joe Edwards, and Kay Hammond of the Nelson Club. And it was the strength of Joe Edwards, especially Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond, who overcome Natasha Grimshaw and Henrietta Scott. In the other semi-final, we had from Queenstown, uh, Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson up against the Wanganui combination of Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke. And it was the people from the River City in Wanganui ran out the winners. That's Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke. And they'll now be up against Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond. This is Kevin Hickland, and with me I've got Stephen Veal. And we'll bring you all the live action, bowl by bowl action, of this final of the Somerset National Peers here at the Hope Stadium in Dunedin. There's the screens now in front of you. The first end is underway. And it is, I see, the uh, Dunedin boys is holding up, two shots. Up the head. And Joe Edwards, you can see there, right on the jack. The, Red, maroni-coloured bowls. 
burgundy, whatever you want to colour, but that's the sort of colour they are. And so they'll be pretty easy to decipher, I think, Stephen, won't they? They certainly will. And the in the uh, opposing in, in the in the men's game, we have got with the the defending champions uh, with the with the stickers, black stickers, black stickers that they have got, and white. What's the, they they got white? Have they? They have the white the, bowl and the red bowl with the black stickers. Is that of the St Kilda? And here is now on the mat. St Kilda skip Murray Wilson, who was very impressive in the he match. Played well, wasn't he? he did in the semi-final against Rob Ashton on the played backhand. Played some bombs. Played very, very well, and here he is reaching up through the head, and you can see a late Shelby bowl there, just lower the jack, and looking to see James Williams, looking to see who's got shot. Playing with that weight, I think just about told me who's got yep. shot. And I don't think it'll alter the shot that Leif Selby's going to play very no. much. Matter of it's two. interesting talking to the uh, boys uh, that they played for, from Hastings and that. And their son, you know, his weight control was just outstanding. Yeah, it's, uh, <coughs> he's certainly, he's Mr. Consistency, isn't he? Certainly is. So we've got uh, Leslie Burke, who apparently is never short of a word, mic'd up for the ladies game. Okay, it's fine. Uh, she was the one member yesterday was, uh, we had to give a shout out to her husband to do the bloody lawns. So, uh, and I'm not sure that he did apparently. Selby, so he'd be disappointed with that bowl really. Mr. Line, which first in, that's fine. He, we, we've seen him right throughout this event. He's been very consistent and of course won this event last year as well here in Dunedin. Got the tape out on those Bowls. One white. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back to the white. So James is liking his uh, late life's bowl. One shot, buddy. Thank you. And it was one. <laughs> so you think the skip on the first end? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it must. Be. Well, we didn't yeah, see the start-off bowl, so it must right. be time to thank the skip early on. So it is a one to the defending champions, Selby and Williams. And of uh, James, who is never, ever short of a word, he's the uh, other one mic'd up. So hopefully we get a bit of chatter from the leads instead of skips. So we've screwed the scrum a bit. Oh, that's fine. He'll certainly have a bit to say as uh, the ex-greenkeeper of the Carlton Cornwall Club, now, of course, just in the oh, last few all, weeks, buddy. moved to, uh, to uh, Tauranga. And the Wanganui side, Diane Patterson, of course, a very formidable player, been around, plays a lot of ball, but was always there when the when the bells are ringing. And and the same with the lead, Leslie Burke. So here it's the, the urging on, as we know, that James William does, gets an applause from Leif Selby, just like dropping low of the jack. And very impressive in the semi final especially Murray Williams, and really playing the last end, he was heading for an extra end. Is that he was, yeah, he was two down and uh, played a classic conversion shot. We kick and follow through, played with weight. Um. So here's Williams again, out on that back end. Now, it's interesting uh, early on in this match, uh, Steve, good bowl here from James. It is just by the Very Jack good. Toucher, in fact. So we've seen a change here from the Carlton Cornwall Nation that when they played Lance Tasker and John O'Shea, they were pl playing with the Jack deep on the rink. Yeah, generally back back deeper on the rink. So uh, yeah, and it was O'Shea and Tasker who liked the the, the added the added length. Yeah. Change hand, mate. Well, the yeah, Lance pulled the the mat up generally. Kay Hammond just going through the. The hole there. So, the James on the run. On the high side. It doesn't matter if he's on the high side if he's in behind the head. No, no. Leif Selby's quite happy with it. And going by was the bowl of Owen uh, uh, Bennett just sliding through with a wee bit of weight. 
Yeah, you're just looking for the sit and stay. Catch any one of those uh, two reds on sort of flash would have been good. So Joe Edwards on the mat, scoring a two on the first end. That familiar. And this young fellow is going to have to be told uh, thank you. <laughs> Someone's just reminded him as we watch Joe Edwards drawing down towards the jacks. It's just in behind it. You would think that would be shot as we watch the late Selby bowl coming in towards the jack and a jack, hard, Selby. a jack around shot the corner pal. changes the shot Great for the shot. for this and killed her boys. That press shot up through the head's gone. Yeah. And now that front toucher from Dave Selby just forces and Murray Wilson's really just got the draw. And Doc Collis, not Stay sorry, on. it's uh, Diane. Diane Patterson just gonna drop low. So here is Murray Wilson's got the bowl out on that very good wide arc. How far will it come back? Joe Edwards now. And it's, uh, Steve, it's interesting now for people watching at home. She's done a pretty good... Oh, magnificent. Just gets through support, touches the bowl. Lay it down. Just in front of this one here. So the people sitting at home watching... This one here. If you really want to be a student and learn something about the game and delivery, well, head management, the whole thing, you've got two of them, the best you know, in the world, the absolutely out there right now. Joe Edwards, the Nelson with the women's side, and Leif Shelby with the men. You've got what I would... Well, they've both been real cha both world champions. Absolutely. Yep. No, he's an uh, outstanding bowler, is Leif. Tamara just... <laughs> making sure. <laughs> no, I was going to. No, you're not. Tomorrow, I was just making sure I was doing things right with the microphone. <laughs> and of course, a big thank you to Erica Quinn Riley, who are here with uh, Tamara, and just making sure that we can bring you all of this live bowl by by action right throughout the whole weekend. Uh, Murray Wilson endeavouring to reach up to the head. In fact, got one of his own bowls, turned it, turned it over. Um, oh, Joe, got a lovely little slide there. Got the generous the slide chairs. right to the jack, sits right, so right on top. There's the Nelson skip. The Queen of the Green is definitely New Zealand's yeah. Queen of the Green. Used to be Millie Khan, Mari Watson, but there's no doubt this is the lady who has been, her, her success and signature has been over everything in bowls in New Zealand over the last 15 years, Steve, oh, hasn't easy it? Easy that, yes, yes. <coughs> Certainly none better. So, here's Leif Selby. He's going to be under the line here. Oh, I'll keep coming. Get a piece of it. Oh, you might get lucky. Mm, might have gone a bit far, but it's all right there. No, well, not we, by the look of it. He's we, come to a good home. The good thing is, with having James mic'd up, he won't, when Leif's playing, he won't have to say a lot, because we'll get... Well, we should. <laughs> yep. James will be talking. Two shots to the Nelson side. Joe Edwards. 4-0. Four 4-0. Nil. Four nil. After... Oh, it is in two, and uh, two ends gone now. We're about to start in three, and one of the it's interesting, I suppose you could say, for both of the sides playing Joe Edwards and Leif Selby, and uh, being Murray Wilson and of course Diane Patterson, it's the pressure that those two top players can bring just by their sheer drawing and shot ability. Yeah. Good attempt here from the the Dunedin man just going by. Good effort. One to you, Selby. <laughs> that was the same as the last year. <laughs> You're not doing much, James. <laughs> so, I could oh, say... To following on from what uh, was said by James, uh, yeah, James William, it is, it's, it's uh, Leif Selby too, and um, <coughs> Murray Wilson... Still to well, early days, nil for Joe Edwards, four nil as we play in three. And it's great, really, Steve, for the people of Dunedin as well here watching this afternoon to be able to firstly be here for the finals, but to watch what I would say real international class top drawing ability. Absolutely. And shot playing ability is uh, everything. Yeah, Kay Hammond's just opened up with a, a beauty. Yeah, right on the jack. 
So here's James Williams. And he's out on a good line on that backhand draw there, Steve. This isn't going to be far away. In fact, gets in behind the jack, and that's a good starting bolt. Yep. Yeah, I was talking to James, and he was just saying, you know, the way Leif plays, he's just got to throw junk around it, he says. And uh, he just let the master uh, tidy it up. So, yeah, and, um, and if you're over the head, you're a chance, aren't yep. you? You're all the time. Okay, he moves it around, absolutely. Uh, Owen there just draws lower. The jack does Owen Bennett. And we'll see the former Carlton Cornwall greenkeeper. And great to see there Karen Hema, the oh, yeah. Carlton ladies player who will be playing in the triples in the four. Still sit here watching. Lisa yeah. Bradawa, of course, as well. That's a good will, worker there from James. Who will also be in the triples and, and the fours. So they're still here, of course, because Lisa Bradawa, the partner of uh, Leif Shelby, uh, still sitting here watching. And Jared Holst, who has come down from Auckland, the, 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 the president of Carlton. And it's great to see them down here supporting their, uh, supporting their players. And there's no doubt people here from other clubs as well. And yep. you and I, uh, Steve, are getting I can, I can see in the background of Joe's game there, my good mate Pete Barron uh, with his good wife Jan. Uh, must be something exciting to get Pete out of his armchair. There can't be any races on. But he's down enjoying the beer and enjoying the bowls. Well, of course, so the Barron name is pretty, pretty synonymous with the... Yeah, it's no relation, though. Oh, it's no relation. Pete, but no. Uh, Pierre Barron, as we call him, um, stalwart of the Wakari Bowling Club. Uh, he joined there in the 80s. Um, so he's been around the around there. Absolute legend when it comes to the Bluff Oyster Tournament. Oh, great bowl there from the lead, the St Kilda lead. Owen uh, Bennett just got a turn onto the jack. And then... Really, to, uh, Steve, the, the, the six bowls played by the lead, the, the, both leads, all pretty high quality around the head, aren't they? There's pretty not, handy. There's not anything that's been sort of scrimping on green or is really grossly overweighted. They're all you know, around the head. So Selby now <clears throat> was played out of a rillip in the New South Wales. Play Attacking the bowl. And she needs that Lucky. double kiss of got the oh. foul out, and he was. <clears throat> so here's the skip. Oh, Barry's sort of, um, he's got a fidgety. Very fidgety, hasn't uh, he? Pre shot routine, hasn't he? Well, we were like, as I was reminded, I said it before. Yeah, the great Sonny Cold, one of the you know, played out at Linwood in Canterbury for a long, long time. He had a, always had a bit of a dump with his bowl. Yeah, I mean, it's too light, mate. Sonny saying to me, "Doesn't matter, son, as long as you dump them the same every time." <laughs> and uh, he coached a lot of good players as well in uh, yep, in Canterbury. Canterbury over the years. Besides being a very classy player, here's Selby as he got the weight to re reach all the way down. No, he has it. Might sit in the front of the bowl and tip into. No, it won't. A, well, not only a, 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 more than only one bowl short of weight on 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 that to yep. uh, reach to the jack. So here's the skip. Murray Joe's Wilson looking to put in a percentage bowl just round the top. Oh, look at but this uh, drawing past and around. Yeah. The, if you're it's around the jack all the time, it. Steve, that's the oh, big thing, isn't it? You know, yeah. Yeah, Kay was sort of wandering in that pocket at about 7 o'clock. So, good ball coming here from the St Kilda skip. Julie applauded by his lead. Owen Bennett. Could be three. Uh, Diane just a bit wide with that one. Uh, Leif Selby, he'll endeavour to correct the, the line a wee bit and more than likely... A yard of weight. Yeah, I think he, yeah, he just needs another yard, I think, on that last line. Just the man. Oh, no, no, he's, he's not. Quick. He's going full bore at the middle. Freedom, pal. Great, Great shot, mate. It was a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Make connection into them. Got all three. Wow. <laughs> huh. 
Now, you've got to remember there was two to the side, one behind. Yeah. Drove. And he's peeled those off, missed the jack to get the other one. Beautiful. And it's got the back bowl there as well. Not that that would matter here because, you know, Murray Wilson would just be endeavouring too. Here's a great chance here for the Wanganui girls. That's Lots of good. jack around the corner. Very good. She's got at least two. So Murray Wilson. Good track was the call there from Owen Bennett. It's working its way back now towards the centre. There's a three. How three far is it going to run? How far is it going to go? Won't do. So that's 3 0. And it just said again, well played, Selby. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So at least no, I, told, I told him to, uh, you know, like, I want the score and all that. So he's doing it. Literally. Oh, he'll do, he'll, he'll do the job. He's, he'll he's do. not uh, commented on the shot. Or he'll, he'll, like he'll love it. Yeah. So, so we'll see where that was two, I think. Uh, three to um, Patterson there. It was three. Yeah. Well, well played by the Wanganui skip because came Chris through Joe that. was trying to get back into yeah, that sort got, of pocket. Got that movement through the, the port. Got Jack and Paul. And, of course, don't forget, for all you people out there watching this action today, we will be live again next week, 8 o'clock, around about 8 o'clock Friday morning from the Nainai Stadium. We'll be bringing you live action right throughout the weekend of the Somerset National Triples. Uh, good opening bowl from James. Got to the back of the jack, flicked it just out to the side. It's jack level. Owen Bennett now. On his backhand. And I presume, Steve, that these guys from St Kilda, um, that have spent a bit of time playing on this the, the, the carpet here, I imagine? I, I would imagine so. Um, as we talked earlier, the, you know, the stadium has a winter program that goes morning sessions, afternoon sessions and night sessions most yeah. days of the Yeah, that was that John Latimer was telling yeah. me that they're running uh, like three three sessions a day. Yep. And you know, like they'll be at it again tomorrow morning. Yep. So they obviously the the bowlers and others of Dunedin certainly support the stadium and thus it gets uh, plenty of uh, use which is great. Oh, it's a, yeah, we're grateful for the vision of Pat O'Day. Um, lot to thank the man for. the main driver to get this there. Keith Elwood had a lot to do with it as well. Yeah, well, they certainly have created a fantastic complex here and with a great surface. Talking to the players, I was just talking to Dean Drummond and uh, Murray Glassy after their defeat. And, you know, they were both saying to me about how good the surface was to play on. This is a great attempt here from James Williams. Not going to get to the shot, but in a fantastic spot just over the head is Kay Hammond going to get up not no quite. not quite yeah. uh, it's a very very good bowl there from uh, Owen, Owen Bennett, Bennett and took some of the trail danger away on th that yep. hand so Lowe Selby he'll be endeavouring to draw up to that Back bowl, I would imagine. The county bowl of Owen Bennett. Well, it could be three. Maybe, yes. Because yes. the other bowl sitting at Jack two. level. 4 3. Joe Edwards leading Diane Patterson of Wanganui. So here's Selby on the mat on his forehand. Endeavouring to draw to the back bowl. The counting bowl. Get out of the road, Owen, please. Mate, this is a cracker. Let's get this. Great leading, mate. <laughs> we, we didn't see it, but we see the result. <laughs> well, well <laughs> <laughs> what a bowl. <laughs> I just saw it. Did you see Owen Bennett? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Great <laughs> <laughs> bowl. It's only the fourth end. <laughs> but now, you know, the tables are turned, you know. Murray was thinking it was fun game. Yeah. At this end. So he's the way he weighed the rag at that. He's wanting uh, Murray to be playing with some weight. So 
Harry Williams now down on the the head, and it's the Wanganui side holding the shot. May hold two in a moment. Oh, great ball. Well done. Certainly two, possibly uh, more. Just whether that so back one. Murray Wilson. We'll have to. Uh, we're going to have to give this guy some help. Yeah. You got one, mate. We, well, I, I actually threatened them that I'd send Erica out to give them a bit of a, a nudge. So, Go out the other. So he looks to tighten that line up, right, but mate, your first one was yep. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well said, James. Yeah, it was pretty good. All right, Joe Edwards resting on. Still what? Two? Uh, still holding two is the uh, Whanganui side. The ladies from the River City. Now, I hope uh, our friend Sean Johnson. Yep, funnel. I hope funnel you're in. He seems to be tuned in. He's he's been a regular follower over the last yep. couple of weeks. I hope you've. Uh, the in man with 99 test caps for New Zealand. Yeah, well, I hope 99. 99. Oh, here's a great attempt here, trying to get to the shot bowl or Jack. Well played. The ball went ball. with it. <laughs> Still holding the shot, buddy. Yeah, I, 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 uh, that <laughs> sounds like Eric has got to Owen and given him the message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was an outstanding ball for Murray there as well. Just Absolutely, it was. Certainly was. If he'd caught it any other way, the double kiss could have gone anywhere. Because yep. the margin of error coming down there with the, the right control of weight yeah. to get to that result. Here's Joe Edwards looking for the jack or bulk. Well, still two down. Just was a bowl, more than a bowl wide of the target, yep. more than likely, holding two as indicated. That'll be uh, that'll be uh, Sean Johnson, probably. Yeah, ain't going off. <laughs> so here's Leif Shelby again, trying to get into the head. Look at this, going to sit on his own bowl, just a roll past, but he's got two sitting there, right on top. And uh, Sue Hodges, obviously. Uh, is watching and uh, has sent me a message. Can't quite use all the words that she's suggesting, but she wants Owen to stay away from the I camera. <laughs> oh, th uh, by the way, uh, thank you, Sue. And th uh, the message did go out. And also, Sue, thank you very, very much for the, your nice comments back to me um, after you assisted last week uh, in the singles in. Uh, Wherever that where was that Hastings, yeah, and uh, I enjoyed job. having you uh, with us for that uh, event, and uh, hope you have the chance again, Sue. And uh, thank you very much for your kind words. Joe Edwards just looks as going to nip by with a wee bit of weight. Does so, they'll change the end. It'll be two to the Wanganui side, the Diane Patterson side. They'll jump now to a five-four lead, five-four as we go to end five. It's it is the. Carlton site holding one shot here as Murray Wilson trying to reach up through the V to the head, not going to do there. so high on that side and it is the one to the Carlton Cornwall side, so it's yep. now 4-0 to Leif Shelby <laughs> <laughs> he's playing well playing well but in fairness to that you know, James is still He's getting the balls in and around the head, in around the target area, yeah. which, you know, that... Easy to add yeah, it's, when you're uh, holding. They combine very well, these two. Half a roll that way. And remembering all of these, well, the four finalists here have won. Firstly, they've won their respective club championship. They have then gone on to win their centre championship, where all of the clubs from around that region come together. They've, they've won that. They've won the regional one, so to speak, or the centre championship, and now they've come here to the national final, where the, in the women, it is, I think it was 18, 19 teams, I think, and in the men, I think it was 21 or 22. 21. 21 in, in, start, in the men. Uh, Bart got uh, nailed with COVID, so That's right. he wasn't there. <coughs> so they've won a lot of games oh, to they get to yeah, here. They could win, probably have played 10 games at their club, so they've won potentially... Up. Yep, depending on the, the old two life there. system, two whatever life they play, yeah. It's a piece that could even be more. So, yeah, opened the door, did James Williams there for Owen Bennett, draws a front toucher, well played by the St Kilda men. 
good weight we saw from uh, Williams, but he just overgreened it, and I think he's done so again. It needs to come back a long way from there, but as long as it's through the head, yeah, yeah. he's a bit. Oh, that's over. Yeah, I just heard Leif Shelby saying, it's over, mate, that's fine. So Owen Bennett quickly into his work on the backhand, drew a good shot with his first. It's going to be... Oh, he doesn't want to be short. No, he's going to be slide that's, away. That's all right there. So literally the over the short. head, but in, outside the two bowls of... Uh, the two bowls of James Williams, who will be certainly endeavouring with this bowl to get closer to that counting area it needs to hold his line here oh. and going to sit on the bowl oh there you go there he oh, goes just got that <laughs> now that's a compliment to the surface as well there uh, Steve because he only really got a draw touch onto yep. the bowl but it did enable the jack to move 15 18 inches so yep. Yeah, they're playing with heavier jacks than they do. Uh, ah, of they're, course they do as well. So they yeah. don't, don't ping out. Uh, the the up the outdoor jacks tend to um, they move a bit quicker, don't they? Away. Yep. So well played by the Carlton Cornwall lead. There you'll see it. The only camera. And Owen Bennett just going to go by. Yeah, he had a wee fun run. Had a bit of a way to win at that. Had to be under the line to get to the. To get to there, Leif Selby and James Williams, the defending champions oh. of the Somerset. Joe's looking for a bit of improvement from Kate. And I think Needs to slide in on the inside or oh. do so and fall in. Got the wee rub that uh, worked. Sending a high out to Karen Smith. Muffy, to oh. <laughs> Yeah. You'll be watching. Just make sure Bob keeps you in wine. You'll be going good. So... Here is Leif Selby on that forehand coming down to the centre line. Going to drop outside the centre line. get past that. Yeah, well, he had jack level weight. And I suppose you may have seen a bit of a challenge. So really you think he's just under the James Wilson low bowl or around it. Is it if he's in that area, it's yeah. going to be coming back towards the jack, isn't it? Murray Williams now on his backhand. Joe Edwards holding shot, as Steve rightly said on the the women's final. And Diane Patterson endeavouring to try and reach up to the Joe Edwards bowl. Doesn't look like she quite posted that one. So, okay, so what's Murray Wilson done here? Well, it depends it's how far it runs away, under that it? weight. Needs to sit on the bowl and oh. all but... All Could but sat on the inside. Away. All but all. sat on the inside of the late Selby bowl. Here's Selby now on his forehand, holding shot. Looked out of the hand to be on a wider line. It is on that wider line that we spoke about. How far is it now going to come back? Won't come back in between the bowls, which yeah. you really wanted to. Right up to here. Wait, good buddy. Well, it's coming to a reasonable hope. Obviously, James, give it a clap. So. Not far away with his first bowl was Murray Williams. He was Wilson. Wilson, sorry, my apologies. Yeah. Diane's uh, just a bit tight there with the line. So here is Murray Wilson. He's playing with more weight this time, but he might just He's get the just port. Dive the, under, is he? The unlucky port. Well. Wow. That's now opened at the clear draw up there for uh, Leif for Shelby, Leif. really, yep. hasn't it? By the look of it, it has. And there's the side bowl counting. Yeah, we've got two yeah. now, bud. Oh, that two now. I thought. Yeah, still probably there. It just shows you how deceptive that is because it's an angle, absolutely. Leif's uh, first bowl. Positive shot you heard there. We heard from Leslie. Uh, Leslie Burke the instructions. In other words, swoop down there, try and get to the jack. Uh, well, well get, the, gets the port, could get to the bowl. 
Gets the port, gets Get the, the jack, jack. Needs. To, oh. Did it go far enough? There's a bolt there. I just. So Kay's having a look with the fingers. So, <clears throat> I just wonder, Joe Edmonds, coming to have a look, is Keep there a shot? There. Is there a shot to get to that bowl? Absolutely. That, that back, that jack. It's a four shot. One over it. It's a four shot chance, isn't it? It is. To come through there, get to the bowl. Definitely one to the Carlton side, leading four nil. That's Leif Selby and James Williams, the defending champions of the champion and champion pairs up against Murray Wilson and Owen Bennett of the St Kilda Club down here in Dunedin. And Murray Wilson's gone, been up. He's had a look at the head, as is Joe Edwards. Joe Edwards making her way back. Yeah, Wilson here, he'll be, I'm pretty sure, he'll be pretty keen to draw something pretty close. He's down on the head. So, out on his, oh, gets oh, nipped the line. Oh, might, might get some luck here. Might get some luck. Might get some luck. Does. Oh, dear. 4-1. Oh, that's it. Got you take him when you get him. And here's Joe Edwards now. So, looks like she's having a crack. As she's playing for that portal, right, Stephen, to get to the she's bowl. She's close. 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 Gets oh, the jack. What the jack. Well, depends where that bowl goes or it stays up. They're kicking. I'm picking that's out. Dead. So, message from Funnel. He is enjoying the coverage. So, good man yourself. And uh, just another message from Karen Smith. She reckons she's crook. Ten to one. That is self-inflicted. <laughs> We're not saying it's Captain C. 4-1. For one now, it is Leif Selby and James Williams leading the side from St Kilda, skipped by Murray Wilson and Owen Bennett leading, and they've lengthened that jack up. So 5-4, it is Diane Patterson leading Joe Edwards. By goodness, she nearly had, Joe Edwards nearly had that clean Ooh. result to the shot bowl, didn't see Eddie. that. That was uh, yeah, it was a great result. James Williams urging his bowl on, knowing it's short. short. Now, have you had a count up here? I just want to. Oh, it's more like a it's more like a milk One, bar two, in here. Three, isn't it? four, five, six, seven, eight. Now these are healthy people. These people eight. No, oh. you can't tell me potato chips. Uh, oh, eight varieties up here. Oh. Coca-Cola, chocolates, all here on display. Oh, mate. It's just good I don't do dairy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing with all of the, the food varieties, there's plenty of flavours as well. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So going over the head there was James Williams. He went by. Great chance here, though, for Owen... Uh, <coughs> Owen oh, Bennett to put some pressure on the head. Well, we're not going to take much of that, uh, Mr. Wilson. We realise it's the final, but just helps if we can see the head. So here is just asking it to drop. Asking it to drop as James and Shirley and Oven behind the jack. Well, I'll take that. I know it's early on on the head, Stephen, but it's I about the that right end, but effectiveness of the jack, the isn't it? And really, there was ample opportunity there uh, for Owen to be able to put the pressure on. But with that last bowl of James Wilson, who had played two average bowls prior to that, but you would have heard him through the microphone asking it to drop, drop, drop. He must have that set of bowls that when you talk to them, they listen. But uh, I'd like to set <laughs> like that. Uh, good bowl coming in here for the Wanganui. So how far is it going to run? 
Five four, Diane Patterson leading Joe Edwards. Murray Williams, certainly. Wilson. Wilson. Oh, God. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to write it. how you get sometimes you get a name stuck in your mouth. I'm going to write it down in pig letters. <laughs> That's a fair effort there. Great Murray. effort. Finishes just fair effort. Just on behind the jack. It is the shot. Murray Wilson drew oh, the shot. Brilliant. That was the call there from James Williams. A well played by the St Kilda skip. Here is Selby on the back end, chasing his second New Zealand champion of champion peers title after winning last year here in Dunedin. Just eats a bit of the jack. Great shot, Selby. Just turned the jack around the corner. Brilliant. Turned it into three. And Murray Wilson will definitely have to change his hand on the forehand. But believe me, this guy can draw, as we saw in that he game against uh, Rob Ashton, well. uh, Steve, didn't he? He was, yep. he was, to me, he was the difference in the game. He was the one that, you know, five down. Remember that, yeah, that, five with that, down that crunch up, end, wasn't he? Swing. Five down and drew the shot. That's why he's in the final. Just nailed the line, but... Uh, so yes. tomorrow, I just see on her, I got on her phone. It's still a competition uh, game. There, I don't know if you saw this, Steve. You have got to count the num the colours, number of colours. That was at the bowl three five. Oh, okay. They're generally half a dozen those ones. What there was? <laughs> there was all sorts. Of <laughs> so Life Shelby really trying to apply the pressure here. Looks as though it's holding three. Going to go out on the wide wide side. Need it, want him to be inside the James Wilson bowl. Probably was the call there from James. Okay. So big big shot here for uh, Murray Wilson. Certainly he's is. Done. He's very very deliberate on the mat. Is this and killed a skip? It's on its way out of the hand on the forehand. Looks to be. On a better line, is it? Or is it a tighter line? No, it's going to depend on the weight now. Travelling through past the shot bowl, trying to get it to run and not going to quite do it. He was on line. Yeah. Just needed to have a bowl drop under that and he, he would have no. had shot. No. Oh, James, how do we check there? 5-4. No, mate, they're all still counting. All still counting. This is a big end. Big end. First bowl. Leif Selby. Moved to Jack. Put the pressure on. Joe Edwards. Joe Edwards. Getting to the front. The head. And Selby will really... He'll be determined to get another shot here. It's a different line. Needs another couple of yards of running, though. Not going to. He'll be disappointed with that. With the cut and skip. Four shots, buddy. Wow. 8-1. 8-1. That creates... Well, it's only 16 has gone, but uh, it straight away it puts the pressure. Diane Patterson trying to get past the front bowl to get a counter, not do, doing so. Having a look is our lead. Okay, he's having a... Okay, um, it possibly down to that uh, bowl just immediately behind the jack. Looking at it, you'd think it was just the one, Steve, wouldn't you? Looking, oh, there's... I think it's just one down. One down. Kay Hammond just indicating still just the one down, they think. So, Joe Edwards on the mat. That you see the stand-up, the breath, the breathe, shoulders back. Good opening bowl from... James Williams. Ames well just. Well. Joe Edwards will be disappointed in this. It's going to be under the head. That one back. And we'll run away at Jack Level and we'll leave that front bowl, the Wong and the back bowl, the Wanganui site will be shot. It's, it's, and it was a measure for the second, as Kay Hammond said, but she favoured their bowl. So here's James Wilson now with one on, and of course the bowl of, the bowl of Owen Bennett. Just went by, and this is the type of leading that really. Yeah, as a skip, you take that as a skip. Out of the week. That's what you like on the back end. Quickly into his work is Owen Bennett. 
And I think that's going to run away. Okay, one conceded uh, in the ladies there, but uh, Leslie wants uh, could be two K to uh, measure. Just looking at how one. that measure went, could be, it could be two. One it is. Well, this is good leading because it's over the head as well. Oh, that's good. That's stuff. really top class leading there. Three bowls in the triangle all around all around the jack. And Owen Bennett now you know, he's he's out on the that wider side now, coming back towards the centre line. How's the running? Looks pretty good. Trying to get down inside. Goes past. James uh, Wilson sort of gave it a kick on the way. <laughs> yeah, I think Jay, James is starting to do the riding there. <laughs> Working at Carlton Cornwall. Yeah. Too close to Ellerslie. <laughs> he gave it, the, well. Doing a bit of riding. Of course, he walks through the gate to Alexander Park. Does too. Alexander Park now, of course, that is well the home of the Blues. And also a big apartment development. It's huge there, those apartments, aren't they? Yeah, huge apartment block that's been built in there, along with shops and bars and that. And Leif Selby coming in towards that jack, going to sit in behind the jacks. Actually, it's ended up in a real good spot. Because well, it covers that other bowl, doesn't it? Well, if you lay beside the red, he's created a, a decent shelf. And it's only a one-hand it's only a one hand chance for the uh, St Kilda side, isn't it? The way how the bowls are lined up. See, there's a lady sitting behind there, an Asian lady sitting up there. I don't know who she is, but she is, that lady has been there right throughout. She's been she, watching bowl by bowl all the way. Here's a great attempt from, here's a great attempt, great attempt, more than a great attempt. Very good. Four down, move the jack. <clears throat> well, James is having a wee look. only be one light to this, mate. James only thinks it's one. Yeah, one light to that one. So Murray Wilson under. That was a brilliant ball. Murray Wilson under great pressure there, wasn't he? On the draw, came down with draw weight and uh, just got that jack movement. Six four, Diane Patterson leading Joe Edwards. James has yep, got a move. Me. Yep. See what happens. There he is. He's on the move you know, now. I don't mind that, mate. You know, you find that. You knock me in. If, really, if I was James, I'd just be saying to Lady Shelby, you play what you feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You play what you're comfortable with. <laughs> it's got that uh, feel about it. Yeah, I'll just pick the bowls up afterwards. Oh, he's playing with weight. Trying to get to a target area. Is he trying to get... Oh, right. looked like he had that shot bowl all the way. Just copped an edge. Well, it, he may be able to see it cleaner down through there now, but I still wouldn't be surprised to see him try and draw as well because just a matter of the front bowl, the, the white disc up up in front, how far you've got to get past that. I can see it's Wanganui holding the shot in the Joe Edwards, Diane Patterson game. Yeah, Wanganui, it looks like they've got a couple there. See what Kay can do. She looks a bit high. So Murray Wilson, who played a magnificent bowl with his first on his forehand. Played a magnificent bowl. And that's why I just wondered, Stephen, about that white disco up there. Just force you wide. Whether that it just forces yeah, you on the... Yeah, and I, I, and I wonder whether that's why Leif Selby feels more comfortable trying to reach up to their right. And you know for a fact that we, we know that, that Leif Selby... Playing this sort of shot, it's got that weight control in his yeah. shot repertoire. He's not going to be flying through the head if he no. makes contact, is he? You see, he's played one at that. Uh, I'm predicting something fairly similar. So here it is. It's more on the draw this time, and on the backhand, trying to reach oh, no, James's bowl here. Hard. Yeah, needed another couple of feet of weight really to get that 
turn onto the bowl, didn't he, to get it through the head. But he was certainly in the target area. Eight one, Leif Selby leading, and it is. Some, the, some I don't know if he got his got the bowl up for shot or not. And it's a Kilda side one, holding shot. One down, buddy. That was just yep. the one. Eight two, as we now move on to the eighth end. Joe Edwards, Joe Edwards just went by the jack by a couple of feet, and it'll be the sort of the Wanganui side holding a shot, leading six four as they play in, come to the end of in six. Yeah, those front two of Leslie's Burke's bowls holding. She's been relatively quiet though, hasn't she? For someone that's supposed to talk a lot. You haven't heard a word, she meant she. So Joe Edwards now you would have heard the call there from Kate Hammond. Good opening bowl here from the lead uh, from uh, Owen Bennett in behind the jack. Look at this bowl of Edwards to the jack. Great bowl, Josh. <laughs> Magnificent bowl. Got around, trailed the jack. Three down, one up. Three Easy. Down. This hand. You need to be right up to here. Well, there literally is only the draw there for the Wanganui side. After that fantastic bowl from Joe Edwards. And that's going to be well under the line. That bowl of Diane Patterson's would need a lot of luck not going to. Okay, so shot here for Joe's to look to move that jack a couple of feet before. And she'll change, obviously going to change, change hands. Hand. Yep. And that's Julie what she's doing. Here's now James Wilson trying to get down. He's struggling to find that weight line now, up unders and overs. And Joe Edwards now, as Stephen rightly said, to get a touch on the jack. Don't Any touch on the jack. Would oh, make she four, hasn't quite sent it. But we'll count. But, but we'll count. Three it is. Three. Seven, six. <laughs> and here, James there, just airing a wee bit of frustration. Yeah, it's a uh, touch on the loose side from Certainly James. Certainly is. But um, Leif there, I'm sure, can tidy it up a bit for him. And there's plenty of room, really, for the... Uh, for both skips. So here is Murray Wilson endeavouring to try and add to a good head for him. This side here. This is Not running bad, nicely is down towards the jack and will draw just lower the jack and falls over. So just to hide it, hide most of the jack from life. So here's Selby. On the backhand, trying to get down to reduce Mate. how far is it coming. It's not all bad. How far is it coming? Oh. Well, second shot anyway, surely. Two. And seven, six. Seven, six now to Joe Edwards as we play in seven of 18 of the final of the men's and women's pairs at the Somerset National 
champion of champions here in Dunedin. And down that line again is Murray Wilson. Not too bad. That's Very effort. good. It's going to sit Do on. The same. That's so, Selby on the mat, I think, trying to play if with look at searching, the searching weight underneath his own bowl. Down to the jack, underneath there, away. underneath there, underneath That's there, <laughs> underneath there to the <laughs> jack. <Back> shot. Oh. <laughs> well. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he not he he knew what, that was a shot. Oh. He was there was no second thoughts. That was that was the shot he was going to play, wasn't it? Absolutely. The the big difference uh, with his game is yeah, you know, like he's always reaching. Absolutely. Whereas, uh, New, De New Zealanders traditionally just try and dead draw that, whereas he's quite happy to rattle stuff around. And I think also, Stephen, a big lesson is there. If you can get that weight control and you get the result, the bowls or the jack, they're not going to go very far. No. No, he wasn't going to wander so, off. So he's literally drawn the shot with just yeah. you know that much you know that much weight through. His bowl continues on. But he created the opportunity with his first bowl. Oh, absolutely! To open up that left funnel the, of just left that lot, V, lots didn't of options. it? Because if he caught it, caught his bowl, he's going into the shot bowls and likely to stay around. So funnel, we know you're watching. Who, of course, played for New Zealand. Of course, Funnel would have probably played against oh, Lake, wouldn't he? I uh, just say <laughs> more than likely one, and you know, may well have one. Of course, the New Zealand peers, and and this is the not doing disrespectful, Steve, but this is the difference of what you've just said about of knowing how to play, having the up top and the ability to have get that know what weight you need. Yeah. Yeah, eight two. You leave the hit alone. No, his last ball. Well he's not playing any anymore. So he's taken the one. Another end gone. Move on. Put it in the bank. Nine two now to the Carlton Cornwall combination of James Wilson, James Williams, and Leif Selby. Of course, the defending champions who also won the champion of champion pairs down here last year. Yes, they'll be wanting to take the stadium back up to Auckland. Yes, they certainly will. Joe Edwards leading 7-6 now over Diane Patterson of Whanganui. Not sure Joe's who's... a couple down, I think. Well, yep. At least oh, one yeah, anyway. You can see, though, yeah, it's a Whanganui bowl sitting on top of the jack. She's just round that. She's good. Just Ooh. feathered the outside of the bowl. James... He's he run right up there. He's, he's certainly encouraging that bowl. And it's pretty good, really. Opening towards the jack. Going to sit just yep. a, a bowl jack low. Take that. So you can certainly put that in the bag. You'd be happy with that. Diane Patterson coming into the head now. Oh, gets a kiss. Must count, I would say. Got a clap from Leslie. Yeah, great reply here from... Uh, Owen, Owen Bennett and draws to the front of the jack when the hit the hat comes off from uh, Murray Wilson drew right on top of the jack so Williams now will be endeavouring to just he's well just if he's get, in behind that's fine just, they've just get over be, the top he'll be happy with he'll that. be more than happy it gives him a meter behind and that's Julie what's going to going to happen yep. Joe's having a fun run well Bob <clears throat> got one of them. So Owen Bennett, he certainly put that out on the wide delivery, but he's good, got a very, very good pole sitting right on top of the jet. Here's the St Kilda player. And in Dunedin, Stephen, to, to, to win a centre title in Dunedin, not being disrespectful to other centres, it is one of the challenges, isn't it? Because there's a fantastic array of players down here uh, in, in Dunedin. Uh, yep, and especially so. Not going to hold, he said. Not going to hold. Have a look at that. <laughs> Have a look at that. Great. Just got a touch on it. Moved it round. Great ball, mate. Great ball. Oh, 
Joe's uh, playing with more controlled weight this time. Trying to She's get to the front. Away. She's a jack. You'd think How that would kill. Go. She's got the kill. Second prize. If you can't get the shot, get the kill. So Owen Bennett on the attack, looking to get the split on the centre bowls. Going to get them both, which will do. It may well, that might stay alive. Do I have that move down there? We'll see. Must be alive. The boys aren't walking the jack back. No, they're not. We'll have to get those cameras around to see where that jack went to. 7-6, Joe Edwards leading Diane Patterson. And that was a kill, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yep, they're replaying the end. But careless of Joe, really, to... So, Leif Selby. Everything has been moved around. We'll see what. Here's Selby on his back end. We'll see the line in a moment. Just trying to get that camera so we can get that back. Whoa. Get in the bounds. Probably oh. not. Has to be shot. Probably, you'd think. Wow. That's out. Didn't come back into the rink. Wow. Yeah, you'd have thought, if you would, oh, I thought it was just about on a line with the jack. So it must be sitting right, right on the line. Right then. on the line. And I'm sure you'll see Lady Shelby now. He'll make the adjustment. He'll, well, and he won't even mind he doesn't get shot. He just doesn't want to put himself in a pressure predicament with his last bowl where he's well that's got to be out too then uh, by the clapping no well, they so so he must have been half a bowl outside that so here's Selby now we'll see it come into the pitch up in a moment I think run mate run Yeah, and I think quite that. I think you'd be happy. Second shot's with, good. With, with that, really didn't want it because I know there's a lot of land there to draw, but you know it's um, you know trying to be yeah. too too fancy can get you in a lot of trouble as well. He's got, well, it looks like yeah, the uh, Wilson bowls are over the head and, and James's um, bowls is short, literally a long way yeah. away. Yeah. So you've got to get something in the count there somewhere. So, you see, the Wanganui side, we just see Leslie Burt, just drawn in behind the jack. So, we'll see in but a moment, Murray Wilson. Yeah, just... He's down back did. on the mat. Here he is, this is Kilda player. <coughs> Okay, Funnel didn't play Leif at all. He was in the Glass and Kirkow era. Right. But he, he's complimenting Leif on his ability. He says he is certainly a great watch. Whoa, that was... <laughs> was he trying to play the... I don't know. He could have uh, got a kill on that. <laughs> that was a... Yeah, that was an interestingly played bowl there, I'd say, from Murray Wilson. Leif Selby making his way back to the mat. Great sportsmanship. Murray Wilson hands the bowl to his uh, opponent. And in the match next door, it is Wanganui. It is the bowl of Leslie Birkin behind the jack, which is shot 7-6 to Joe Edwards. And we just it's difficult to get the camera right to where things are on that uh, Selby match. Selby Wilson match because things have been moved considerably right out to the right out to the touch line in fact so here's Lace Selby he sort of likes this because he walked out a long way down Selby <laughs> oh, a toucher <laughs> still got it 
It's a great attempt, Stephen. <laughs> Touch it, you know. It's a great attempt. And it is the St Kilda side who are holding shop. And it's the Wanganui combination of Leslie, Leslie Burke and Dwayne Patterson holding shot. Joe Edwards on the mat now. Come down on her back end, try and rest the shot bowl. And Joe Edwards, the jack trails through the port for one. Great bowl, Joe. But again, Steve, no, just two. It, it just highlights, though, that reaching the head. Joe Edwards reaching the head. Can't move the jack if we don't get up to it. Confidence in the draw, knowing that weight control yep. of where we've got to move things to and, and backing herself on the line. Here's Diane. Patterson Come trying to leap. get up to 9-3 after 9. You would have heard, and it is. Because <laughs> yeah, I'd well, say, to be fair, Kay, you got your fingers <laughs> she wrong. did, to be fair, put them down. I thought, <laughs> wow, that's uh, uh, I think Joe just uh, see the funny side of that. <laughs> yes, Joe, you're one, you're one up, we've got that sorted. <laughs> so, the opening ball from um, Bennett trailing 9 3 as we play in 10 of 18. It's a combination of Owen Bennett leading and Murray Wilson skipping from the St Kilda Club up against the defending champions. Joe's somewhere in the zone here. Uh, she's going to draw another here. You need to take, you need to be reaching right up to here. Very good ball, Jack. Well, it's, it's a true yes. art, isn't it, to be able to, you know, Jack's been moved way off the centre line and, and I'm not, you know, look, Diane Pattis can do the same thing, but it certainly is. It's an yeah, art, and she's not not far away here. It's a fair effort. Not far away here is the Wanganui lady. Not far away here. Have a look at that. Great pole. Brilliant. She had to be two, less three down. Magnificently well, played ball. by the Wanganui player. Josh, that jack had been moved, and great bowls from both Joe Edwards and Diane Patterson. Plenty of room really here for James. He's played a loose one with his f first. Just Try a bit of... Trying to get the bowl to move all the way in. And Good yeah, bowl. we'll do so. And I heard that, you know, Murray Wilson Saint one down to that. It's just on the turn there from Owen. Probably had the weight that he needed, but not the land. So, <clears throat> James Williams trying to get another bowl. Like his first, leading 9-3. On the backhand. How's his speed? <laughs> How's his speed? Hook. Oh. He's sort of asking a lot of things. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed he's got to set a bowl. Oh, Listen what a him. wonderful bowl. That, well, needs to fall in behind to be, I'm sure. Looking for the jack, well, Murray Wilson. Just depends what weight he elects to play to get to the toucher. One yeah. would think. Yeah. He won't be short. No. Or he uh, shouldn't be short. Toucher, to be fair, Stevens on a net straight run back. We could move back as well with the jack. So here's Murray Wilson on the mat. And he'll be on the forehand, definitely looking for the jack, trailing 9-3. Joe Edwards, Diane Patterson, locked up 7-all as we play end 8 of 18. Here's the St Kilda man looking for the He's jack with or weight. shot bowls. It's going to go by on the wide side. So where does Leif Shelby go now? Uh, which James got two there. He's got to get something beating that uh, one off to the left. 
and preferably he, just in behind. And if he can beat because that he gets, around the corner by a metre, yeah. he's got a good shot back to the... Because the, the, Murray's you know. got a chance to take both those out clean uh, and lay three. So he just needs something handy, but not fattening the target. Well, Rob Perella and Nick Ankovic will say, well, I'll put the jack in the ditch. Do it first. <laughs> they would, that's... Yeah. I know it sounds double Dutch, but that was quite often how those guys of the past, that's quite often how they... And, and, and Selby wasn't oh. frightened of the jack. No. And he'll be happy that the bowl stayed up. Yep, he would have been happy just to rattle those uh, reds around and take that shelf out. So playing the 10th end here. On the mat, giving it a good swing. Is that Kane Murray. Hammond just drawn shot by the look of it. Murray Wilson still not 100% ready yet. Gives it another rub on the forehand with weight to yep. try and get to the jack. He's this is on a different line. A this line. is on a He's better get line. The get the double split. Oh. Now, did the toucher stay alive? Because the point I was going to make before, yeah, one down now, mate, so that, see, one. that is the shot, the yep. front pole. So, so like, Leif, Leif will be uh, playing something similar. Be looking to move the jack, sit the shot bowl. He certainly won't. You know, he, he knows that sort of yard to the head. He's not going to get himself into any hello. Someone must be having a wee wander around behind. A very so it's, he's playing back to the crowd, so must be someone moving. So here is Leif Selby. Take it and, there, Jerry. and earlier on, of course. Good bowl. Steve. Good bowl from Diane Patterson. Steve gave a breakdown on, of what this guy's achieved over the years. Oh. What has he achieved? What has he achieved? Shot. What has he achieved? Shot. Good stuff. Centimetres in behind the jack. Well, same shot really now for Murray Wilson. He's had, yeah, like he's had he's, two he's attempts. Got to he's got to reach it again with confidence. But great bowl there from Leif Selby. Yeah. Joe Edwards down on the head, tied up, seven all. Yeah, so Dave Patterson uh, moved the jack there. So Narrow will Joe beat. Want us to sit at yep. jack level. Not going to. Here is... Murray Wilson, not, I won't. not playing. He's not far away. He's not far away to get it clean. Well Beautiful played. Shot. You've just played one there. Magnificent <laughs> bowl from the St Kilda skip. Took his time, took some weight off it. Yep. And got that line. Leading 9-3. Black Leaf's going to just have to draw again. He can't afford to go. He can't go bang at it, can he? Uh, yeah. It's two-thirds there to Murray's. So, this could well be another shot for the Wanganui team. And it is, in fact, be shot itself. Here is Leif Selby. Joe Edwards also on the mat. Both down on the head. Joe's down a, a few, though. Hasn't got the weight this time. Has a He's got that hungry line, but not the weight. One down, 9-4. Another end gone. That's 10 ends completed. Well played. Well played by... The yeah, Murray Wilson played two magnificent bowls there. Did the what? Uh, St Kilda skip. Joe Edwards trying to rescue a situation of, I would say, well, got a, a rub into the head. One oh, anyway, I would be, say. It's got to be second shot at one worst. One. It is the one shot to the Wanganui combination. As they finish that of the eighth end. So um, Bennett on his backhand. Is Diane Patterson's bowl coming into the head now? Oh, this is a great attempt. Just needs another roll. Good opening bowl as well from Owen Bennett. Just finishing slightly jack low, but in the area. So Joe's only one down. She just looked to beat her own bowl. 
So Joe Airbeds is on the map and be on her forehand. Uh, James Wilson won't be Williams won't be happy with that bolt is under the line all the way. So he's got two to two must to be come. A movement going on. There's Joe walking off the mat too. Must be yeah, you're right, Test There must be some movement down and behind there. So here's Joe Edwards trying to reach up to what is the shop bolt or Jack. She's going to hang on. Close. Going to hang on. Close. Just going to sit on the back of the bowl. Good effort. It's only really a bowl away from getting the, the right result. Two good opening bowls from Owen Bennett. How much weight has James Williams got here as it's coming in towards the Jack? Just and and it finished. Right, Jack Lowe, the shot. You're not going to get to it there. If you come down the other way, you're either standing those or sitting that through. I've got to play a little throw, isn't there? No, play around ahead. Oh, do it. <laughs> well, I'm the boss, uh, Owen. This is where I want you to play. Okay. And well, I, I hear what Murray Wilson's saying. He, he wants to have bowls. Does, yeah. Doesn't want to play perhaps. He wants to get bowls on the head. And then you can look at it. You're going to juggle these bowls up and, you know, get your bowl over the head. It's not all bad there. No, it's not. not. A result. So here is James Williams, the Carlton Cornwall lead with the Carlton Sot leading 9-4. 9-4 is urging this bowl on to get all the way up to it. Wants to get through that port. Not going to. Lacked a metre of weight. Seven all, Joe Edwards and Diane Patterson as we play end eight of 18. And Leslie started uh, with a good one. Just lower the jack has the, the Wanganui player. No. On the mat is Murray Wilson. On his forehand. Played some again as we saw in the uh, earlier match in the semi final. Steve, he's, he's been pretty consistent, hasn't he? Certainly on, has. On, on the draw. He's been. He's playing the right shot here through his own. Absolutely. Or he can get underneath possibly to the James Williams bowl. Is he going to knock this one up as well? Well, that's all. Again, that's not all bad. He's just tightened that up to sit it through. That's the only thing. Got to get a cannon, two bowl cannon, off the two poles. Selby will play down to try and get that swoop past those front poles, down towards the jack. By goodness, this is coming in He's a pretty good spot up. here. Sits on the back bowl. Has. Brilliant. And you hear Owen Bennett rightly saying, coming to have a look, playing down to those bowls. Yes, and I don't think the uh, the forehand shot's on anymore. Kay Hammond just finishing lower the jack on this that halfway mark. As so they play the ninth end and indicated still the one shot. And hands together once again for Tamara, Erica, Quinn and Riley. A wonderful job here all day. Certainly have. So it depends what weight he's electing to play to, the, to those bowls. He certainly played it with weight under the line. You could see that and how long is it going to hold up for though. Oh, well, needs a cannon. Needs a bit of luck on the outside. No, he doesn't. Oof. And Quinn and Riley knew nothing about bowls until they got here today. Now they know everything. They know it all. Erica, of course, coming from Kent. Well, Wanaka, Wanaka, Wanaka. Well, Steve and I and others, we can't, we can't afford to live in Wanaka. So, you know. Yeah, mate, you just try and, you know, you just get onto your bowl. Lovely part of the world. Sure is. Erica, of course, working for Bowles Canterbury. 
Thanks Lorraine McLeod for allowing Erica to come down. So they've shall be been given to try and just match up his last bowl. Yeah, to draw yeah, it. He doesn't he's got it inside the zone. Hey, he's not bad here either. How's the weight coming down towards the jack? Not quite enough. A couple of rolls too short of it. Oh. So coming up to have a look at the head is Murray Wilson, the skip of the Dunedin side, the St Kilda side, trailing 9-4. And it's the way they're gesturing with their feet there, it looks like there's a cannon on. Yeah, get the yeah. inside edge of the, the bowl just in front of the jack, take the other one out, and could possibly get the trifecta. Could. Uh, get all three if he gets it right. Kay Hammond holding the shot on that, the tenth in, or ninth in, sorry, of the women's final, the Somerset National Champion of Champion Pierce, leading 8-7. I'd say one, possibly two down. Back two down in that final over there on the head at present. So here's Murray Wilson. And as Steve said, it's a matter of what weight he's going to endeavour to play to get a cannon and run through and, get, and move some of those bowls he's on its run. way on the backhand. It's on a different line to his second, but to the first bowl he played. Not a million miles away. He might get the port and get oh. nothing. Oh. Well, he was just, on target. He was. He was on target. And it just half an inch more onto that bowl and good things were going to happen. Great line, just for speed. Wow. James is checking whether it's three. It's, it's within a, you know what. <laughs> okay, it's within that. I can't hear him. Uh, it's... He said it's within that. I still reckon it's two. But so Edwards looking to add to the count. Looks like it will be. Someone thought they might have changed his hand. I don't know why he'd want to change his hand because he can. If he's got the weight to draw of line all the way down. Great effort was on line. Two have come out, 11 for at least. Two in the tape. So that's two have been taken out. Now the measure to the front bowl of the Dunedin guys. That's in. Is it? Oh. Looks like it'd be an umpire. Yeah. Uh, so, Are you <coughs> <laughs> good home there from Joe. Finished in a good spot. Yeah, yeah, Holding a couple. Oh, For sure. <coughs> no, obviously James likes his. That was, oh, uh, not so that, sure. that was the indication, wasn't it? So that, just to make sure that the umpire, if Owen Bennett's happy to do so and then go from there and see what happens. Two Two have come out. Goes around now to the James Williams, James Bolt, and umpire. Um, <laughs> thought that would. So well done. Well, Diane Patterson got a double rub <laughs> there, and would be. I would say it's Joe Edwards holding one, the Jack Level Bolt, which is what it looks like from here. So we're just having Joe a good would, look at uh, that. Be confident enough to draw up there, move the jack six inches, sit that bowl out well, for a hat full. It's worth the gamble. So umpire's out with the measure, and this umpire is. This, I've got the list, a list. Got a list here of the umpires. Jane Wilson. Jane Wilson. They do a wonderful job. The umpires are here for, from uh, the first bowl on uh, the start of play, eight o'clock or nine o'clock this morning, but eight o'clock yesterday morning and Friday morning, and they're here right throughout the, the duration 
remembering, of course, that on uh, Friday night, play went through till about 10 o'clock. Yep. And last night was around 6 or so. Yes, Joe's going to play it, is it? Oh, oh well, it rolled over with it, did the Edwards bowl. Two, mate. Two, it was to the Carlton combination. It's 11 4 now, 11 4 as we complete end 11. So it's one to Joe so far. Couple. Eleven four as we play in twelve of eighteen. No time limit in this final of the Somerset National Men's and Ladies Champion of Champion Pairs. And it, of course, our thanks to everybody here uh, at the Hope Stadium in Dunedin who have done a wonderful job. Oh, just back to you, mate. The uh, you know, the, the kitchen yep. staff, the bar yep. staff. <laughs> one down. There you go, one down. So the other bowl wasn't in. No, it wasn't. Wow. So the volunteers, of course, they've had to. They've been caught here as well. The the, the, the man who normally runs the bar, he's uh, he's visiting Captain COVID at present. So the the volunteers here at the Hope Stadium here in Dunedin uh, have all done a wonderful job right throughout the three days, along with our umpires who have been here from the first bowl right through to the last bowl, and to the caterers as well who have brought all this. <laughs> Brought all this food in for this. Yep, <laughs> this. No, the kitchen's been getting a workout. So we've got harvest snaps, pineapple chunks, cashews, cranberries. Oh. Oh, there's, there's more here than was at County Down Supermarket. Yep. So, good opening bowl from Owen Bennett, just lower the jack. It's James Williams' second bowl run. is a good attempt at time as well, urging it to run. He's really. Coaxing the ball on, just finishes lower the jack, but a good second shot in behind there. Owen Bennett now will try and get a, another ball close. 9 7, Diane Patterson now leading Joe Edwards as we play in 10 of 18. Through. In these two gold medal matches, men, of course, playing in 12 of 18. And don't forget, of course, we will be. Live next Friday morning from the 9A Bowling Club, where we'll be doing all the same again uh, for that of the triples. Men and ladies triples will be there uh, right throughout the whole weekend. And then, of course, we're back at Club Hastings. We'll be there the following week for the fours. And then we're going to hibernate for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fantastic that Bowls New Zealand for all the all the bowlers around New Zealand who've got their clubs being represented here that we're able to bring you uh, this live coverage of all four champion to champion of events. It's something, it's a first timer. Yep. And, and uh, 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 it's fantastic. Tomorrow's got a huge card on for the season. It was something like oh, 30 it's, events. It was, was a it? lot. It was a lot. Yeah, something like 30 events that uh, Bowls New Zealand will be covering. Um, so from a couple of year, couple of three years ago, mm -hmm. we're virtually nothing on TV other than BPL or something when we were in that, and yeah, the 30 events covered in a season, plus of course all the nationals, inter centre, inter club, bowls three five. There's a lot, and and also of course, yeah, the bowls New Zealand crew do some other work, uh, do some contract work from time to time for oh. um, good, for, for Auckland bowls, uh, Aotearoa bowls as well, which. Uh, um, so there's, you know, and of course we've got coming up, which will be hopefully this year. North we've got, South. We've got the big North South game, but also the Rangatahi, the secondary school bowls, um, which got sort of COVIDed out last year. Well, we'll be bringing that as well this year. And of course we've got the Inter Centre and the Inter Club finals. Well, this year's two going to be two Inter Centres, isn't it? Because the Inter Centre that didn't get completed last year, it's down to the regional finalists. That's right. So six of those, me and a woman, teams. So uh, here's Selby, disappointed on his standard for his first bowl now, trying to claw back as the second bowl, trying to get to the shot bowl, not going to. He's one down to the Owen Bennett bowl, just lower the jack, leading 11 shots to four. 
And the big thing is for the accountant guys, you know, when you score, let's say, a three, whatever it is, you know, knowing that Lave Shelby is thinking, well, if we're going to drop one, the next set is a one. Yeah. We're not going to get ourselves where the three that we've just scored, as an example, gets nullified out of... Uh, Straight away. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, Murray didn't post that one. Yeah, I don't think you'll uh, see any heroics from Lace Selby. Here he is, you can see, on the mat, on that forehand draw side, 9-7, Diane Patterson leading Joe Edwards as we play in 10 of 18. Oh, this is a different line, this bowl of Lace Selby. Got to drop, oh, get down. This is a different line. Good shooting anyway, mate. Fair effort. Well, that certainly... Makes it, it difficult it to, to uh, drop more bonus. than one, doesn't it? Yep. Murray's got to play something fairly special to get sick, uh, another shot. And he's certainly giving it a chance. It's gone it's now, gone though. Now. It's gone under the head. Here it is. One down, buddy. So, one to the, the Owen Bennett Murray Wilson combination. 11 5. 5 from the St Kilda Club here in Dunedin up against the defending champions out of Auckland, out of the Carlton Cornwall Club. James, James Williams and Leif Selby. Thirsty work, this Kev. Certainly is, and it's not. It's a non-alcoholic room here. Yep. So Owen Bennett with his first. Joe Edwards is down on the head. Trailing nine-seven. Good opening bowl Tell from the St Kilda lead, just crawling its way up towards the Joe. Joe Edwards straight away turned it back on that one. She knew that was uh, that wasn't where it was supposed to go. Holding the one shot is the Wanganui combination. So urging on. Diane's only got to get a touch on that jack to bring uh, another two or three into into play. So playing down on that backhand. Didn't see where that first James Williams ball went. Kind of gone anywhere. The gate's it's wide open away. for Owen Bennett. Not far away. Oh, not quite going to get the jack. It. Joe with last ball. And definitely, definitely down on the head is the Nelson Nelson Club, the Nelson Skip. And uh, good afternoon to all you people at the uh, Nelson Club. You'll be watching, no doubt. Joe, of course. Just, just got to make sure she's here. She gets past it, she's got shot. Not going to do so. I know all of the, the members at the Nelson Club, great hospitality there, great hosts, always look after us. You'll be in the club rooms or somewhere watching this live. And just going by is the second bowl of James. Lead for uh, James Williams, just going by. Owen Bennett now on his backhand, holding shot, lower the jack. And this bowl going to run into his own as he, as he will. Right, rides down towards the jack, to close towards the jack, and it does do on the backhand now. The, the last couple of ends, to be fair, uh, um, Stephen, Owen Bennett's put quite a bit of pressure yep. uh, off the front. He's been, <coughs> he's been pretty consistent. He certainly... Been putting the pressure on. Ah. Not sure James is. No, he's on the inside right. line. He's not on the outside line, that's for sure. And, you know. Oh, it's hanging around. Hanging around. But you know, it was lower the jack. Of course, Dean uh, Leif Selby's jack. Well, here we are playing to. It was that bowling behind of the James Williams bolt. That's where he knows if he gets out to there, to that line, he'll be coming in towards the. Yep. He'll be honing in towards the jack. He won't be taking his line, certainly, off the bowls in front. 
the county involves in front. He'll be make, otherwise, he's a danger of just pinching his green, playing to the outside of those, though. We'll make sure that he holds that green just to draw back towards the centre line to where those two shot bowls are. Harry Wilson. Just it's going to come. If it comes back now, it'll count, and it will. And that will. That would. I'd say that would count there. Um, Leif Selby just making making his way back, and I. You know, well, I'm looking directly out the window here, at the head, and I can see the two bowls, and lower the jack of the. They look. They look good in their shot and count, don't they? They do, and the Jack Level Bowl sitting out to the side there. Uh, Leif Shelby on the map. On the forehand is the Carlton Cornwall skip. Uh, and he's. This is an interesting choice of shots. Going to get the James Bowl. That's right. That's right. Oh, if That's two. That's two now. It's a result of sorts. I do think, though, you may see him revert back to that draw with his next, depending where this bowl, of course, of, of uh, Murray Wilson goes to. Now, oh, Leif's been around the, the block a few times, so I don't think he'll have a predetermined shot until... Until this has come to rest. Until this comes to rest and see what the options are. Which is going to go by. No change, mate. There it is. No change. So, yep. I think he's just looking to get onto the shot bowl with chop and lie weight and, 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 uh, and stick around. And, and play through it. Yep. There he is on that backhand. Has he got a, this one on a wider line to get down to Not the middle. shot bowl? Needs to get a result now. Oh, and he... Got the result, but didn't get it the right way. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see out the window to uh, sort of pick it there. Could now be just the one. As Steve said, a wee bit difficult to see. We can see the head from where we are here, but it's a wee bit difficult to get where the lay of the bowls actually are. And this is going to come under the head, but how far is it going to run? It's going to sit in, uh, outside the James. But, well, you could possibly say here, uh, Stephen, that the Carlton side have been let off the hook a wee bit because of it. there was uh, the two bowls of um, Leifs haven't really gone where he wanted them to do, and really. And Murray hasn't. Uh, Murray hasn't really added to it, has no. he? Which is sort of hasn't really put the pressure too greatly on the. The Carlton skip leading 11 5, 10 7 now. Diane Patterson over Joe Edwards 10 7 as we play 11 of 18. Like we'll be just trying to play through the jack here and move it a foot. Um, so he's certainly, yeah, you're right, Stephen. He's gone back to that because he can either sit the jar, sit the bowl. He's gone something. back to that draw line, but it's not going to come yeah. far enough. Yeah, well, one I heard James saying. Two it is. Eleven six. I just eleven seven. I just wonder. Still, I'm just looking near. What's the time? Battery's flat. Round four. What is it? Around four o'clock, is it? Yeah, the weight. Yeah. Green changing. Just wonder whether we're going to just starting to see that yard of pace change. Yeah. Uh, as we know, it can happen. Eleven seven. As we play in fourteen of eighteen, in this final of the men's. Somerset men's champion of champion peers. And in the women's, after playing end 11, it is Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke of the Wanganui Club who are leading Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond of the Nelson Club by 10 shots to 7. So here's Owen Bennett on the backhand. Just going to go by get on the back of that. Kay. Oops. He's got a touch on the jack level bowl on the way through. So I think the big thing now for the Lace Selby combination is, you know, we've seen the last few wins, Owen Bennett has sort of got some dominance over uh, James Williams, so we ne he needs to see Williams now. Yeah, James just needs to refine the line and wait. 
He's been just playing ducks and drakes with his he has, uh, line. He's very much so out on the, the wide wings, side the again. Sort of gone with it. With it. And you heard Lace Shelby there. The weight's good. Of course. That's you know. code for you didn't get the line right. Correct. So Owen Bennett, he's on that narrower line down towards the jack on this three quarter length head. So we're going to leave a metre literally for James Williams to come past that. Now here's Diane Patterson trying to get inside the pole. Yep, well done. Turns the pole over. Heard well done. So here's the second bowl now of James. Right. This looks better. He's really calling this one to run. And it will. Sit Good shot. In behind the jack. And that's Good where. Shot. So Owen yeah. Bennett. Oh, Joe's missed the line again. She might be heavy with that. And Owen Bennett putting that weight on. Trying so to get down that jack line. Shot. Something similar, James, required. So, okay, Diane's in the zone again. Oh, I'm going to sit right in front of the jack. Oh, great result. Well, get up. It's a great bowl and a great result. James, he certainly got the mic on. We heard that. <laughs> I certainly heard that, urging that bolt. And just for the good news of everybody, it's not raining down here today in Dunedin. It's absolutely a beautiful winter's day. Uh, we haven't been outside for a few hours, but um, it's uh, the weather the last few days, the uh, last first couple of days, been pretty inclement. But the rain's gone away, so. Actually, it was a bit, with the later start, it was a bit different coming to work uh, Correct. In, in the daylight. It was. So, Murray Wilson. Looks like Joe's on the other hand. On his forehand. Didn't like that. He heard that. Too wide. Joe Edwards. Needs to working hard to get that bowl into the head. Well, well, will fall in. That's good. That's well played. Leif Shelby now with the chance to start building that head. Holding, holding was the call to so holding two is Wanganui. And I, I'm certainly not going to question Leif Shelby, but I just oh. it's going to finish Jack level. Oh, it's got to be counting. Would say just the draw now. I heard the call from Owen um, Bennett. Said no heroics trying to get run shots. Let's draw. Yeah, he's just leaving late, late too much room. And of course, Murray Wilson, as we've seen, especially in that second game, he drew some uh, game against uh, Rob Ashton. He, said, oh, he killed him. He played outstanding. Yeah. So, how's the weight here of the bowl of Wilson? Not going to. Not good. Wait, perfect. Now there's pressure. Uh, yeah, he's got one in the shoot. Leif should. But remember, we Add saw him bonus. against Rob Ashton. Oh, five yeah. down. That's right, did too, didn't he? And drew the shot. Drew it cold. So Leif Shelby's got the bowl out on the clean wide side, the safe wide side. Calling it to hook is James Williams. Fall in, wanting it to fall, not going to fall. So on the mat is Murray Wilson on this end 14. He's a couple of three down on the head here. On the back end is the St Kilda player. Wanganui scored again, I think, in that women's match on the it's out of the hand on the back end. No. Oh, he's high. He's high, wide and handsome. Yikes. <coughs> This could be the old one in killer. Yep. That's the old uh, give yourself a foot trip. Yeah, pretty sure you're laughing, mate. There you go. Oh, pretty sure, well, sorry. Hey? The call from James was he's pretty sure Leif's the last bowl was in. Wow. In the count. That's so what. That, that's a four. 
Twelve seven. Now that that's starting to get uh, a Wanganui flavour on it. It is. Twelve ends playing in twelve, but of course you are against Joe Edwards. And so it's interesting. To the backhand goes. Lace Selby just got a turn. I heard James Wilson drop, urging the bowl, drop. saying drop. Just needs to get inside this bowl. Oh, Not going to do that. Sits the bowl yeah, up. Just a bowl wide. At least three anyway. We know we know that. Oh. So Kay Hammond. She didn't. Oh, another great opening bowl there from, from, from Leslie. Leslie. Leslie Burke, great opening bowl. And Case, whoops. So I'm sure it was three. We'll just see if we can get the camera on that scoreboard. Just it was three. There it is, fourteen seven. As we play in fifteen. Well, the the four ends to go and eight killed her boys. Seven really, this is where they need oh, another good roll, mate. two or three, two. don't they? To stay in the hunt. Yep. As long as they're getting, you know, they don't have to get them all at once. No, and, they don't. Uh, they start building their head too fat. Yeah. Uh, we know what Leif will do. He'll Absolutely. Just, he'll just wham it. So here is James uh, on the on the on the draw. This is the Carlton lead. James Williams going for back to back champion to champion peers. Absolutely. Kay Hammond's got a bit of brick here. It's coming down towards the jack. Just going to pull up low. And of course, it does cut some vision off for Joe as well, doesn't it, yeah. really? More than likely going to just slightly lower the jack was that bowl of, and, and a metre wider the head that Owen Bennett bowl On the back end now is... That's going to be my short one, was the call out of, out of the hand. Was it? Yeah, that was the call. <laughs> James Williams said, should you let it go? He said, that'll be my short one. And he's, he's right. So Edward saying to Kay Hammond, your line's beautiful. Just be over. Just be over. Play down to the port. Good attempt here from Owen Bennett as it creeps its way towards the jack. At jack yep. level, gets applause from... Murray Wilson, Kay Hammond here needs to get past these front bowls and is going to do so. There's a sterling bowl. This is a bowl of champions, that one. Oh, Absolutely up. magnificent. James Williams now oh. trying to get another bowl on the head. Doesn't want to be jack level for his skip. Might have got half a bowl jack high. Good position for the Carlton guys. Yeah, he's got shots. So. One on, one over. And... Uh Yes, this two bowl pairs isn't all bad. So Owen Bennett here, he's got a good Has bowl it? coming in here. Brilliant. Gets the jack, Brilliant. sits clean on it. Go, just hits the that jack, move it. moves it around the corner. Leif Selby. Very oh, good bowl from uh, Owen Bennett. Very good bowl. Well done, Mark. So Diane Patterson leading. Joe Edwards as we play in 12 of 18. By goodness, how far is this one coming back? Oh, it's not going to come not back quite, quite enough, back, but, but there was a great try. <coughs> Good side up. Leif Selby on the back end. Trying to get to the shot bowl. Oh, well, find sit, a sit on the shot bowl, find a friend. Oh, and not quite. Not Just quite. Just get it fat enough. Just slip by. So Joe Edwards now, she's turned her back on that one. And we'll see Diane Patterson all but got the shot with that first bowl of this, the 12th in. So here is Murray Wilson trying to get down that line to sit on the shot bowl and is going to do so. And that'll make two of it for sure. Sat on the, uh, the Carlton Cornwall bowl. Try and improve his line by a wee bit here, Selby. Diane got it. Patterson just pulled her line in a fraction. Got it and out. More weight probably than anything. Got it out on the line. Got it out on the line to the jack. the jack. 
Got it out on the line. Going to sit on the... How far has it gone? Got, got the one and a measure for two. Have the St Kilda guys. Well, now so I've got one, I think, but I, I think they're quite confident. I've got the one at least. So on the backhand is Murray Wilson, the St Kilda skip. We'll just see how, far, how wide that bowl is. And it's going to come in under the head, James Sorry, Williams. Having a look. Well, Leif Shelby's been up to ha have a look as well. James not saying anything? No. Well, I'm picking then. He's holding sharp. Not a word. <laughs> not a word. Don't want to give too much away. Not at this point, do you? So here on the back end is the impressive former world champion, Leif Selby. He's got, it, Selby. He's got it out on that safe line. Oh. Oh, won't be shot now. No. In fact, will be a couple. No, if they get that three back. <coughs> and a, a one to the Nelson side. I see Kay Hammond there. So we're at 12 8 now as we go to end 13 of 18. End 13 of 18 coming up. Leif Selby there just got the wrong side of the bowl. Oh, a bit of a change of tactics, pulling the mat up with um, Kay and Joe. Well, I suppose you know, at this try point, something try, something, something, try something different. So here's the chance for Murray Wilson on this the end fifteen to add to the hit to the count. Got it out on a good drawing line. How far is it gonna come? How far will it come? Still coming. Don't think it'll come enough. No, it won't. He'll be kicking himself for that. I'm picking gotta, gotta it. Gotta get it those bonuses. Two. See that board change in about a minute, but I'm sure it was two shots. He's supposed to tell us. He is supposed to tell us. The, we'll see that board change over in about a moment. Three. Three it was. 14 10. Picked one up and dropped one. Well, that tightens that tightens things up as we come to end 16. Really a crunch end. Yep. A good opening bowl here from Bennett, but he's left it a metre short. Yeah, Murray and Owen have got a score here. It just pushes it out. Uh, they even pick up a one. That means just, just makes two it threes to, to win. Um, just gets... Tough from there. So on the backhand is run. James Williams urging the bowl to run to the jack, urging it to get up further, urging it to get all the way up. Well, that's a pretty handy, it's a handy start. That's a handy start. Kay Hammond holding the shot there, trailing 12 8 as Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond as they play in 13 of 18. Under the head is the play, is the well, I think he was having that little. Nickel. When you go by with that weight, probably slipped out of his hand. May have, you know. I think. So the call very quickly from James said, "I'm run. getting it to run, to run all the way. You'd ideally like it to run to Jack High. Well, it's literally Jack level." Owen Bennett quickly into his work on the back ends. Got this out on a wider arc. How far? How's the weight though? How's the weight? Still coming, but I think that's not going to get all the way. Second shot. Well, fell around the bowl there. You know, it uh, just hung around, yep, didn't it? It did. So James Williams now on his backhand, holding one shot. You'll have heard. No. 
<laughs> no, he says he might get the black ball here, he but he's cutting now. He's cutting across now and will come low and fall. Well, it's a bit better than possibly he thought. But, yeah. uh, he Diane Patterson trying to sit the Ooh. outside bolt, going through fairly quickly. I'm pretty sure here, looking at the indication from Murray Wilson, he's going to try and play that split through the bowls. Yep. Pick his weight. Hang around weight. So it's a couple of yeah, yards. Yeah, you're right, Steve. Hang, hang around weight through the, through the front bowls. 14-10, the defending champions, Leif Selby and James Williams, the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland lead. Murray Wilson, who's on the mat, and Owen Bennett. And Diane Patterson of Whanganui leading Joe Edwards 12-8 as they play in 13. So here is Murray Wilson. And how far is this going to cut now? This is this perfect split, I think. Yep. Well played. Yep. Came well through. Yep. Very good. Controlled weight through the bowl. And Leif Selby knew that that shot was... He knew that that was on. That push and grab. Played with good weight. Okay, Diane Patterson. She round this. Just got tackled by Joe Shortbolt. Leif Selby now on the mat, on the forehand, as we play in 16. Down on the head, trying to get to, trying to get down to the shot bowl or it's jack. Not, not a million Selby. miles away. Is it going to hold? Yes, it will. Shot, yes, it will. Tit for tat, as they say. Anything uh, you can do? Only can thing do is that I'd say, Steve, a great shot. Absolutely a great Brilliant. shot. Just opens that clean path to the jack down through there, doesn't it, for... For uh, well, Murray James's Wilson. bowl must have went back, so I don't know how far back that is. When uh, Murray oh, played the ball, of course it would have. Yes, you're so right. So if it's still alive, you're right. It would have. Because um, so Diane Patterson again. She's not a million. She's on a good track side. here. Sits inside the bowl. Does Great sits ball. right on top of the bowl. Is the Wanganui skip? Very good. So I can't see that James Patterson bowl. James Williams bowl anywhere. No. Must have gone right out. So, Harry Williams stands on the mat, wipes the shirt down, looks to be on his forehand. It's a matter of what weight that he's going to play down through there. The, oh, he'll be on ditch weight on that. and Kilda player, you'd think you're right, Steve. He'll be right through that. On the mat, on the forehand. It's going to be with Plenty of reaching weight on its way. Oh, I question the width of that. I question the width of that. Turned the no. bowl over. Now, Ooh, and he's sharp. So, up. does Leif Selby. Oh, there's the. I'm sorry, there is the bowl there. We can see it on one of the cameras. Oh, yep. That is back there. So, does. does um, James. It's Leif Selby here trying to hide the jack. Oh. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Tuck it around the corner. You know, he's, you know, he's leaving it there. So you can play with confidence there. Move yeah, it. Tuck it. A couple just of feet. That's, yep. Because at this point of the game, one's as good as two, isn't it? Yeah. It's important that he scores. It just puts uh, scoreboard pressure on uh, Murray and not Owen. So, on the forehand, I think he's searching the back. And he is one to Wanganui, 13-8. Yep. 13-8. Well uh, and that's well just about at the number. Yep. Yeah, here's what you were just talking about. What shot do I play? What weight do I play? Yep. His well, he's got to go to, quicker now. Well, his lead's to try and draw it. Yeah. And I don't think that's what Murray Wilson has got in, in mind. 38 now, Joe Edwards trailing Diane Patterson. Joe Edwards of the Nelson Club trailing Diane Patterson of Wanganui. On the mat is Murray Wilson. Here's this 
It's backwards and forwards. Swing of the arm on the backhand. Does the same with that address. Yep. Every He's ball. He's on a better line. He's on a better one. line. He's on He's a better line. Move. He's on a better line. And how far has it gone out? One shot's the call, or is it? You generally favour the... The ditch bowl, the normally. Ditch bowl. That looked good when it left his hand, really, Steve, didn't it? That, yep. it? It always looked to be running the line to the jack as we come to the end of N16. Two to go. It is 14-10. One down is the 14-10, the defending champion. Leif Selby leading. One Leif down. Leif looks like he's got about a yard to draw a shot. So here is Selby on its way, on the forehand. We'll see. Well, we'll hear from we James go. as well. Come on, mate, run! James is talking to it. <laughs> well, um, oh, I'll have a funny little. It's a shot. He drew the shot. And James is having a measure. One shot, mate. What well up? Well, that's brilliant. absolutely brilliant. You know, Steve, how often are we sitting at the top level of play, the pressure to have to draw to the ditch in the dying stages of a match? Yeah. And for the Dunedin boys, that's a real, it's a bit of a kick, isn't it? Because he played a magnificent shot, a magnificent shot Murray Wilson played, controlled weight, ran the jack into the ditch, and uh, yeah, that's... that's it's 14, 11 looking for three with two ends to go is a lot easier to get. Oh, than, absolutely. Uh, it's, a end, it? it's a big end, isn't it? It's a big end. That'll do. Thank you. 15-10, the Carlton Cornwall boys are leading. And I know the number one supporter, Gerald Holst, is sitting out here in the club rooms. He'll be cheering them on these last couple of ends as well. They've got Lisa here as well. Yeah, Lisa, Leif. the partner of Leif Selby and Karen, Karen Hemet, of course, who will also be here, uh, well, in, sorry, in uh, Wellington, and Wellington and Napier for the fours and the triples. Uh, not one of James's better starts. Owen looks better played, but still left a bit of room. So Joe's got... Uh, Five behind, five to go. She peg it out in ones to get that extra end. So James Williams now with his run. second, urging it to run, urging it to run. Is it going to run enough? Uh, Is it going to run enough? No, it won't. So the front shot bowl is the the, the, the bowl of Owen Bennett. And with the short bowls of James... Uh, uh, Williams, this is where the the, the, the lead inside can you know, they can build a head, can't they? Yep. And, and there's another head. good bowl from Bennett over the head. Now for James, really, that last bowl is his jack. If he sits there somewhere between the jack and the bowl, it's happy days. So on its Doesn't way. To be on the jack, it would be just be criminal if he's short. On its way. Well. Were we not slow? Well, no, you take that. You take that and say thank you. The head was starting to look rough for the Carlton side as we play this, the 17th end of 18 of this final. And if James had James, just moved, move. James just went by, did Owen Bennett. You can be sure here that yeah, there's a bit of a tow rope out there required to measure up who's got what oh is there yeah I, we can just see it oh absolutely yes there is yeah, well, yes big, big so the, the, the camera in fact has given them a compliment yeah, yeah, <laughs> it looks like closer than they actually yes are. here's joe trying to get the jack got a feather two down is the nelsonian and again still back here so here is Leif selby on the mat He's got that out on that wider side. How far is this going to come all the way back? Is it how's James that? is uh, trying to wave it in? It's not going to. No, just out on the high side, but certainly beats that uh, 
Another ball. Yep, another great ball. Yes, Eric. Oh, those Wanganui girls are going very, very well. 13 8. Yep. 13 8, as we see Murray Wilson certainly trying to get a counter in there for the St Kilda side and will do so. Sits just underneath the jack. That's a good bolt. So here. So Joe's looking to. She needs to catch. Oh, oh just missed it. Life Selby endeavouring to get to. Second shot. Come back here. He's not bad. James he's not is bad. riding this one he's on the way through. Just drawn second shot. Second sure. shot. And second shot. Just and that up on his uh, forehand. So won't be unhappy with that. We can see James and Leith out the window. <laughs> James is not looking at anything. This is another one for the Wanganui side. Well, this is a big end now. Oh, yeah. This is a huge in. The holding three. Joe Edwards, the star of the green. See, Owen Bennett encouraging. Trying to play through the bowls. We're on the back on the split screen. We've got all sorts of screens here at this stage of the afternoon. Oh, no. Just lost it. So, Joe's got to hang on. Looked light on the way down. So, still on the mat is Murray Wilson. So, it's uh, one. I think it's three, isn't it? Three. Three. Whoa. 16 8. That's the mini break. As we play in 15. You're Ryan right, Stephen. Patterson will be. Uh, mini break. Diane will be happy with that as she can start uh, adding play. Played to the board. So Murray Wilson now endeavouring to get another bowl, or he's playing up to the bowls. Is he trying to get to the front bowl? Feathered pass, didn't touch the Selby bowl. So it'll still be just the one that Leif Selby has been up to have a look. Leif will be just trying to get on. He'll be happy with one down, but he can still make shot out of it. Just get onto the back of his own bowl with a foot of weight, push well, it into the jack. It will just be on the draw. Yep. No, no, no heroics here. So I'm sure we're playing in. in defender four. In 16, the men's. I've just lost the end numbers. I think it's in 16. I think that this we're pretty much this is the 17th end. So out on the wider side is. Here he comes. Lay Selby. And he's uh, happy to get another right. bowl in on the head to try and reduce any. That cuts uh, Murray's options down a bit. So, looking at what's on. And a gr another good opening oh. bowl from from uh, Leslie from Burke, Burke, right on top of the, uh, the jack. And I see Joe Edwards applauded that as well. So let's see here what Murray Wilson can do. Definitely holding that shot, holding the one. And where's he going to go to with this, Will Wilson? Of course, Selby's still got a bowl left, has he not? No, he's, no, he's played he's all his... All sorry, three. my apologies. So Murray Wilson now trying to add to the count. Stevens out there to have a look. Here he is on the mat, the St Kilda player with the leather cap, the beard, and he's certainly played some great bowls in the last couple of games that we've been watching, trying to get the turnover on the bowl. Did he get enough? One it is, just the one. Two ends to go. And we're playing in 17, and that score is. There it is, 15 10. I presume that's gone up, 15 10. And we're moving now to the. There it is. Oh. No, James is on the move. We're, so we're playing 17 now, is that correct? Playing 17. 17 now. Oh, 15 11 is the one, 15 11. 
four shot game as we play in 17 in the women's final it is the Diane Patterson skip side up against Joe Edwards of Nelson and it is Diane Patterson as we play in 15 of 18 holding shot and leading 16 Joni, shots Joni to eight two twos that's so Jack's been delivered in this men's final Owen Bennett on the mat we playing on the back end looking at something here he is now on the mat in the all black the St Kilda colours or oh, the St Kilda man well it's on its way look narrow out of the hand to me how far is it going to it'll go now it'll swoop now it just depends how much weight that it's got and we'll swoop a couple of metres Kate yeah. Hammond's looking like she's playing Kate Hammond's ball. looking for bowl or jack here well played by the Nelson player we'll make definitely one of it here's James Williams who has been struggling the last few ends trying to get up to the jack how far will it run needs to run another metre and is shot, but so Murray Wilson putting his foot out there on the backhand side for his lead. Owen Bennett from the St Kilda Club endeavouring to get past the James Williams bowl and draw shot. It's on a good line on the way down. This looks pretty handy coming down towards the jack now. That's the Going to get flat to the jack, is it? Yes, it well. That's the boss. So it's just lower the jack. James just needs to be just over. That's what Leif's uh, indicating. 15-11. It is to Selby and, and, and James Williams. So you watch this, the second bowl on this 17th end. Nice. Urging the bowl to run. <laughs> well, urging the bowl to run. Urging it to get there. Well, it's pretty handy, really. It's handy, but he could have done with another foot. Uh, just takes that. So we're drawing down to a close up. here at the Somerset National Champion to Champion Piers here at the Hope Stadium in Dunedin. And once again, big thank you to Tamara, Erica, Quinn and Riley who are here bringing you, doing all the work, bringing you this live coverage. And of course, Erica and uh, Tamara have been three days doing this along with the two hard workers from Bowles, New Zealand. Steve and Crush Lander, they've been doing a sterling job over the last three days. Just come behind, just come to my right round. James is was under the line, badly under the line. Well, he might be lucky. He might get lucky, like he might get real lucky. And now there's two balls sitting in around the head as we play in 17. You'll take that. Well, is it, it's a difficult to get a number on it, Steve, isn't it, really? Yep. Yeah, Murray's got to draw pretty close to... Uh, he's got to get two, minimum. Well, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see this, this, the scoreboard. They scored a four, but the rest would have been pretty much singles, really. Yep. Two, perhaps a two, but they, they did score the four. So... Here's the wipe down from this and killed it. Skip gives the heave, gives the deep breath. Certainly gets the bolt out on the, gives it a few swings on the back end. It's the St Kilda Skip holding shot as we play in 17. Trailing 15, 11 is the St Kilda combination. Gonna hold. Yep. Is it going to hold? Yes. Looks like it's, it's going to hold, but is it going to go edge. by on the jack? Well, well, it's out when it looks like it's gone out to one of Owen's bowls. It has. It has. One up to one up. I heard two then from so Selby making his way back to the mat. One on, one out. It's okay. Stands on the mat looking at where he's got to be. Very deliberate draw player is Selby. Leif Selby, former Australian player, on the forehand. There's, you can see the bowl, locked right on top of the jack. Here's that Leif Selby bowl. 
keep coming as the call from James. And one, I would say. Yeah, we just can't quite see. No one's done it, but I think it's just the one. 15-11, Carlton leading as we play in 17. <clears throat> You'll see we in, in but a moment. So here is with his second ball on the 17th end. Murray Wilson he moved that jack with his first. So he was just got tangled up. Is it one? Is it two? To the Nelson girls. Out comes, out comes the measure. And you can see there's the ball. Of that's the Owen Bennett bowl locked right on top of the jack. This is a pretty good bowl coming here. This is a pretty good bowl here, but oh, well, oh, Life Shelby, I would say, <laughs> coming to have a look. <laughs> One, you, I you just saw. Just saw a, <laughs> James is looking a bit uh, ragged, isn't he? Yeah, I just saw a one go up. So Selby on the mat, taking his time, thinking. Maybe just visualising the shot. Visualising where Edwards. I am. Wants to go. Someone moved. One to Joe Edwards. There's. We moved in 15, completed. Here is Leif Shelby on the mat, leading 15 to 11, is the defending champion from the Carlton Cornwall Club. Going for the, dr the, the draw here. How's this line coming down to the jack? How is this line Looks coming to, to the jack? On, How Anything is this over. coming to the jack? Anything Bye. over is going to be good. And that's shot. Well done. <laughs> Makes it look easy, doesn't it? Yeah, that's so. Oh. Jack in the ditch. Two is well, it? he's got a chance to uh, drain it uh, and uh, make a count. However, Stephen, if he misses it, you can just about say it's game oh, over. It's gone, isn't it? Because we he jumped to sixteen eleven, played the last the five up. Yeah, absolutely. So Murray's got to uh, make contact. This is decides a lot in this context yep. of this final, this bowl. And here he is on the mat, the skip, the St Kilda skip. Who's that? Murray Wilson. And the leather cap and the beard. So it's three or four swings of the bowl on the forehand. We can be playing down with weight to get to where that Selby bowl, which is shot. On its way. It's out on that wider side, but is it going to come back? Is it going to come all the way back? He's trying hard, trying hard. Uh, it's going to go by. That's uh, just about. Thank you, War Boys. Thank you, Linesman. I think it is. Well, he's not playing his last bowl, so. There it is. It's all over. Shake hands, hands time. And it is the defending champion of the Carlton Cornwall Club, James Williams leading. And uh, uh, Leif Shelby skipping up against the side from the St Kilda Club here in Dunedin with Owen Bennett leading and Murray Wilson uh, skipping. They've had a magnificent tour and they've played so well. But really, when we think about it, look at the whole thing though, uh, uh, Steve. Leif Selvey has just stamped class, hasn't he, all over Absolutely. this event. That was the word I was thinking we, we, of, his uh, class we, act. We've seen it in consecutive big ends. Oh, that mate. Just then we saw it, and numerous other times. If we go right back to yesterday, in the Drummond match yesterday, yeah. the, the game, this, the first game this morning, you know, the game the game against, <laughs> the, the what, the crunch game against Lance Tusker really and John O'Shea, sure, magnificent game of bowls. Yep. But... He stamped his class all over it. Oh, he did, and uh, made it look easy. And uh, you know, he's only a part-time player. And he, he certainly is. Up with that sort of form. He certainly is. Brilliant. And Absolutely back to back champions. So it's a fantastic effort by the Carlton boys. Congratulations, James um, and Leif. It's a brilliant effort, team. So.
Well done. Well done, Carlton. Oh, another, another title another to, the, uh, the to the to the Tiger jacket. <laughs> the, the the famous Carlton the Carlton corner or the blazer, which is synonymous around the sport. Looks like you just came out of jail. That's <laughs> lion the lion striped <laughs> blazer, yep. but they've certainly over the years, uh, uh, Steve, had a magnificent record, haven't they? Over the, oh, uh, they have at all levels, uh, all sorts of events, and have always been. And Good really, if there. we look at this women's pairs game, if we take Leslie Burke and, and the combination along with Diane Patterson, but Leslie Burke has been Les, pretty Les, impressive. Leslie's been uh, off, on top of it. Uh, uh, certainly off the front, hasn't she? Yeah. Really, yeah, you know, she's generally got something in the area, more than one, you know, a lot she of the time. Certainly has, so. and, putting, and putting pressure all the way on yep. the... Uh, to be fair, uh, Diane's uh, played some bombs as well, so... So here's now Joe Edwards on the mat, trailing 16-9 as we, we're we playing in 15. And, and Joe is one of those players that she knows that if I don't score, this or next, there's not much sense in staying out here. No, no, it's... Um... Going by is Joe Edwards. Mike Kernan just came in here for a feed. Yeah, he's pinching all the lollies. How many lollies do you reckon did Mike Kernan take then? Too many? Oh, <laughs> Kearney. I, 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 I hope either... Did they get a sweet allocation in, in Birmingham? They get sort of a confectionery allowance. No, oh, but Kernan's just a thief. <laughs> he just comes and pinches them. He doesn't buy them himself. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> no, the last time he bought them, there was uh, pennies. Oh, it's a bit like that when it's his turn to buy a beer. <laughs> we love you, Kenny. On the Absolutely forehand right. is Joe Very Edwards. He's one of the great players and a really good guy with it. Joe Edwards trying to get to the jack Just here. Has it got enough? That. It's going to fall short of it. We're certainly Well, it's opened the line up on the jack, I suppose you could say, oh. through the two bowls. Needs to be perfect. Needs to be perfect, but the... The thing is, the Wanganui girls have just kept getting those just bowls. steady. Just you steady, know, in around think, the head the whole game. I think overly spectacular at times, but just nagging around. Come on, and, Leslie. Thank you. Know, you. The, uh, without doubt, the, the sort of the, the, the Nelson side, uh, would, uh, you know, we know the class of this side, and the Wanganui girls have just really got out and said, let's have a game of bowls. We'll do what we not like doing drawing shots, yeah. and that's what they've duly done um, consistently, and Joe's been under pressure to play not at all that uh, Kay Hammond has played uh, badly, not at all, but it's just the pressure that's been continuously put on, mainly by uh, Leslie Burke, but Diane Patterson's complimented some big shots that it wouldn't have needed. Here's Joe Edwards now, trying to get down through the port, looking to get to the jack. Will it get Not through clean? Bad, it's on a good line to the jack. Great. It's on a good line to the Joe jack. Edwards. But there's a cut, Wanganui bowl ah. sitting at the back. Well, she played it perfectly. Wouldn't that rip your nighty? Yep. It's a one. It's gracious. It's a one. And but to lock it up on that bowl. Well, unlucky. lock completely right on top, doesn't it? So just to confirm again that the... The men's peers finalist, uh, the men's winner has been found and it is the defending champions out of the Carlton Cornwall Club in Auckland. Really deserved winners, their consistency right throughout the event. Sure, they lost a the game in section play to Rob Ashton, but really from then on, um, Stephen, they have been a class show, haven't they? They certainly the have The combination been. of Leif Selby and, uh, and, and James Williams. So... Yeah, and hearty congratulations to them. They didn't get it easy, and uh, they, they had to play the teams to get past them. Well, you had, you know, and you, uh, to be fair, the other impressive player has been uh, Murray Wilson, who the, from the St Kilda club, because really he played the determining bowl that I think really got them into the final against Rob Ashton when oh, he was yeah. five down and drew the shot, and and throughout the semi final and final, he certainly has drawn. Uh, a num he, he drew a number of shots, but you know James Williams had a few rough ends. Yep. Uh, but uh, he did get a lot, lot of one bowl heads where he, he got the very good bowl in, the one shot in there. 
Uh, but really, it was the and, dominance. Yeah, Murray, you know, and to get past Dennis Brewster and Phil Austin from Hallswell in the first round. Who have been are, going really good. Yeah, you know, um, so they've obviously been playing well. They came um, from behind they, in that game. Uh, oh, it got locked up at 12 all oh, up it, to 14 okay. ends, 10, 11. It was a close one, but then they, I think they ran away with it the last uh, just a little bit. So, yeah. So good luck to them. You know, to all you all supporters out there as we play N17 in this Joe Edwards match, to all you law followers who have been watching, don't forget, of course, that we will be back next weekend live from the Nine-Eye Complex where we'll be bringing you the men's and women Somerset National Champion and Champion Triples. And we'll be live, uh, we'll be live from uh, early Friday morning right through to the final to be played... Uh, on, on Sunday. And Steve and I will certainly be there. Crash will certainly be there. Tamara will be yeah. there. And who else will have, Well, we'll find some other people as well. well. Maybe Eric might want to come back. Yeah, we, that's us. it. Yeah. Of course you're invited. <laughs> Just got to someone write a check out. Yeah. <laughs> Crash, invite Erica up. Mate. There, there, there we go. Do we get a nod? Yeah. <laughs> now, Erica wants to come to Wellington, so yeah. can you arrange that? <laughs> so on the forehand now is Kay Hammond holding the shot. First bowl of Leslie Burks just drifted by, and you know, Wanganui hold on to this. Uh, it's a it's a great achievement by the oh, Wanganui team, absolutely. isn't it? You know, uh, it has, and they've drawn. Consistently, Kay Hammond just running slightly lower the jack. Oh, there's <laughs> Leslie Burke making her decision. I'm going to try this hand. This is what you're going to do. Yeah, well, she's a bit bossy at home, according to her husband, so there's no doubt. And Diane and Leslie had a good win this morning against uh, Bridget Kitchen and Sandra Cleland, Timaru Town and Country. And I think they must have. I think they had a reasonably tough draw too. I can't remember who they played in the second, but here is Leslie Burke playing the hand now that Diane Patterson who wanted her to play and sits on the bowl. It's another bowl on the head. Just got a note from uh, Steve Smith. The backhand expert from uh, the Carmo Club. Uh, he's telling me he reckons he's crook as crook as with the flu. Unfortunately for him, Dusty's crook as well, and they're both in bed. But he assures me it's not the same bed. I'm well, not sure, Smithy. Well, uh, just get, make sure you're right. Well, for, get well. Make sure you're right for next week, yeah, uh, mate. Smithy. That's to what you've got to do. Three lovely bowls here from. Yeah, great. Three balls from, from the, the lead here. Joe Ebbage's lead from Kay Hammond. Right on top. Three in it. The triangular three. Congratulations to James Williams and Leif Selby of the Carlton Cornwall Club who had gone back-to-back -back in the New Zealand champion of champion pairs. And if you think about that, uh, Steve, you know, two years in a row you've won your club uh, yeah, at event Carlton. at Carlton. All right. <laughs> That's no then easy. Two years in a row, you've won the Auckland champion, the uh, Auckland champion and champions. I must say, though, in the final, I saw the final, and they played Danny Delaney, and, oh, a, right. and a and a player to put you, just put a ring around a young fella, only about 15 years of age, Dave Dave Motu, who actually skipped, and Danny Delaney led, and he was certainly Dave Motu was very impressive, very impressive. Oh. Uh, right throughout, and uh, he had played, played with a lot of maturity, great s shot selection, and he, uh, keep an eye on him. I actually was talking to Mike Kernan uh, a few a couple of weeks ago after the Auckland Champion Champion Pairs, and I, I mentioned to Mike, this boy's worth having a this look at. This boy's worth having a look at, and make sure, for example, that he's at the Birdside under 26 singles and some other events whereby, you know, he's a, a He's a he's a classy classy act. Oh, it's good. So to beat them all two years in a row is it's a pretty it's a, it's a mean achievement, isn't it? Mean achievement, but uh, 
And you got a glass of lay selfie on your team. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good, isn't he? But I, in saying that, Steve, it's fit. It's it's um it's fantastic to commentate and watch a game when you've got players with that ability um, out there showing their wares because not only is it good for the people at home viewing, but it's certainly for us sitting here doing the commentary and watching. Uh, it's also equally as pleasing to watch, it's you know, to watch bowls and commentate on bowls of the highest standard, which we have seen from Leif Selby. Oh, it's, uh, he's put on a master class, uh, absolute class act all the way. So Joe Edwards, caught is holding three as we play in 17. Trying to get down to this bowl in behind the head there to make four of it. Urging it on, urging it on, urging it on. Going to fall outside the bowl, not inside. Yep, just to here. And the so big, this one here. well, here for Diane Patterson is a, a smile from Joe Edwards. She knew that she was close to making it count. Diane Patterson here will be going for second shot. That's the go for her. Needs to get past the front. Well, or through the port to the bowls. She's uh, played this well, well, isn't she? Second well shot. Done. Second well shot. That <coughs> certainly near. Well. Joe Evans needs to... Been on a great run, uh, these guys, Diane and Leslie Burke, just had a wee look. They lost it. They've been in post-section play from game one, round really? one. Really? Yep. So, next loss, they were out. <laughs> and uh, they lost to Queenstown 15-14 and then beat Omaru, Victoria and Outram to qualify. And uh, the rest Two more wins today. is history. So, in post-section play on after game one, and here they are. Yep. One bowl away, really, from possibly being the Somerset National Women's Champion and Champion Peers winners. Joe Edwards trying to work out a way how she can get down to that, but yeah, that second shot bowl. About square on, because she's likely, if she catches it, she's going to catch her own bowl. And, of course, wanting to score a three or a four to force that, to play the last end, I should say. Oh, well, she's got to score two to um, to be beyond be the a, you know, point of no, re point in, in of no return. So we'll know after this poll whether we're playing a, a final end or whether we have found some champions out of Wanganui. So just... Yep, well, Joe's so made up a mind. Joe's it made, looks like she she's going to try and come under that short uh, pinky coloured bowl. With weight, she's probably going to have to play it with more weight than she really yeah, would like. Yeah, more than likely to hold up through that. So here is she, Joe Edwards. She might be on the backhand, is it? It's with weight. It's with here weight. She's having a fun run. It's with weight. Oh, oh. oh. oh well. Shake hands That's time. It. There well it is. Done. It's all over. Well Got a feather off the bowl. Did Joe Edwards didn't get it? Didn't get into the head. And the winners of the Somerset National Women's uh, Final is the Wanganui combination of Diane Patterson skipping with Leslie Burke off the front from the Wanganui Club. They have won the New Zealand title. Runners up for the Nelson Club, the Nelson Centre, is Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond. You see the Wanganui girls out there hugging, they're having a hug because that's a magnificent win, really, Steve, isn't oh, it, for the, uh, the, the Wanganui girls. Fantastic effort by them right throughout. And, of course, in the men, we've seen back-to-back -back Leif Selby and James Williams defeat Murray Wilson and Owen Bennett of St Kilda. And we've seen now great two finals, great day of bowls. And, uh, Steve, we now just move on to Wellington, Wellington next weekend, and we'll be there live again. Thank you to Erica, Tamara, uh, Quinn and Riley, who have done all this work bringing you this coverage. Crap. And we're going to the presentation in but a moment. But this is Kevin Hickland signing off, and we'll be with you next week from the 9 IC Club in Wellington.
Thanks, thanks, Jared. Thank you. Well said, Jared. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. your guys mark yeah yeah i just took it off thank you congratulations thank you it's probably easier here with my heart beating <laughs> Oh, up here. Uh, one with the camera in her hand. One with the camera, uh, the phone in her hand. Oh, no, I've got that one. Is that one? Yeah. James. Yeah. James is. Can you just start with that? He's, he's leaning on the bar. Look at him now. I was just one finger. <laughs> He's pointing at me. Yeah, no problem. Sorry, No, just a bit steady, weren't they? Great. Just nothing spectacular, but just.
Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome again to our final throws of the Hopes Bowls Dunedin Stadium Somerset Champion of Champion Pairs event. Thank you very much for your attendance over the last three days and uh, for uh, being part of this fantastic event. My name's Chris Lander. To my left, Erica Ayres, Steve Beale, both of my colleagues, obviously, and Vice President of the Stadium, John Latimer, who is standing in for our own president, who struck down with COVID in Christchurch last week. Um, so, John, thank you for uh, not only for standing in here and doing this job for Anne, uh, who's obviously sent her congratulations to the winners as well, uh, but also thank you very much for your efforts over the last few days. Um, before we get to the presentations, just to say to John that uh, you've got a large team of workers here. All of them have done a fantastic job. Uh, anything we've wanted, we've got almost, you know, before we asked for it. And uh, we just can't thank you enough. It's a wonderful venue for us to come to and host. And I'm sure on behalf of Bowls New Zealand and all of the players that have been here, those congratulations are shared 100%. Thank you. <laughs> also want to thank our umpires, Michael Ayers and his team. Seemed like every time I turned around there was another new face with an umpire's jacket on. You guys have been fantastic, guys and girls. Um, through the three days. Thank you so much, Michael, for coordinating that. And to all of you that have turned out early in the morning, stayed in late at night and uh, been part of the show, we really appreciate it. It doesn't happen without you. Um, and the other people it doesn't happen without are our own team, obviously, and it would be remiss of me not to thank those to my left and also Tamara and the inimitable, inimitable uh, Kevin Hickland uh, on our commentary team. Thanks, guys. Um, we make a great team. We do a great job. Um, we always put the players first, and uh, I think that's the key to any successful event. So um, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. To our presentations then. Ladies first. Um, two of our bronze medalists have gone home. The Queenstown team wanted to get away before it got too icy, wet, dark, whatever it gets on the way to Queenstown, all of the above perhaps. Um, so they have been presented with their medals, Deborah Lloyd and Jane Anderson. Um, so they have asked me to pass on. Their thanks to everyone for what they've enjoyed, obviously, as a, as a tournament that they've gone home with some, uh, some bronze wear, let's say, rather than silverware. Our other bronze medalists today, uh, congratulations to Natasha Grimshaw and Henrietta Scott from the Kia Club in Hastings. Would you both please come forward and receive your bronze medals from John? And if you would stay out here and just line up to John's left so that we can get a photo of all of the ladies involved in this presentation once we've got you all out here. Tomorrow we'll get your photo together before we do that. So, Perfect. So while they're doing that, we will move on to our runners-up and silver medalists, Joe Edwards and Kay Hammond from the Nelson Club. You've served up some fantastic bowls, the pair of you, over the last three days. Well, the first and the third, anyway. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for both being here. You've really turned it on for the crowd, and congratulations on your silver medal. And again, if you could just get your photo there for uh, Erica, and then we'll get all of you out there now. And our champions from the Wanganui Club, Diane Patterson and Leslie Burke, please come forward and pick up the spoils, a gold medal each, a winner's cap, and, of course, the trophy from John. Played some great bowls, these two, and uh, every time I saw them, both of them, they had a smile on their face, which says a lot about their attitude towards the game, and um, I think it's adjustable if that's burying you, <laughs> that gap, but uh, yeah, congratulations from us all. You've been sensational.
The microphone is yours if you would like to say anything. Okay, thank you. Well, to start off with, the um, first person I want to thank is Leslie, coming down, played fantastic bowls. I want to thank all the teams we played with, played against. Um, it was really fantastic. I want to thank Bowls Dunedin, um, the umpires, the people, the management, um, the food, especially the food. It was really, really awesome. Um, Leslie and I would just like to thank everybody involved. Thank you. Just get a group one in front of Somerset. Okay. While they're wrangling over there with uh, with the photos, we'll move to our men's tournament. Um, one of our bronze medalist team has gone home, Rob Ashton and Wayne Coleman were on a, uh, an earlier flight. They have departed early again. They've had their medals presented to them. And again, they wish to thank everyone involved, players, umpires and, uh, and the centre for uh, turning on such a good show. So that's thanks to Rob and, and to Wayne. Um, John O'Shea and Lance Tusk are still here though, I think. Yes? No, okay, we will hand them on in Tauranga at another time. Um, our runners up and silver medalists. Have I got that wrong? Bronze. 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 Oh, I beg your pardon. To Dean and Murray. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Please come forward and receive your bronze medals, guys. To our silver medalists, just seen them leave the green just now. Murray Wilson and Owen Bennett, the locals from St Kilda. Please come forward and receive your silver medals, fellas. Well done, guys. Great effort right through. Well played. And our champions, again, backing up, well done. Leif, fantastic effort. James Williams from the Carlton Cornwall Club. Please come and receive your gold medals, your trophy and your caps from John. These guys have played some amazing bowls right through the event. Fantastic game this morning against Dean and Murray. And um, you've really turned it on for the crowd, guys. Really appreciate your, uh, your skills. Don't forget the trophy. Great crew of bowlers right here. Good three days from all of them. Well played, fellas. Life, the microphone's yours. Uh, Dunedin and Hope Stadium have been amazing. Thank you so much for having us again. Um, it's been a great place for James and I to visit the last couple of years, and uh, we've really enjoyed it. Thank you. Bowls New Zealand, you run a fantastic event. It's been a privilege to be part of it. Um, and everybody involved, uh, congratulations to you. To the live streaming crew, it's amazing um, for us to get out there and play these games that people all over the world can play, and it really makes it special for the players as well, so a uh, special thank you to the, to the live streaming crew. <coughs> 
uh, to Somerset as well for their continued support um, and the Carlton Cornwall Club back home at uh, Eden. Thank you so much for your continued support as well. You've been amazing. Thank you. Um, to everybody that we played against and all the finalists um, here this weekend, congratulations to you all. Um, to my mate here, I'm going to miss you, buddy. Um, we got there again. I'm so proud of you, mate. Um, you play, you play really well, and it's been it's been amazing to be part of it with you. Uh, so, uh, James, James, is, if you don't know, James has moved away. He's looking after his family, and he's taken on a new career. Um, so that'll be our, pretty much our last time together. Um, but it's been amazing, mate, to be part of it with you. I'm very proud of you. Well done, uh, and thanks so much to Dunedin Hope Stadium. Thank you. Thank you, Life. You've turned it on for us. We've really enjoyed watching you play, mate, and James, of course. In closing, I want to thank Somerset again. Thanks to everyone for being here, John, for your lot, and uh, we wish you all a safe trip home and look forward to seeing everyone again in Nine Eye next weekend for the triples. Cheers.